Here's the audio over to my live stream. What are you working on? You're working on Pepe artwork? Yeah, Pepe. I got an album. Um, I do construction, so like that's art too, you know? So it's just busy. All right, there we go. Mic working. Let's see if my mic's working here. Oh, wait. All right, is my mic working? Is this mic's working? Just test. Yeah, I hear you. Cool. Seems to work out. I'm just jumping some uh, PUBG here. Wah, wah, wah. You play PUBG, man? Hopefully, my mic's still working. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't care, I just, these wind up on, uh, this, like, streams, like, all our audios on Twitch, and then this audio ports over to, just put it on YouTube after. Kind of like a podcast, gaming, video, live stream. Sometimes I make draw art on Twitch. <clears throat> Probably at the night drawing art, just talking drawing art. Careful what I say. Oh, you can say whatever you want. I don't care. Unless you got like some nefarious, like crazy crimes you trying to <laughs> you start talking about <laughs> or something. I don't know. I heard a. Uh, Ben East got banned finally. Really? The warlord? The what? The warlord? I think he changed his name to like Warlord or something. That dude who people have sent like twenty million dollars to to his wallet. He's got uh, a bait. I'll tell him to pay attention, man. Yeah, he's got like a he had like a base CPFP or something. It's key. <clears throat> you play games, man? I got a panda hairband, panda gloves. Your number one pan. Archive is chess. I got a whole bunch of crap. Some keys and a hundred. What the fuck? All right, I'm gonna be opening a bunch of crap. Mm -hmm. What would I realize? Can't be what are chats. Yeah, I have no clue who's chatting with me on Twitter. I'm surprised the uh, live streams on X don't um I'm surprised um live streams don't 
have like a chat overlay connected to X platform. I can do. There we go. Oh, I can't like invite people up on desktop version of uh that. I have the hardest time just getting my damn Bluetooth to work, man. Oh, and like a vehicle. <laughs> Sometimes I'll try and be like connecting Bluetooth in a vehicle and I'll like I'll connect. Nah, it's just my headphones. Yeah. All right. Send Renoli another invite. You know Renoli? That sounds like Canoli. Sounds familiar, but I don't follow him. That sounds familiar. <laughs> well, Renoli, cheers, teammate. Yeah, I'll be here like all night just chilling, doing whatever. I'm just talking on this sub account because it's connected to my PC, so I don't have to like, so I can host on my mobile, charge my mobile, and then just talk on the microphone. Five hundred G coin. Bunch of pub. Are you kidding me, dude? Wow. Oh, I don't have it for. Never mind. Thought the game just gave me like a rare bandana. They just gave it to me for a few days, but I actually own the bandana anyways. Ugh. Yeah, shit. So is that what you're doing tonight, man? You're working on, um... Nah, pet, pet like the one. 36 hours of fucking spaces, man. So I'm just taking it easy. You did? No, uh, push some disc golf today, relax a little bit. Take it away from... you, Wait, you did 36 hours of spaces? It felt like it, man. I, I did my own show, then I was on the next morning on the uh, Emerald Vault, and then I was on Alchemist, and then Damien's. And then I just like it just kept going, man. <laughs> like three day street, like I just listened to it all day at work. Dude, that guy, that alchemist guy. I don't think he really knows who I am, but I doubt he really likes me at all. I just I don't really care. Yeah, he's alright. He let he lets me talk. I crack him up, but uh. Sometimes they kick me off the space. And I'll come right back on. He'll let me right back up. Uh, I just uh, troll a lot of these guys, but they let me talk, so <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah, I pissed them off so much. I was like, yo, man, why'd you have to talk to, like, a, a woman like that? He was like, what the mother effing lot about it? And, like, kicked me off the space.
Right, so we and then like a few days later, we all got his account banned. His OG one. Yeah, I've been on some like uh, some sketchy shows where like we were talking some like crazy shit. I'm at work. And they try to bring me out. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking sawing and cutting and doing shit. I'm like, I can't fucking talk. You know, I'm just here to listen. And then like he got banned like two like that day or two days later or something. And I was like, man, that shit was recorded. <laughs> I didn't really say anything bad. I was just like, oh, I'm on there. Seems like I'm always on there at the wrong time. Not just his show, any show. But... I didn't even really know what happened. What? Something about someone was telling me he was talking to someone like female in a space, degrading her or something. I just went up and I asked about it, and he he like freaked out on me. I was like, I don't know you, you don't know me. But uh, you want to talk about it? You want to tell me about it? He just like freaked out. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of trolling his face, but. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's a real touchy about about female stuff now. But like last couple of days, man, he has Jason Williams, and he's sitting there talking about um, like how tall men are and people are, and then, and then like like even today, they're still talking about it. I'm like, man, will you guys shut up about how tall dudes got to be and shit? Like, and then Bree, I guess, had a show today. All the girls were in there. And they were just troll men. Probably got a million followers tonight. I think she even still has a show. I'm not sure. But, but hey, man, they know how to get followers. Alchemist knows how to get followers. He's bringing Pepe in. So I'm like, all right, he's doing some good right now. And I used to just listen to his show. And like, I tried to get him into Pepe's for a long time. Tried to get him a free wallet for a long time. He's probably starting to do it. It's like, oh, finally. So kind of a good thing. He's doing... You know, he's doing good for the Pepe calls, I guess, so. What's up, Kane Mayfield? Oh, uh. I just, like, send people invites. Kane's, Kane's funny as hell, man. Heck, were you on the Emblem Vault show today? Was I where? On the Emblem, Emblem Vault show. What's that? No, you don't follow Emblem Vault? Um, I'm not sure. No, yeah, you should. I think they have another show coming up soon. Mm. I live under a rock, man. Uh, that's a lot of Pepe stuff. Good to, you know, all uh, the artists come in and talk about their new stuff. I, uh, all those. there's some solo. I can't even do ranked, I can't even play ranked, I suck. Yeah, no, I, I, um, I got really confused, like, what Pepe was what. I had, like, the Pepe, like, the 420 day earlier in the year. And that, like, mooned. And then some people started talking about, like, three different Pepes, like an OG Pepe. And then, like, I was, like, not getting attention, even though it was, like, the OG Pepe. And then another Pepe that formed after the... <laughs> The, the like yeah, moon the, the community or you know, XP sixty nine original Pepe coin, but I'm talking about rare Pepe's, man. Oh, the cards, the yeah, NFTs. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't own any of them. What? No, I know, right? I made some art. I made some like card art on um counterparty. Yeah. And I just put some dispensers out there for it. King Lord Cac 
cards and I was like, I don't know, I'll just let these sit there. You're all about the cat, huh? That's my name. That's my name in real life. So you're an artist? Like did you make the noodle or cat? I didn't make any of that shit. I just like stumbled across like Pepe and then like I've been in blockchain from since like twenty seventeen. And then um I crawled over here from like the stock market and just like gamer and dev type shit and builder and on Bitcoin and Ethereum and then all these years later, yeah, I found this Pepe thing and then people started saying Keck and I was like, What the fuck is Keck? And I was like, Why is everyone using my my name? And um then I figured out what the Keck deal was. Um, which is I don't know, it's just weird. Yeah, I'm not too much a fan of uh Lord Keck and uh but all the other rare Pepe's and fakes and danks I love. But Yeah. I mean my parents did not name me Keck after <laughs> after that shit, but <laughs> my name just happens to be Keck. It's a weird name, but I don't know, whatever they just named me, whatever they named me. I guess I was just meant to like crawl my soul into blockchain tech. I like the old Egyptian like lore about the tech deity or whatever. That's interesting to me. So like the like you got the pyramid keck, right? Yeah. Be there. It's actually an old it's an old um actually it's a the inscriptions are on the tombs in like the artisan valley, like where the artists actually worked on the art in the tombs, is where the Keck art is in Egypt. Yeah. It's probably just a bunch of artists, like you or I. Yeah, I kind of have a conspiracy theory on that, like, like in the Bible, like it rained frogs, right? Yeah. Frogs everywhere. I think they had to like come up with a like a god to like get rid of the frogs and that's where Keck came from but I know uh historians say other things um yeah maybe we'll never know I think it I think it would like make sense to like repair those buildings or do a lot of work into like we spend so much like we waste so much fucking money on like absolutely nothing compared to if we like restored like all those ancient sites and I mean I know we upkeep them and stuff like that but yeah Egypt's weird with their stuff like they'd be bombing each other and, and find this tomb that they didn't know was there they find tombs and they don't get in there because it's cursed. You know, a funny government over there too. Like the government will steal the shit before they let all the people in. Yeah, oh yeah, weird shit over there. Yeah. It's a cursed, and then they take all the artifacts and cursed. Here's this up. Yeah, who knows where we're going. I know, uh, I heard, like, Jeff Bezos is, like, wants to build, like, a, like, a mile-long, like, Earth ship that, like, is in the atmosphere or something. So all the rich people can... Get off the surface of the earth and live in the atmosphere. When shit yeah. hits, when shit you, hits ever the watch, you ever watch the Jetsons? 
when you were younger. Oh, yeah. 14. Yeah. Like, it's they good. all I forget what year it was, but like by now, they were living like above the the smog, right? Like up in the sky. Yeah, some fifth element shit. <laughs> but I think that was that one last Avengers movie or something, man. There was like a ship up there. Or maybe it wasn't Avengers. It was, uh, what's her name? Mm. I don't really watch movies once in a while, will, but if I Damn. time, oh, I'm big time into comic book. Oh, I love comic book. Yeah. I have um. um Gene left. I don't know what's up, man. I had a question for him, but I'm too boring. I don't know. I put people to sleep. Pretty late anyways. What is it, like midnight? Yeah, it's like almost midnight. Burning a midnight candle. <clears throat> yeah, do you think this app's going to trash? After Disney, like, they like, lost a bunch of. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it's funny. Um, I don't think it's going to get trash. I think what he did for the like freedom of speech is pretty awesome, and I think it brought back a lot of people that had left the space. Um, at the same time, you lose some people that didn't lose the space and now they're leaving, but um, I think the people that came back or, you know, stayed are obviously not going anywhere. And sometimes, you know, you got to have some balls, like even if you call it X, you know, people might get pissed, but, it, you know, it's like. Sometimes you need to just change it up a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you compare like like Facebook when it came out to what it is now. It's totally different. Like, should it even be called Facebook at this point? Um, maybe it should be called something else. Like, not my real life. <laughs> not my real life app. Steal my uh, data app. Steal my soul app. Yeah, there you go. But um. You know what what he's revealing too of like how many people were in twitter doing all this crazy shit like pretty important man and you know they asked him do you think it's worth the money you paid for it and he said it's worth everything i i think like i get his reasoning for buying it yeah for for spending what was like 45 billion dollars or something which, I mean, I think he still owes money on... I don't know how he bought it. I mean, I think maybe it's just, like, debt notes or something. I don't really know. Or he bought it, I mean, with common shares. I don't know. Who knows? Well, I'm sure he owned, what, 51% of the whatever. But... I think they're going to do it, like, an X stock, I thought. I thought he's going to bring it public, where he can, like, buy the stock. Yeah, I mean, and there's, there's talk about having his own coin and doing it that way. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> The, the government would step in so fast. They already stepped in on, like, the Libra thing for, like, Facebook. And they're like, you're not going to launch that. And, like, they're like, okay, we're not going to launch this. And then, like, Libra fell all apart on Meta. I spent a lot of money on Libra, too. I was kind of bullish on it. But I, I mean, Facebook itself. But I also think it's a write-off. They could, you know, watch money like that. You know, it seemed like they did Oculus Rift and said, oh, we spent $3 billion on Oculus Rift. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> like, they could write off some bunch of people they hired and shit, you know, stuff like that. But I think it's just like washing money, sort of. Just, you know, just a thought, right? Like, I saw a joke the other day, like, the FTX, like, you know, obviously they gave all this money to fucking donations, right, for the political parties. Yeah. And now they're going to take, and now the government's going to take the rest. 
<laughs> you know, it's like, so they just took all that money. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny, but. Did they take all the money from FTX? They seized it all it, or something? It's kind of a joke, no, like, because they'll have to pay, like, all these fines to the government and the government or the people that they, they gave money to to get in, you know, if you catch the, the joke. Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't follow it too much. I don't know who he gave money to. I thought it was like I thought I think he tried to give money to Trump, but Trump was like didn't take any of it. Yeah. No, the opposite, dude. Wait, he gave money to Biden? <laughs> yeah. Did he? Yeah, like well the whole Demo he gave it to the Democratic Party, but whatever. Same thing. Well now C Z Easy Zao. What are you playing right now? Uh, PUBG. You can see it on the stream on my tech yeah, profile. Yeah, CZ Zao got um. What's this PC? Yeah. The battle royale. I already look. Yeah, CZ Zhao, he's going to be, like, he's not CEO of Binance anymore. Then, um, then that football player, soccer football player, promoting his NFT on Binance is getting, like, fined, like, a billion dollars or something billion dollars. I just saw Pfizer posted, like, What country's in Argentina or no? Um, where is it? Bitcoin. Bitcoin's like legal tender. Mm. Anyway, um, Singapore. There you can't buy ordinals or NFTs illegal because they it's not a. <sighs> I didn't say asset. They said. Uh, But I thought that was kind of crazy. Like, Bitcoin's legal there, but you can't have a Bitcoin ordinal or an NFT. Like, that's weird. Hmm. I mean, inherently, you might not even know you have the ordinal if you have the Satoshi with the right with the inscription right. on it. Right. Hold my breath. There it is. I guess just ran over the hill. I don't know where the other person was shooting from. Oh shit. Maybe it's just a bunch of bots fighting each other. Um. Yeah, stuff like this. Back. I think um like web3 gaming so far has pretty much inherently been like a failure for the most part <laughs> except for maybe a few select titles well that's why i'm just being so quiet dude i went into this show earlier with these three dudes and just asked them i gave my whole conspiracy theory on what i thought for the last four years is gonna be rockstar and gta coming out with a token and 
how I think it's going through this angle and that, and dude, they just shot me down, ripped me apart, kicked me out of the show. I'm like, go fucking like it's hard. I mean, uh, like they get me a second question myself, you know? And I'm like, I came to this fucking conclusion like four years ago. And how it could work, you know, in my mind, and and I and I told them all that, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we see that, but it'll not, it won't happen, and you're you're telling me they're gonna come up with a coin in in, in less than a year. I'm like, dude, they've had years to work on it. What the fuck are you talking about? You they, know, they could. I don't know. I don't know, like. But then I put out this thing about portal. Oh man, they lost it. Went off on me, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I never heard a portal for this morning, you know." Oh fuck! They're like, "Oh, dude," and now I am getting fucking all these average, you know, people scamming me, or not scamming, but fucking sending me met DMs and shit. I'm like, "Jesus Christ!" Yeah. Um. Bots or whatever who these people are, but cult like members sending me shit. I don't fucking know, but. And I've read the white paper this morning. Everything looked good. <laughs> I thought I was early on something. They're like, nope, fuck that shit. And they're they're big gamers, you know what I mean? So, but uh, uh, so I think uh the the Basie guy did portal coin or something. I think it was one of the, the co-founders of Basie. Guy, he, yeah, he used to be co-founder. Uh, Rockstar. Nah. That did Portal Coin. Well, he's an advisor on Portal now. Oh, okay. I don't even know what it is. All then it's just like Portal Coin, and everyone's like Portal Coin, and like you, and you had to have like a bunch of fucking money just to participate in it. Well, I guess they're taking like basically donations or whatever to get in. Yeah. I'm still. Yeah, and I'm not. I don't want to be. I want to be before the hype. For it to go the coin to go up but i also don't want to like being at the top i can't sell out and they just rug your money you know so you're just locked in right so done with all that shit but i'm i'm kind of pissed off they kicked me off the show what was the show i don't know if they kicked me off or i got rugged or what it's like the next like 15 minutes after that they were on this other show I'm like, eh, I don't know what the fuck happened there, but <laughs> and when I went back in to re-listen to it, I thought it would be my headphones or something. Um, they were like, man, they, I feel bad for people that get swapped into this shit. Like they're like talking about me. I'm like, what the fuck you talk about, man? And this whole conspiracy theory on what this stuff. And that's why I asked them guys because they're in the gaming and shit, you know. And. Or I'm not, you know, I try to follow a little bit, but can't be everywhere at once, man. Yeah. But like you were saying, like, yeah, it seems like I said that, man. It seems like every gaming token or coin or whatever comes out, it doesn't make it. And there's like, there's ones with like billions of dollars behind it, millions. Of, I'm like, yeah, I know. There's fucking millionaires working on this shit every day. I think part of the problem is gamers don't want it. Yeah, they don't. I mean, no, we don't give a shit. I <laughs> fucking care less about fucking um, having to buy a fifteen hundred dollar NFT skin avatar to earn like a token in a right. game. And that's when you know I brought up that that last one that did that it was like a, a car game or whatever, just to buy parts for the car. Or you know, going for like mid east and shit. And I'm like. Like and he's like, you know, if Grand Theft Auto do come out with a coin, uh, it would have to be more like a stable. Uh, like, wow, well, sounds you know, sounds good, sounds feasible. You know, maybe it doesn't can't go up or something too much. You know, but I said, you know, to try to keep all the money in house instead of putting it out, and you can basically buy. You could go to like PlayStation, buy a fucking gift card, you get a million dollars. You know, you put, you spend a hundred hours, you get a million dollars in the game. Like, what the fuck? That's all digital right through your bank. I'm like, what's the difference? Yeah, you yeah. Know? The, it's it's just a hard sell. 
I mean, I, I own some uh, parallel TCG cards. And now with ETH and Bitcoin the way it is, it's like I was like, oh, I'll, I'll go like look at some more parallel TCG cards. It's like, okay, like here's like a $5 card. To, you know, I could throw that in my deck in the game. But then I looked at and I was like, oh yeah, like what's the gas fee? And it was like forty dollar gas fee to buy a five dollar card. <laughs> this is that's why that's why I say like gaming is a failure. Like no one's gonna that's why, that's why you need a like a certain protocol and you know, to be able to handle that. So you're not like yeah, you can go cross chain, but at the same time no, it's a whole thing. But I think eventually everything's going to be like that it's just the, the only thing i see to do in a game is just the smart contract as a character and the character has metadatas and you can buy that character and have it and the metadatas are the skins and the clothing in, in the game um you yeah, know I mean, but you could also have a token and you could have like a dust to buy your little stuff you know yeah like like there could be a fucking rockstar GTA coin that can go up really high, but you're not going to use that token or that token or that coin in the game. You're going to use dust of it, right? Like maybe if you own so many tokens, you get some dust. You know, you know, just like like a brave wallet or something. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense, but. I mean, there's a million ways to skin a cat, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always going to... It's, it's uh, I think I'll, the... I guess my point to it is, if there's a game that could get gamers and more people in the crypto, that would be it. Yeah, it needs to be on... Um, the skins and all that shit need to... I mean, like, the games that I find successful is, like... Uh, I don't know how Pirate Nation is doing, but they switched from ETH... To Arbitrum or Optimism? No, they went. It was like on Polygon, so you'd like bridge your asset from ETH to Polygon. But even the bridging, it was like sixty dollars in gas to bridge back and forth. Um, which is again like this sixty dollar gas fee is a failure. What three gaming? And so when they yeah, switched I mean, to even back in the day, we would find wallets that would uh, you wouldn't have to pay. Like a new wallet would come out and you wouldn't have to pay. You know, and you could or you could switch out for this and not that. Switch it over without paying so much gas. But um I don't know if those days are over now, but Oh that's, you know, that's yeah, what I they, was doing a lot of. Yeah, if the wallets had the money to cover But now the wallets like I couldn't take certain coins into other wallets, and now they're um, universal, but... Okay, I just The death cam should. I felt that in the... Oh, 
Oh, this guy just rolled up onto me in the back of the building. I was actually in the. I was actually firing from the other side of me. Yeah, I think I played that game once when it came out, like on Android. I played it for about ten minutes. I mean, this this game is on Steam, so you can like my my uh, bandana. I bought on Steam. People were selling this bandana like some years ago. Like someone bought one of these bandanas for like fifteen hundred dollars. I bought one of the bandanas like maybe four years ago for like seventy dollars or something. And I think it's still being sold for around that. Like the, the however many there are. Um but it's like those aren't NFTs or anything. It's just a digital skin item all off chain and, and some server but uh now the game's got like g coin and then you just earn bp battle points for playing and you can spend your bp on like crates or coupons to like buy crates and like open the crates and like and the crates are more <clears throat> clothing or <laughs> items or skins to guns and shit um so that's why I'm like, just kind of like, what's the, what's the big, like, I don't, like, where is Ethereum headed? <laughs> like, or is, or then just like, uh, something people use smart contracts to transact, but actually it's, uh, the gas is becoming so high, even proof of stake's not really helping it. Um, Bitcoin now has inscriptions where, you know, I can inscribe a parent inscription and then start to inscribe uh, parent-child inscriptions afterwards and then pairing metadata in the inscription so that, you know, it acts just like a NFT contract where it has metadata. And yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing that with the ordinals and yeah. um, stamps. And, and now my buddy's doing, trying to do it with a, a Pepe. Rare Pepe, so um, I think Bitcoin. I all that shit when it comes to art, uh, whether it be music or art, um, or any kind of art for that matter. But uh, I think you know that's why I like all these other coins as well because. You can make, you know, a coin a lot less money and not have all these, you know, costs. Um, oh, the BRC twenties. Like, oh like, well, yeah, I know there's a million ways to skin a cat, right? So, like I said, with the dust idea, you know, or tell me what you mean by dust, like you know, like satoshi amounts of a coin or something, like fractional amounts. Basically, I guess it would just be like rewards or, you know, you might look at it as rewards or faking or you could call it um, fractionalized, right? Or you could call it, I mean, there's a million different ways you could break it down so that it doesn't have all these fees, right? So there's this group coming out with this ordinal thing now that waves like all the fees. But basically, it's a way for them to wash their money. So instead of paying to do the, like five transactions to make it, they're going to waive all the fees because then they could, you know, do it themselves in house and, and just wash their own money like over and over again. You know what I mean? So, like I said, when there's a million ways to skin a cat, right? Like, there's ZK roll ups coming through, I guess. To Bitcoin. Yeah, is that is that what it's called? Yeah, privacy like uh, free. Yeah, yeah. Privacy privacy transactions, like traceless transactions. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm I'm paying a lot of attention to, like, uh, Cardano um, with their Midnight. And that's going to have, like, a dust coin to go with the token. Um, so, but they're going to have uh, proof of stake and proof of uh, work. And then the dust is, you can either do it private or publicly. And then it'll be just a huge cross chain kind of thing. So I'm hmm. very interested in that because they have some thinkers over there, Cardano. And, but, you know, if I go into any other space and talk about it, they basically kick me out. <laughs> I mean, but I've always been into technology, man. I've, yeah. I've watched it since all these uh, altcoins came out, you know. And I just like, dude, to tell you the truth, I go on Coinbase just to learn about the new coin. If they give you a couple of coins doing like a little test, you know, but I like, I right, I learn about this coin. Sure, they give you a little bit, but I like, I just want to learn about the new technology that they're doing. It opens my brain on how other coins could work or what you could do, make this protocol or make, you know, make this or that. And uh, gives me ideas, right? And then at the same time, like, I'm kind of like, oh, if I like it, I'll go read the white paper, right? See what it's all about. Mm -hmm. But in this community, it's like either pump or dump, man. You know, people don't care about the white paper or the technology behind it. That's what I'm a nerd of. You know? Yeah. It used to be that way in like 2017, 2018. We were all like reading the white paper and now everybody's just like, oh, is it, is it pumping? Is it like, can I fill my bags and like flip it for a return and watch it crash? Yeah. It's like, that's what it, <laughs> there's no, there's no time for a white paper anymore. Um, unless you're just like seriously building something, I have a smart contract on BNB chain, and because um, I I won't talk about it too much, but I am building a game, like a royal game, like the one I'm playing. But you know, it, it like doesn't matter right now. I mean, like talk about it in, like when it's actually on Epic Game Store or some shit. Like the other ones I've invested into here or there, which I'm not really. Some of them are not a part of, but um, the. Uh, I just gotta pick a part on the map here. Okay. Yeah, I built a smart contract on a BNB chain, like an NFT smart contract, and a mineable token on smart contract uh, for BNB chain. So I basically uh, made like a parody coin to like troll Bitcoin as like a parody called Yeet Coin. And um, I, I worked with the smart contract code structure so that it um, auto it's like auto burning, so like transactions um, transacting it, not like sending it back and forth, because that wouldn't really be fair to like send it back and forth and like have part of the supply burned, but um, like just transactions on um swaps like deck swaps uh burns one percent of it so and once uh it's like a 21 uh trillion and it's gonna burn down about over the next 130 years to 21 million around the same time that bitcoin will be like mining up to 21 million um Gonna get up. Oh, crack, crack. Oh, crack. Don't, don't shoot me, man. Leave me alone. Just let me run somewhere. I'm getting shot at right now, everywhere. Alright. I didn't die. I was just driving and I'm like, I was like, you know, I'm gonna get out of this field. I can't really hear. And people sort of start shooting at me.
But yeah. Um oh, fine. So X just suspended Ben Dotty in any account that has the blitz badge. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was surprised like the amount of shit he talked about in space. He wasn't banned like a long time ago. Which I don't know what the clarification why they banned I don't know, he's got so many different like projects he's rolled out that like I like uh, I have like some of these tokens from like one of his things and it's like you can't even sell it. It's like a it's like a loyalty token. Um because I did the psyop thing. I was like, ah, oh, so just whatever. I'll just pick up some of these psyop things. I just and then uh watched that pump and just like flipped it and then uh got the loyalty token in, and he just like locked the LP so no one could sell it. But you can like buy loyalty, but like no one could sell it, so everyone like lost their money on loyalty. I think he's just a. I think he's just kind of done. People just. I think he's got so many different like yellow check things that's like put your money in this, put your money in that, and then like it goes nowhere. It doesn't reveal. And I think. Um, Maybe he finally got banned for it. I don't know. This thing called Blitz or something, whatever it was. I didn't even know what it was. I like stopped listening a long time ago. As soon as he started being like drunk on space and like like having sex with women on space, I was like, this is pitiful. Yeah, I didn't know any about anything about that shit. I just knew that... Uh... He did some other weird shit, and uh, I hear people make a fun of it. But yeah, he 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 bought like the Ben coin thing, or, or no, he sold the Ben coin thing or something. Well, wasn't he in that uh, Dubai coin? <laughs> it's to, you know better than I do. I don't even know Dubai coin. I know he had a. Uh, he did some NFT thing that fell apart called like cult or something. And I actually saw some of the artwork, but then it never revealed. Um, so like they had a falling out and then it would never reveal. So everybody just like wasted their money on that. On an NFT that's not revealing. Which I could drop pixel art. <laughs> the way the PFPs are. People are stupid though, man. I mean, fucking Paul, he said, you know, don't send me ETH. And they all sent him fucking ETH. I don't know. Yeah. It's fucking it's such a nightmare. But I also think these... Like, I got into cryptocurrency just, like, as a libertarian, right? right? To get away from the Fed, get away from that kind of fiat kind of dollar-ish thing, you know. And... The only reason they're trying to make regulations now is because these people are out here stealing from each other. You know what I mean? And anybody that's new to the, they always need new people to come, take their money, and then, you know, they all leave. So then it's just okay. the same people ripping each other off, bringing new people in. And it's just, I don't like it. You know, I wanted like more of a happy place for everyone to like all make money and stuff like that but if they keep treating everything like a pyramid scheme obviously it's not going to work right so it's heavily token gated too like i could i could say someone's gonna roll in here i mean i could sit here all day long and uh But even even Bitcoin is kind of like that game. Uh, what? It's like that that game. Um, Duck Duck Goose. Don't know which way it's gonna go. You ever play Duck Duck Goose? Um. You and... walk around chairs and you sing the song, and then when they stop the music, like you all have to sit down, and every time there's like one less chair. If someone, you know, doesn't get to sit down, they're out of the game. I thought that was musical chairs. Or musical chairs. I'm sorry. I don't fucking know. Don't I was like trying to remember what 
I was trying to remember what Duck Duck Goose was, and I was like, I remember playing yeah, Duck Duck Goose. That's where you tap each other on the head and pick somebody. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Ring, ring, ring around and raise whatever the fuck it's called, man. Musical chairs, yeah. Um, that reminds me of that, but it's not just one chair. It's a bunch of chairs. <laughs> it's like one chair, like they get all the, everybody's money, but. Yeah, I mean, I'll. It's heavily token gated, so I mean, like someone like myself could sit here for like, you know, like. Uh, I've got a company registered with the SEC. I can raise up. Sorry, I just had to. Someone just tried to break one over on me. <laughs> it's just done. And um, so, I mean, I can raise up to like eight hundred and eighty-eight. 177 to 880. Uh, but it's just so heavily token game. Um, it actually can't actually can't be like through. I, I can launch a token. Sure, people use it or speculate. A bunch of money and like do a flip, but then there might be people who would actually participate. Um, into what I what I'm building. That that's the thing is like it's gonna be built either way. So people participate in it or not, it's important to me. But capital does help. Get the, um, it's just so, that's just so screwed up. With the, you know, just because people like. Benny, there's just <laughs> drain the liquidity out. Damn, I think Tucker Carlson's going to do a an interview with Alex Jones. With who? Alex Jones. What's Alex Jones do? Yeah. He's like the InfoWars, conspiracy theorist for years. Huh. I've been listening to him for probably 20 years. He might be. He might be. One, you're probably older than me. Do it, no. I'm just not. I like Leonard Skinner. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure he does too. My dad was their head tour rigger. And I, uh, I like raising the tour bus. Different tour buses. It's a good baby, like Jethro Tall and Leonard Skinner, reunion band after the brother died. My first album. <laughs> oh, nice. Someone's in the building here. Yo, get out of the fucking corner, the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I just died. Yes, yeah, so I have, um, I tried to put the uh, steam on my computer a while back because they created this awesome disc golf game and uh i wanted to play it so bad it was like uh 
on like its prototype infancy. And my computer, my laptop just wouldn't run it. But my laptop wasn't fast enough to run it. Uh, and, I, and I wanted this other game, Drunken Bar Fight or something it's called. <laughs> so maybe one day when I get a faster computer, you know. Yeah, if you get if PCs are fairly good these days. Uh, I have, I have, I always, I've had a laptop since high school, man. So okay. since like '97. It's like the same laptop. No. Huh? no. <laughs> like the same. Anyway. No, I had like a, a Toshiba satellite or something. Huh. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Well, like I have a Toshiba now. I have like Toshiba everything, but that's basically who makes the screens and computers anyway. But uh, instead of buying the PC, I just bought a PS5 because I was I like the controller anyway. You know? Oh no doubt. And now you could now you could hook the controller up, the theme and all that. Yeah, some PCs allow for controller. I've I've been a PlayStation fan since the first one, so. Yeah, I remember I mean, uh, Star Fox and Nintendo. I mean, I played fucking first Wolfenstein on it with a mouse, you know, nice. buttons, but. I go way back with video games like back to Oregon Trail. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's the best. And uh, but I still had an Atari. You know what I mean? Oh okay, yeah. <laughs> no, Atari was like before me, but and I had a, a television. It was called in television. Burger Time and shit. Tron and Night Stalker. Go way back. kind of miss all that shit but like like i was a big doom fan but now when i play like the new doom i'm like what the fuck and her new wolf is i'm like the fuck is going on dude this is not too real right it's too 3d man so i got a I got a hang like like an i was into was a red faction and all those 3d games you know what i mean when they came out but I just kind of lost it. I was like, I'm just sticking to GTA, man. Did you ever play GTA Tekken? Cool. Yeah. I love yeah, Tekken. Tekken. I, I just downloaded like Tekken 6. And I'm like, this sucks. Uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played it since the uh, like the 90s. Like the OG Tekken. Yeah. Um, yeah. I played all of them, dude. I played them in the arcade, too. Like, I, I yeah. All of them. Those are cool. Kombat, all of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah more but as far as these 3D, you know, environment games i just kind of stuck to gta because like if i got bored i could do anything you know it's kind of like a sims meets i don't know but well i remember playing um the, like the first go... gta like the aerial view one the bird's eye view one yeah. Yeah, that was that was one. that was yeah, always fun yeah, we I used we used to take it that europe. it was all in europe like european cars and shit uh, we used to take like the we would turn the game on and like take the CD out, like and then put like a music CD in and just drive around with like right. corn or Eminem playing in 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 place of the game. Oh, you're still playing the game. Yeah, I had the first PlayStation where it was also a CD player, right? So, but then like Twisted Metal three came out or something. And oh yeah. You had those yeah, were fun. You could actually take that game and put it in a CD player and play the whole album of like right. White, Zomb <laughs> White Zombie and like all the all the bands that were in it. It was pretty wild. Those were good games, Twisted Metal, They're like Demolition Derby things or whatever. Yeah, well, now that they came out with the show, I'm hoping they fucking re-release it for like online. It was like it was the best. Like your friend would come over, and be like the best two player game, or you could actually play four players. I think in like Twisted Metal Two or something. Mm -hmm. But 
it was so split screen you know we had small tvs back then you had to be like right glued to the tv and shit you know i still remember watching mtv and like when like nirvana would and, and uh bands would put the songs out on, and like beavis and butthead would be like sit on the couch and like then they'd like start commenting on the tv video and then they'd play the tv video <laughs> I had this little box TV with like still made of wood on the outside. My parents gave me. Well, like those retro TVs now are worth money because people want to play the retro Nintendos and they want to play it on the retro TV. Mm-hmm. So I actually, I actually saved, saved one. I have one. But I was ready to sell it for more than what my fucking new TV costs. It's fucking insane. Now they have the, like the, you can buy like the Atari game console with like 500 games in it. Yeah. And it's like all yeah, just like all the... digitally programmed into it. You still have to have like the AV cables though, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got the Nintendo one, but I'm missing the cord. But um, they still don't have the games I really want on them. So I went out and bought Master Blaster. I have the game sitting here and like... I'm just with my body's supposed to be giving me all the Nintendo fixed, but I started collecting them back. So I'm like, I got the PS2, the PS3. I think the PS1. So I'm like, I had every fucking game system. Of course, I traded them in on the new one, right? Should have never done that. I should have just saved them. I was, I, did, you, having a scene collection, did you ever do a Sega Saturn? Yeah, my buddy had the Sega Saturn CD. Or no. He had Se- sorry, I had Sega Genesis CD. With Doom 3D and... Yeah, there was Genesis and then they did this. The Genesis yeah, was like the buddy, cartridge, my buddy, I thought. My buddy had the Saturn. And I had this, yeah, the Saturn. After for like the CDs, and I and think I, that's when I went to PS One. Okay. And then yeah. eventually I bought the Atari Jaguar off my buddy. So, like in a way, between me and my buddy, man, we had like every game console, played everything, you know. Yeah, I had the N sixty four, the old school Nintendo with like Mario Paint, uh, Saturn, Sega Saturn. Like a Genesis, uh, the PlayStation, first PlayStation, and second PlayStation. And yeah, eventually, he bought my daughter yeah. the, the Wii. They got him the Wii, but the Wii would play uh, GameCube games. Never got a GameCube. I Me mean, neither. But I, I just, quit the game. The Wii by that would time. play them. So I went out and bought, you know, used games, you know, at the free market, like. GameCube games I never I always wanted to try but never had. <laughs> and they come home like, how the hell you what is this? <laughs> but, mm-hmm. I remember did you ever play a game called Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, I mean I played the fir- very first Metal Gears. So I played all the mega Metal Gears up to Solid. I think I played Solid the last one. I haven't played any of the newer ones. I stopped playing, but like, like back in the '90s. But I, I remember, uh, yeah, playing Metal Gear Solid. I just loved that game. Did you just, see uh, the new? They took the original Zelda and made it 3D, like a do like Wolfenstein or Doom, but it's like in the original graphics. Nah, I never really got into. I never got into Zelda. My my wife was into Zelda, some I guess, but. I don't know if you ever seen the first Zelda, but no, I didn't. I, I was like pixel game, wasn't it? Yeah, but you gotta look at like like I don't know. Someone made this 3D game. I don't know if it's on Steam or not, but or what it's on. You know, it's obviously a mod, but it looks like fun, dude. Yeah. I'm... 
Have you heard of the shrapnel game? No. It's going to, I have a... Waiting for a heavy operator. The shrapnel is going to be like a royale with the shrap token. Uh, Ethereum or whatever. And, uh, but the team... The corporate part, they just like start suing each other. <laughs> So the game got pushed out from which we should be like beta testing it now. Being pushed out to like January. Because of these. But yeah, I guess you can like it's like extraction mode or something. Drop into it. Start to extract like gear and like all your resources. You gotta make it to an extraction point. And it's and I think you like some they're gonna have some sort of like model with like strap to the shrap token was like up and then the team starts suing each other and they like dropped or something and there's some other people just probably found that as like a buying opportunity but um be kind of interesting to see where that can go as a web3 ETH game Otherwise, I don't really see. I see like if games like the ones we're talking about will ever like build on like the blockchain. Question. I think I'm saying like I have a bet with my body that I, I predicted that the next G GTA would have crypto in it, and um. I'm just kind of just trying to win a bet with my buddies, but yeah, it might. But I've heard, I've heard that said, talk before. You're not the first. Yeah. I've heard that talk. Before. Yeah, but I was like one of the first ones to say it. You know, like I have it on Telegram, right? And uh, like a month after that, his buddy shared me like, "Oh, this guy said it first, and here I said it before him." <laughs> but uh, anyway. Just, uh, I just think that it, it, it'd be definitely one way for, uh, um, I think, I think it's feasible because like people like literally like live the game. Well, I also said to my other buddies the other day, like, well, this guy was on and he said Nintendo and all of them are working on it too. So supposedly like, you know, if, if you buy GTA five and uh PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, they're all on different servers, right? So I can't really play against you, right? Or even talk to you. Yeah. So they're supposedly they're trying to put everything everybody on the same server for the same games. So, you know, because basically the PS5s and the Xboxes and Nintendos are basically just a PC anymore anyway. So, right, especially you know, the new just, Xbox. So it's basically, you know, technically just a gaming computer, right? So why shouldn't it all be, like, related, right? So if he's right... And everything's on the same server so we could all play against each other and i think their ultimate goal for that would mostly be so we could all trade the same nfts and crypto right but it's just a thought you know i mean you see it slowly moving that way it's eventually going to get there but we don't know when right and how they're you know how it's going to work right but yeah that's what i was sharing i was kind of sharing with you like view on like the nfts and like the tokens and games and stuff are like mainly like a um like a metadata thing um so like i have a nft smart contract with metadata it's called these like poigies and like poigies are like characters towards this like a royale game um like structuring and for build out and um i'm really careful like what i talk about so like because i could see it easy to get ripped off or whatever I mean, even that's like people can like take it. Doesn't mean they're gonna do it right. Um, 
but inherently like you mine a token and um like the token i made was like yitoshi and you can mine yitoshi and you mine a certain amount you're basically mining an nft and the nft is got some metadata it's going to point towards api into a game character and you know people will be able to bridge those characters from like bnb chain because it's like bnb chain is really cheap i'm still like bullish on bnb chain either way um, especially for future gaming of like people collect assets and secure their assets outside of central servers um and but you you don't have to like but the thing is like that's like solves like people one buying in-game skins and then they lose like their account or like you know they um don't play it anymore and like what can you do with your all your skins from like call of duty warzone or like like things like that like Fortnite, like you, you sell your whole account but like it's like who's gonna buy it and there's no like marketplace to sell a game account for all the different things you've collected and your progress you've made in the game so when you have like a helmet or a skin or a character based character with like metadata and you're done playing the game you can just sell it to the next person and someone else is gonna come buy it play the game to access the game but it doesn't have to be like the game can still be like web 2 uh but like if because like web 2 gamers like myself like playing this web 2 game pubg it's like it's like web 3 games are absolutely hated like we're not going to come play web 3 games because again like the skin and like you can only play the game with the skin you can only access it with the skin and i think like the games that can like differentiate like you can't tell you can be a web 2 gamer and not even though you're playing a game that has a web three people involved that have skins in the game. Um, and so you can have it as like a web two central server and like skins and stuff like that. But you can also have like cross compatibility of web three skins that you can sell in a marketplace when you're, you don't want skin, you can sell it to someone else. Someone else is, you know, some crazy whale ETH BNB person who wants to collect something rare and you have it. So they want to buy it from you things like that so i mean i think you, i think that's a way to succeed like gamification but the gas fees are, but then but then you have the gas fees that's why like bnb something like bnb chain just makes total sense because the gas fees and the liquidity on the network and is so big um based on its stance no matter what because bnb chain is decentralized so i think um you know like just focusing on having fun in the game and people who want to play to earn model, like earning a token in GTA because they uh, played for a certain amount of hours and like got a play to earn status. Um, and again, like, I don't know much about the new GTA. I know I, I was playing like the old GTA and then the, the GTA Vice City. Yeah, I think we, we, me and my buddies talked about that. I don't think they would do that because. Um, if you look up like um, like uh, the statistics of people that like let's say everybody's gonna go out and buy GTA six, they already know they're gonna spend fucking six hundred hours in it the first week. You know what I mean? So So how do you spend six hundred dollars in GTA six? That's what I I don't know. No, I meant that... like six hundred hours. Oh, six hundred hours, oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Like so they're not gonna give something for playing, you know, the first six hundred hours plus you know, there's going to be pre-orders and people are going to be waiting. Um, they said that it's not going to come out on PC for a lot later again. Yeah, um, wait up. To, I think the play to earn model would be like one where you actually like win something. That's what you earn, not just like yeah, maybe like time in the game. Uh, maybe but, you can like earn like the like a like a like in this game I like BP. Bad, I, but I also think that's a bad business model because. There'll be people just like quitting their jobs to play. I mean, they're already going to yeah. do that. You know, I mean, we came up with like a million reasons why that's so bad. But, um, and like, I, and like my buddy said, there's going to be so many people playing for so many hours straight just to get ahead of everybody that, you know, they don't want to give something away for that. But, yeah. um, there's a million other things they could, they could do. Um, you know, as far as web two, web three, what you were talking about earlier, I wanted to, i'm in on that like it's kind of like okay i could go back to playstation or um grand theft auto 5 
put on the PS3 where they stopped updating it. So it's like, you know, I did all that work and I had to start over on the PS5 with, with the same game. I had to start all over again because I didn't carry my shit over to the PS4 and into the PS5. I skipped PS4. So I couldn't carry my shit over. But it's like, it's kind of like, okay, I got all these skins and clothes, you know, I got all these cars and all these garages on my PlayStation 3 for, place, you know, for Grand Theft Auto 5. That, am I ever going to play it again? You know what I mean? Um, I think you can still go online with it. But for the most part, they're just little kids. Like, someone gave them their old PS3 to play. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no more updates, so it's like hackable. It's like all these different fucking things, right? So it's kind of like, you know, after so many years, like your consoles on the online parts anyway are kind of dead, you know? You know, that's what's kind of cool about these, like, these other old video games where you didn't need to be online. You know what I mean? And now, you know, like on a PS5, I can download PS3 games, I can. PS2 games, but they like changed it so I can save it now. You know, like they'll bring back these old games, but they make them so you can save them. Yeah. You know, back in the day, you couldn't save Zelda, dude. You had to like play it straight through. Well, that was the first game you could actually save. Um, but all the other games you couldn't really. That was like the first Nintendo. But you catch my drift. So, yeah. Like, sometimes I look back at these Web 2 games or whatever you want to call them. Like, is anyone really going back to play it? Maybe for, you know, just to check it out for five, ten minutes, and then they get bored again, but... I don't know. Like... It, I, like, I've been building up this whole PS... You know, I got the PS5 for, what, a, a year now or, or so? Putting all this work into Grand Theft Auto. Now, the new one, none of that's going to carry over to the new one. Uh -huh. They're going to make you start all over again. Well... Yeah, so you have like vehicles and garages and stuff, buildings, yeah, really. whatever. Yeah. So it makes you wonder, like, am I ever going to go back and play Grand Theft Auto 5? I'm sure they'll keep updating it for a little while. But not, you know, eventually in a year after that, they're going to stop doing updates, right? So all that shit I just worked for was basically nothing. And I think a lot of my friends feel that same way. That's why they're not really playing it right now. But, uh,. And like already, there's like little kids on there that shouldn't be on there, you know. Their brothers gave that game or something, you know what I mean? I don't know. Oh right. <laughs> but I think that's also like where this other guy was talking. Like if they were all on the same server and we could all play each other, it'd be different. Okay. That'd be dope. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna happen. Um, it's gonna be like open world, and even like some game servers will be like, um, if they are like NFT based or something, Web three based, you'll be able to like. Because yeah, I mean, they, you still have the console, world, right? But all the gaming, like, okay. So they come out with a PS five bundle for the GTA six to get it cheaper because supposedly this game is gonna be like a hundred, hundred thirty bucks, whatever. So, it would be cheaper to buy, you know, and the same with buying a PS5. It's cheaper than me buying a whole computer. I get the controller, I get the hard drive, I get, you know. Like, obviously, I want to get a heat sink for it and all this other shit, but whatever. You know, it's kind of ready to go for four or five hundred bucks, right? It updates, this kind of thing, but I think that's, you know, they all know that in the console, you know, they all know, like, you know, we're just fucking with each other, you know, and the game developers are getting so pissed that they're actually going to web free games, right? Not yeah, but they're caught not selling any games. But then when I got the web free and I'm like, I look at all these games, I'm like, I don't even know where to start. Like, yeah. I just start playing each one. Like, I don't know. There's so many fucking games. It's like, oh. I, the way I say it to people is like, just, yeah, just, Pick something and have fun with it. That's people all are, I did, right? 
people are doing it. See the the people in like Web three games, they're like they're not playing to play. Well, I mean, some are playing to play, like myself, but the others are playing. They're not playing. They're collecting because they know they're gonna resell it to those who do come along and play it, and they're gonna make a return on it. So they're just like yeah, yeah. I mean, whales. Don't get me wrong. There's just a whole whale. gaming culture out there, and everybody does something a little different, you know. Um, I'm not trying to diss anything. Um, I love them all. I want all of it. I want competition. I want good stuff. I want, you know what I mean? If you're into something cool, man. Um, as far as I'm concerned, like, I get done work. I turn my game on. And I'm in a pissed off mood. I could grab my fucking Ferrari and drive down the fucking sidewalk and hit a thousand people. Mm -hmm. it just it just makes me feel good inside. Can't exactly do that with every game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I I was about to say this. Um Look you off track there. <laughs> I think I think uh if games could be played, like instead of like actually people going to war, like with each other, they like played a war game, and like you know if like Ukraine and Russia are, like fighting over territory, instead of like actually like killing each other, if we had like these like laws or like you had to play a game, and if like your country won the game, like you get the territory land. And, you, and, a, and then that country could like you know recontest to like, compete back like another season and like get their land back or something and like yeah. you know just that, gave Ukraine five billion dollars for PS fives and all right and like you know they're and like weird. yeah just like everyone was you know like one side was playing Mortal Kombat against like Rush <laughs> and like yeah. Rush, and then like you know whoever wins gets like the territory and then like maybe like next season like the other wins and they can. They can and they can like make and they can like make the money off of Ukraine or I don't know like the territory of Ukraine like economic resources and shit like that. That would be like so much better than people just like actually like blowing each other up and like wasting money on fucking like bombs that are just creating you know problems in the atmosphere. That's gonna ultimately make the human race become uh, extinct at some in, point because we got so much fucking pollution in, in there. There's money in war and there's money in weapons, but. I mean, ultimately, there's like, you know, there's conspiracy theories that, hey, they made all these military op games to get kids more interested in going into the army. Because, I mean, I don't know if you saw the speech the other day, like, they're ready to take illegal immigrants. As long as they go into the army, they'll make them a fucking citizen. I'm like, yeah, what is going on? I've been hearing about that, yeah. But anyway, you know, you can look at it a million different ways, but. I mean, it's a pretty cool idea. It's just, I think ultimately, it, not just military ops, but like people being able to have hand eye coordination with a controller. Now they could control drones. Now they control robots. Now our wars are with robots, right? Like, you know, you can keep looking at this, but obviously we have all that technology. They just suppress it all, right? Yeah, robot wars. I mean, it is kind of happening already, like drones. Um, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, oops, I mean, even Japan was like in the Robotech back in the day, right? Cartoons, shit, like even they saw was coming, right? Oh, like Akira. <laughs> Well, I don't know about Akira, but, you know, uh, Robotech and... I thought there was, like, robots or something in Akira. Somewhat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's very futuristic. Akira, that's a great movie, but... Yeah, that's, like, that's my favorite. That's Cowboy Bebop. Uh, my favorite's Yurisuka Doji. Um... Warzone, Warzone, um, the OG Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone. I have a bunch of skins, all sorts of stuff in there. 
And when they launched Warzone 2.0, um, nothing carries over. Yeah. And they like want, I, they want, you to, they want you to start over, man. Yeah, and they want me to buy all their shit again. To, they don't have to run all that code either, right? Yeah. Because I mean, they, they, they up it up for better graphics, better cards, better everything, right? I mean, he's... the visuals on this V, this uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 are, are sick. I don't know if you watched the preview yet. No, when's it, when's it coming out? It was. It came out the other day. Oh, it, oh, it just came out? Okay. So, yeah, and they have Tom Petty. Like, Tom Petty's already, like, in the soundtrack. Mm, it nice. takes place in, in Vice, you know, Miami again. Huh. Um, Tom Petty's the best. One of the best. As far as music out all, there. He's all proud of being in the preview, so. Um, definitely. Dude, they got fucking, it was supposed to come out the other day, and someone fucking leaked it on Twitter the night before somehow. <laughs> so they had to release it like the night before. I swear they do that shit to themselves, but who knows, right? That's why I keep looking every day to like, if they're going to leak the crypto early, right? But then, I, listen, I just think if they brought out a coin, like a GTA coin or a Rockstar coin, whatever, mm-hmm. like personally, I think it should be a GTA coin, but yeah, I agree. they want to use it in Red Dead or something, but. Oh, right. Um, but I, you know, they might have other games lined up. But if it was a G, if there was a real GTA coin, I would have to say, like, dude, it, you know, because now there's meme coins, right? There's alt coins, there's shit coins. The problem is uh, they don't want the value coins. going up and down. Dude, this would, but like I said, you could just use fractional dust for your NFTs, yeah. for your skins and shit. You don't have to use the real token. The token just be sitting out there. Yeah. I think it's like, like a Bitcoin, man. I think it would be like a Bitcoin. It would. I mean, uh, Gala. Why are buying that shit? Yeah, like Gala has Gala Grit, uh, like a Western Royale. And then like, you know, Gala Games came out with their Gala cryptocurrency. And, um, you well, know, I, I think. Like the, I brought this up to the other guys. Like Atari did it. So right before PS5 came out, Atari was coming out with a new Atari, and you could buy the Atari fucking coin on Atari.com, right? And you were allowed to use that coin to buy the Atari when it came out. And I bought it at like eight cents. It went. It actually went to like forty cents. I think twenty or forty cents. Like I know it doubled or tripled at one point. And I was like, yeah, I only put like. 50 bucks in i'll get the 400 dollar unit right this will go up but it did it went back down never worked and i brought these up to these guys earlier of like well maybe you know grand Theft, uh rockstar was watching them do that place you know playstation was watching them do that and see where they fucked up hmm. and that's why they've been working on it right so they've had years to work on it though you know there's a fucking coyote running around my streets for like the last couple of weeks. Nice. It looks like a fox, but it's not. It's too fucking big. Too cold out. Fox would be in his den, dude. Are we looking for like raccoons and trash or something? Uh, dead mice. Uh, Bunnies and shit. Bunnies, yeah. There's like coyotes in every fucking state now, man. Where are you at, man? Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. yeah. I'm up in the mountains. Yeah. Up around New York State. Like on the border. About like an hour from border New York State. Something like that. I hear that. They still deny we have mountain lions around here, but I know we do. Yeah, so, well, I'm originally from Philly, so. Yeah. They re they re released La Mountain Lions um Washington State in the Pennsylvania to bring them back because all the Nittany lines are gone. <laughs> but uh I'm sure they're around. Um I didn't know Atari came out with an Atari token.
Is that what you said? Atari came out with a crypto? Yeah, before the PS5 came out. There was a new Atari that came out. Oh, I think you said yeah. Atari made a crypto. Yeah, so they made this. They made a token and a coin. Oh, oh, okay. So that, you know, to go along with it. Mm -hmm. And at the time, they said, oh, you can buy it now. And then when the Atari comes out, you can use that crypto right on the website to buy the unit or games or whatever. And it just didn't really pan out. I was all about it, man. I had the Atari, the Atari coin. Yeah, like people... I was saying, like, they tried it, and they were getting away with it, probably because they're not the big boys. But I'm sure Rockstar and PS5 and all these people were watching them. Like, what are they doing over there, you know? Um, like, me playing PUBG right here, like, the G coin um, is their native digital currency. And... But you just buy all these in-game currencies like the COD points, the G coin, um, to buy shit in the game with US dollars. And that's that's the way they keep their value of their in-game token stable. So when they get like a, a game coin or token that's actually on chain that can be taken out of the game and like manipulated on a marketplace to the value of the dollar. That's why these games don't want to fuck with it. That's why they don't want to ever have an on-chain like crypto primarily because they know you know it's like kind of market share to like that they don't even really need to do it's like they don't need they don't need to have their tokens uh, being traded to other people because it actually doesn't bring them any value after the token's been used if it's being sold on a marketplace <laughs> and then if they have to like maintain a diluted token that's like just dumping zero and you know it hurts it will hurt the game um right right i mean i hear you so it's gonna be i think it's like if it's like rockstar does a crypto or something it's gonna be like their own blockchain it's gonna be like rockstar blockchain or something like that they would like utilize their crypto on so that you know it can't be I don't know, like something like that, or like, I don't know, or just. Well, that's what these other guys are saying. They'd be better off doing a stable coin. Yeah. Um, like I said, there's there's a way of like, and that's what Midnight's working on right now. With Cardano is like, like you get dust from Midnight, and it's private or public. It's on chain, on chain. It's proof of stake, proof of work. It's everything. So, like, if Cardano goes up or down, it doesn't affect the dust. You know, which is like the stable part, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right? Then you can use that dust for certain things. Like I said, there's a million ways of doing it, right? But, like, if, if Rockstar went to, you know, 400,000, like, Bitcoin... You know, it's not going to cost more shit in the game because of the dust, right? Like maybe it's a GTA token underneath the Rockstar coin or something. You know what I mean? No doubt. Yeah, but, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah, like Rockstar coin and like GTA sub token or something like that. But no. I, think, I think a GTA coin would do better than use the Rockstar dust. But either way, you can do it a million different ways. I just, uh, I just thought it'd be a cool way to get gamers actually into crypto and, and maybe they can figure something out and solve something with all the money and smart ass people they have there. I mean it would make sense I to have like direct the, the gaming it, it would make sense to have like Rockstar USD, like R U S D or something like that. And then like and then they have like their own pairing to like, you know, use your R U S D. Um they have their own stable coin. And then people will like have R U S D or USDC, like whatever the fuck, but like they have their own market share because they don't want, let's face it, like they don't want to have like a coin based stable coin. They want their own with their own liquidity and their own value of a stable coin that they can, um, people can like add liquidity to with like USD, but still like pegged to the dollar. That would make sense to me to like use the RUSD and then buy, you know, 
um, buy a you know, GTA token in the game um, to buy like items or properties or whatever the f whatever the fuck, and like maybe someday those properties are on chain, you know, NFTs, and then they have their own marketplace of like NFT properties and like NFT vehicles and stuff like that, and like right. then like and those, yeah, and then they're making. Yeah, they're making like royalties off the marketplace sales and shit. Paper, and it sounded everything like that has to be there for Rockstar to do their thing. And these guys went off on me, man. And look, I'm not trying to uh, collapse any other gaming NFT or any gaming coins or, you know, I love all of it. And I told them that, you know, there's like, why would they do that when there's all these other ones? And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm not saying they're doing anything. I'm just asking you guys. Like, I'm just looking at it, you know, stepping back and looking at it. And uh, and they're going off on me about all these other gaming, you know, billions of dollars. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Even my one buddy's doing a Pepe game right now. He got all the people from Ubisoft. He got, like, all these real fucking badass developer dudes that were sick of not making any money, you know. Like, there's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of video games. I love all of it. I just want something to work, you know? I hope yeah. it all works, you know? But, uh, you know, when I, when you look at me and like, all right, I'm going to play a different game. I'm getting sick of GTA. And I look back and like, there ain't fucking one game I really want to play. You know, like maybe some old school game that's redone for nostalgia. I'm into that. You know, if they redid like a, like a Road Rash game. I'd be into that, especially nice. if it was online. You know, if they redid a uh, Twisted Metal, I'd be into that if it was online. You know, which is, again, nostalgia, older games, right? Yeah, those like I said, be... I tried to play the new, the newer Wolfenstein and the newer Doom, and I'm like, what the fuck is this, you know? Crazy. Especially Doom, like, there's, at least Wolfenstein, there's people, it's, they're on the ground and doom, man. They're flying out of here from everywhere. It's like I couldn't. I was getting motion sickness, spinning in circles, shooting in the air. Like, this is insane. But, um, but think, look, I'm not. I'm not the gamer nerd like you guys all are. I don't know all these companies. Like, you know, obviously, I you know I heard of. Uh, couple of them when they came out back in the day but I can't even name them now but um it's gonna be um I, I just think to keep it easy um I'm like right now I'm like like on Monday, I have to go back into cohort class because I'm in like Bitcoin startup labs, and um, so they're actually looking for like what people can innovate on Bitcoin because let's face it, like right now, like Ethereum is crushing it. There's actually, actually, Bitcoin did do recently over transactional rates. Um, it's like a threat because some core developers of Bitcoin they don't believe like ordinals and inscriptions they just believe it's a vulnerability to coin chain codes take all of that back off of it like get rid of inscription spamming the blockchain like yeah but like then you're back to like what does bitcoin do like what's the strong point of bitcoin yeah to i mean that's why they're that's why they're running their own ordinals right they're running off their own uh what do they call it? the the devs um some core people building in like bitcoin they want to take it all back apart and then these inscriptions want to bring the code back around and it would diminish and like destroy well, like, like what they did the liquidity the market rate. They they tried to take Pepe's away and put Nard on the blockchain, and they just did their own. What do they call it? It starts with an S, I think. A segue or um, mm -hmm. I forget what it's fucking called, man. 
they just like went around it, you know? So like, and that's what's kind of funny too. Like no one really like owns a Bitcoin. You own a piece of node that says you have one somewhere, right? Right. <laughs> you don't really have it. <laughs> I mean, you do in your wallet, yeah. Yeah, but like technically it's just a, a number sequence that says you have one. I mean, yeah, core devs could come together and be like, make a consensus on like forking Bitcoin to make the supply like more than 21 million. I mean, you know, that's not, that's not completely out the door. Um, well, that, that, and they have stuff to lay out for it to be a currency. Like they they'll push a button, they can make it, you know, and switch it to like a currency so that, you know, you can keep mining it. Right. There's right. a bunch of shit, shit, shit sitting there for, you know, a touch of a button. Right. So, yeah, that's why these. I, I did an interview with like Stanford Bitcoin Startup Labs, and yeah, on like Monday, I have to be back in cohort class. And it is just that it's like, what? They, they interviewed us, and like they took me and Bebel. I think they took like 15 or 20 of us out of like a. I don't even know how many people, like a bunch of people. And uh, to like be like, okay, like build something on Bitcoin that will solve something. And I'm putting forth like two couple of things and like, but then like, you know, I sign these agreement contracts that, you know, something. You're not really going to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry? That you're not going to really do it. No, yeah. I mean, but like, that's just it. It's like, I'll build there. Um, and then corporation is like these entities and these VC firms will all have like market share you know, kind of ownership into, uh, you know, company shares of a C Corp startup or whatever, and especially like launching a cryptocurrency in that C Corp car market share, like these investors will definitely have, um, you know, market share percentage and even Bitcoin startup lab itself will have like market share percentage in like a token. Um, that's just like what you're saying, like for a game or whatever. But... I mean, there's all kinds of things they're doing with the Pepe's and, you know, off, you know, putting the JSONs on them and all that stuff. But, you know, you know, like when you look at like Dogecoin and Litecoin, you know, they're all like forks of Bitcoin basically. So, I mean, it's just kind of copy, cut, and paste, but it's all based on Bitcoin, so. Yeah. Yeah, Dogecoin's like a joke. It's actually, I thought it was, Dogecoin was a copy of Litecoin. Right? I'm not sure, it was a Bitcoin. I think they're just both works of Bitcoin, but you, you could be right, but I know Litecoin's just supposed to be faster, right? Yeah, Litecoin's um, significantly faster. Um... I think Dogecoin was, it was a joke, right? Yeah, even the dev himself said it was stupid. Must have nothing but to do with it. It, it is a like meme coin, right? And that's, like, I'm all for these Pepe coins, but none of them are all a fork of Bitcoin. They're all on Ethereum. So I just kind of laugh at them. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You know, if someone actually made it a fork like Bitcoin, off of Bitcoin like that, like a Dogecoin or a Litecoin or, you know, then I could consider it a fucking meme coin. You know, as far as these meme coins now, like, I just consider them a shit coin because it's just Ethereum. You know what I mean? Right. Anybody could have wrote it. Anybody could have made it up. I don't know who Dev is, right? <laughs> um, it's just like copy and paste smart contract yeah. code. Some people just like... Yeah. Just took the, took the code or whatever, a smart contract, and was like, oh yeah, Pepe, like, put, like put Pepe in like the contract. Yeah, I mean, and it's not the first. There's, so, there's been plenty over the years. It's just that, this one's finally taken off, right? Or all three of them, or all five of them, whatever. There's so many of them, but uh, you know, like we said earlier, you know, people are like, oh, what is it? They don't look at no white paper. They're just like, is it pumping? Are you buying it? <laughs> That's all they care about. Yeah.
I made um. You got yeah. a lot of people were bored the last two years being in a bear market and just got sick of it and just started shit coin, man. It's bored. Basically, I mean, it'll always kind of go back and forth. I mean, that's kind of like why, like, well, that's what they used to do with altcoins, right? Yeah. Now altcoins are like, okay, after Bitcoin comes down a bit, they'll put money in altcoins and and, and 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 then start investing in other things. But man, we just been in a straight six months, eight months of fucking shit coining. <laughs> and they're still going. You know, I mean, to the point where they have fucking now they're just selling dildo fucking dick <laughs> fucking NFTs, you know what I mean? Like, come oh, on, how bored are you guys? I mean I, I when I look to work on something and deliver something, it's because like I want to improve like a code base of something or like you know, make a practical code base of something. So I was telling you about like eCoin, like a lot of tokens, the problem cryptos have is um, it's like when they, when they're like, um, like reflective, like people like, you know, have like a tax rate that like burns it or spreads to people earn it or something like the, like the yeah, safe or, moon. Or no tax or a burn rate or. Yeah. So they used to say like, if it's got a burn rate, if it's got a, a free airdrop, if it's, then it's a scam, right? Like, you're... Mm, I don't think so. I mean, it depends on how, like... Well, I'm just telling you what other people say. Right. I don't know if I necessarily believe that, but, you know, sometimes you got to look at it like, well, what are they doing? But, like, sometimes I look at, like, you know, like Tether or stable coin like the money they make goes back in and keep it there in case it goes down you know there is a lot of smart little think like projects out there yeah you know, like we were talking about earlier when, when we got into like all coins man i was like oh into the science technology what are they doing with this you know like i could build fucking wells in africa <laughs> with, with with a coin you know and actually help the world right like there's cool science and technology out there to do this shit Yes, you, um, like you said, man, people just want to pump dump. They don't care about the technology, man. It's fucking weird. Well, um, greed, but I, I did like a I did a code base part for. for um, you can go to like eCoin.net and like look at it. I mean, for like whatever, but like um, for eCoin, that basically uh, the problem with like reflective tokens are are burning tokens that burn on TXs, they're they're stuck to the DEX. So they're stuck to the to the router, um, to the LP pairing router for the burn rates. So, you know, I worked on a code base that was like our contract was a shot on the field. Um I worked on a code base that was like um, so I can point the contract. So if when a central cryptocurrency exchange goes like, well, we want to, we want to list the token. And that's when like, that's when the burn rate stops for a token. So like tokens haven't succeeded. And that's why like Kexes won't like people won't like, you know, put on a Kex or something like that or fuck with it because the code base isn't strong enough to be a true burning token unless, um, you know, you can point it at a, a Kex not wallet so so that's what i did for yeecoin is like you know it's got a it's got an lp burning rate it's pointing to an lp burning rate but then at the same time um i can point it at new con new uh new hot wallets like as many hot wallets as needs to be pointed at to um you know continue the burn rate on tx's so you know um so i can keep burning down and I, I, I did a lot of shit person here. So I did a lot of like I've got no health. Um so I did a lot of uh get this per cool. I did a lot of research into like that's just uh like yeah, it's like what we're talking about. Doge daily transactional rates, Bitcoin daily transactional rates. Um to see like, you know, there's people out there with bots running, you know, up and down to make it look like it's moving. There's, well, that I, know, 
yeah like, like they're hiding they're hiding wallets so it doesn't look like they're own they own like 50 percent of it i mean there's a million different ways well that the relative mean, the relative like can't see through it but yeah like the relative like daily transactional rate of like doge and bitcoin averaged out um and like uh, what they average like um so I ran that with like a lot of AI algorithms because AI, you know, I'm not too crazy on AI, but you know, AI helps when it's practical. Uh, so I ran some like AI algorithms. I'm like, you know, how long would it take to parity Bitcoin with a 21 trillion supply yeet coin that will burn down to 21 million at around the same time that Bitcoin will be mining up to um, 21 million over the next 132 years. Because, I mean, as it is right now, like, Bitcoin will be mined out in the next two to three years. But with the halving coming up in 2024 and the rewards dropping and the, and the um, difficulty increasing, it's going to take another, it's going to bump that back up to 130, about relatively 132, 135 years to mine all 21 million Bitcoin out. So, you know, I, I just kind of, like, ran a lot of, I spent, like, a year, like, running these numbers to, like, you know, deploy a Yeet coin that is, is burning right now, like down to like, you know, 21 million after, well, I mean like well after I'm gone and when that burn rate reaches 21 million, the burn's gonna stop. Um, And then like, what will like Bitcoin be worth then? And like, what will something like Yeet coin be worth then that's usable in a in a game? And like, like the game part, like I won't have, I won't be done for like the next three to four years because I'm like, I'm like the guy who built a, like a, what was it, like Stardew Valley that's on Xbox. Um, you know, he spent like eight years building a game solo, but it's a really brilliant game. It's an awesome game. And a lot of people are playing that's so why it's on Xbox and why, why it's succeeding so much. Um, I wonder if, I, I wonder if like Web3 games will ever be on like an Xbox or something, like PlayStation. Well, like I said, if if these console wars kind of stop merging, but I mean, PlayStation already kind of announced their, their PlayStation Six already, which is yeah. weird. But um, and then of course their their PlayStation Pro, I guess the PlayStation Slim's out. And it does seem like Microsoft didn't go the same direction; like they went at the you know stayed went a different direction. But um, you know, with them having New, you know, owning Chat GPT now, and a new uh, Microsoft Paint. Like, who knows what they're going to do with with their system? But they use their own blockchain. I think they're using like I think they're working with like um I think they've done exploratory stuff with like uh, uh Intel's Hyper Sawtooth Ledger blockchain. It's like Hyper's. Yeah, I mean all those Sawtooth blocks, or something. Even, even Google and and. Uh, all of them were buying like certain coins early. I forget actually which ones they were, but um, cause I started buying them because they were. But um, you know who knows because they have to come up with their niche to sell something, right? Yeah, that's so, why it would make sense that. You know, we were saying before, you know, like, like in the way I would think about, like, Rockstar has, like, RUSD. Then they have, like, GTA token. You can, like, buy in their own ecosystem with, like, RUSD GTA token. And then, like, you know, and then, like, their properties and shit are, like, cross-compatible to their game scalings. Um, because the game itself, like, they won't need to, like, games won't have to, like, game titles won't have to focus on, like, selling the title itself like gta 6 everyone's gonna go buy gta 6 for 30 dollars a piece or like then you can buy like the the larger package with like more stuff for like 80 dollars or something like that and get more in it they want uh, maybe they won't have to like focus on that so much where the, they'll just be like having like assets that cross compatible that are cross compatible as like nfts like on chain like you know data driven nfts and like the, um unreal engine 5 or whatever and then you know the royalties that spill off from people just like transacting like all this shit they own in the game just the royalties like sustain and float these companies to scale their games out um just from like daily transactional rates of royalties um 
Well, that, that, that would make sense that, to me, but, I guess. Yeah. I mean, not just that, but like, you know, even with the PS5 and, and the other guys, uh, there's a lot of people that work at Rockstar that just come up with new stories for new games within the game, you know, new missions, right, every week. And uh, there could be like a whole NFT project of missions. Right, there could be a whole project of, like you said, I like the part where you said with the companies, like the cars, and maybe Coca Cola wants to get involved. Right, I mean Tom Petty's obviously getting a fucking check right now off the preview. All right, and you and you know it. So, I mean, there's 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 like stunt people. Yeah, uh -huh. there's actors. The actors do the voices. Well, they do that. They have like the. So like people like stunt workers who like do like stunts and like games and movies and shit like that yeah that were actors on it like, well they're like unionized so they'll get like they'll get um think of that term um my folks get these things because they do like uh certain works in like theatrical um remittance like remittance checks you know and like some of these stunt workers they'll they'll like do like a stunt gig um for like so and so a year and then they'll get like, and then like the film rolls out, and then like you know, two years later, like they still get like a hundred grand, like check, like just check, right? yeah, just from like the film, like doing yeah. two years of business, and they're like they'll just yeah. keep getting these remittal checks and stuff like that. Well, not only that, like, what's the difference if you have, let's say, a GTA coin, right, and it can go up or down, or a Rockstar, I'd say, that can go up or down. If Rockstar is allowed to have a stock market. What's the difference? There's holders, there's sellers, right? There's buyers. Is Rockstar? Do they have a publicly traded company or so? Is that is that I'm like? Look it up. I'm gonna go on Robinhood and look it up. Look yeah, I don't know if they have a stock or not. I think it's. But a... they could. Yeah, they could. Right. I mean, they'd probably so... go public before they'd ever like issue like a, maybe like a crypto. I don't know. I think they do. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, Rockstar Games. Is it a publicly traded company? I'm not sure. I mean, Rockstar Games might be owned by like another company that has like you know shares on the marketplace, like Tencent or something like that. I don't know. Damn it! I haven't been here in a while, so it's asking me all these questions. I don't see a rock star, but it might be under something else. Um, but you you get my drift. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? You know, people are coming. Well, they could lose. You know, it could go down. Well, same with their stock. You know, when you when you buy a rock star coin, you're technically kind of buying a stock. You can hodl it, sell it, buy it, trade it, right? Kind of the same thing. But then the SEC is going to step in and be like, uh-uh, oh, that's a security. Give us all a bunch of money. Or like, uh -huh. reg register as a security, and then you got to like, do your due diligence to like, keep updating, you know, securities. And like, what's the nature of the security? Like, you know, you can't, you can't, can't publicly solicit security. It's like, is everything a security then? You know? Yeah. Acorns. You know, that's funny because that, that dude from the SEC fucking actually taught Bitcoin classes and shit. But anyway. Yo, the Genser guy? Yeah, the Genser guy did. Yeah. And then not only that, he goes after every company but Bitcoin. It's right? like, so, yeah. But I mean, who do you so go after guess, in Bitcoin? That's the thing. Well, that's the other thing is you have a point there. But if you also look at it like that's like, get, that's like working for BlackRock, dude. Taking out all your competition, right? Or like working for uh, JP Morgan or somebody, right? Like yeah. you're just working. Yeah, I can take out fucking any company I want right now. Like what they did this, it's, what's his name from? What's his name? CZ? CZ Zhao? Yeah. He's, he got like, got a, he's being indicted. After he gave him billions of dollars. And they're like, oh, he's a fight risk. Well, why the fuck did he fly back here and give you all this money? Like, what the fuck? But and anyway. I haven't circled back short. around. Yeah, I don't know if they actually let him. I haven't. I haven't short is. Last week. 
um, they, you know, they have a way to take you down any giveaway from Sunday, right? Don't fuck with them, right? Yeah, uh, I but used to I used to talk with them. Like you came from the stock market, right? I came from the stock market. That's why, like, I when I helped the Tron blockchain so, startup, I made it. Understand a... what companies have to do to get you know onto this onto the exchanges and yeah, do what they have to do. Yeah, yeah, I registered. A lot of these coins, yeah. a lot of these coins could do the same thing, but they won't. They'd rather get a fine and pay a fine. But they can. They can register with the SEC. That, if, that's see, what, like if that's what if that's what you're saying. Coins, like they want to take it down the C, the stable coins just so they could come out with their own CBDCs, you know? And the new world order ain't fucking around with it. Like they want it. They want a new world order currency, right? Everything we do right now is pretty much digital anyway. Like if you go to the bank to get cash and they just look at you like we don't have any of that here. What are you, what are you talking about? How much cash you want? You know, like, what are you going to do with it? Like, who cares? Just give me my fucking money. Well, we can't do that, sir. You're going to have to wait seven days. Like, <laughs> well, actually, you know? the, what the government. Everything's digital anyway. Everything's yeah. on a fucking computer anyway. Well, the government changed those laws that banks had to have a certain amount of cash on hand, and then they've removed that gap for like the past year and a half or something. It, uh, they removed that that threshold that a bank doesn't that actually now is not required to have any cash. <laughs> so it's like, right. you know, they could have I mean, zero dollars in the bank and you could take your money out and be like, I want to close my account. And they're like, oh, actually, we don't have any money here. <laughs> you know, the right. laws say we don't have to have money in our bank, uh, cash right. money. I mean, and, and it's like, you know, but we got your digital number. And it's like, but I don't want my digital number anymore <laughs> with you. Right, right. Oh, there's not much we can do about that. I guess, like, you know, move it to uh, something like Cash App and then buy Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't know. Like, go to an ATM and take your money out of random ATMs with fees. Like, that's, is that going to be, like, the future of people trying to get cash? Well, that's what people figure, too. Like, that's your, you know, your wet, your when, right? Your, your fees in crypto is kind of like hitting the ATM, right? But it shouldn't go up and down like the way it does. Well, people are all pulling out at the same time. Well, fucking ATM doesn't go up and down when people want to pull money out. It's a couple bucks and that's it. What the fuck? But, you know, back to like what I was going to say earlier is I don't even remember like when Obama was in office, dude, he wanted to make it that the government could check to see what's in your account. Hmm. Which should be highly illegal, right? Oh, just like at any whim's notice without a subpoena? They can just be like, oh, let's just look at this person's account? Yeah. Uh. Basically, he was trying to set it up through, like, <clears throat> like a back door. Like, like if you go to collect uh, a pension or unemployment or something like that, they could be like, oh, this is how much you have. Um, you don't, You don't get to get welfare or something like that, right? Like anytime, anytime they, the government would be giving you money, they could check and see how much you had in there. Which isn't right. And then, and number two, it, it goes along with um, like that's been a law forever, right? Like they can't, they shouldn't know what you have, right? But the. You know, but they're but you're after DIC insured, so we we should be able to know what you have. You know, like, but then when you know, and you pull back, and people say, "Oh, Bitcoin, that's for criminals." Well, actually, cash is more liquid than fucking in crypto. There's a trace of crypto. <laughs> you know? That's that's the, that's the argument. Is like, it's, yeah, it's people like. But don't make that people argument. Don't realize, people don't realize it, but when you put the fucking money, when you give cash to a bank, and they, you know, they, they go through the ATM, it's scanning all those numbers on the notes. It knows where those notes were given out at what bank or what ATM machine. 
So like some way or another, your cache is being kind of tracked to a point. You know what I mean? Like if you deposit it into the bank teller, sometimes if it's a lot, they'll like throw it in a count, you know, a cash counting machine. But n they don't necessarily like all that money you give them. Yes, it usually does go right to the mint. Would be like reminted or whatever, like coins. But that machine, the ATM machine, is definitely reading the numbers, the notes, right? To see if it's a like legitimate currency. Number one, right? But technically, that bank can track it and be like, "Oh, this this cash came from your buddy from South Carolina," you know. This bank issued it to them on this date. Like that, if they really wanted to look at it, right? I mean, the new thing is uh, banks being able to custody crypto themselves, um, which I don't, I don't. I think that that was like three years ago. You're talking like, oh, like banks can like start to custody crypto, um, and I think I think that I'm not sure on that, but that's like. Uh, then that's like, like then the banks you know instead of like people being like well I'm on like a bitcoin and like so the bank's like yeah we have bitcoin um you know we can custody your bitcoin we can custody your you know your cryptocurrencies just like we can custody your cash um, so that that well, wouldn't that's surprise like me exchanges like if you had low number bitcoins first issued ones right they would they were saying oh they should be worth more money but I think that's why they they want to do ETFs on Bitcoin, or like eventually, like there's me an ETF on Bitcoin, well, like so like banks can I have like my, some catalysts I, to like Bitcoin. I put my original satoshis in a fucking in an exchange. They keep them. They give me different ones. When if I you know get them back out, they don't give me my same ones back. Yeah, especially if they're rare satoshis. Right. Even like Magic Eden's now rare satoshis. Yeah, but you know. It also goes to the to the fact that you know, like I had a big conversation the other week on um, like some of the original uh, Nakamoto mine satoshis. You can buy them on Magic Eden. They're not that expensive. Huh? I was looking at uh, well, I brought up like um that you know Visa and Mastercard fucking are the real mobsters on earth. Make more money than anybody, right? loan sharking which should be illegal like what happens when they get a hold of this shit and they will and they're working on it you know they're not going to let the cash apps and venmos of the world take over dude depends on what jack dorsey does i know jack dorsey's doing something with he's kind of falling but, off but you catch you Twitter. catch my drift oh yeah visa's visa has so much money they're not just gonna sit there i mean my first crypto dot com was a visa card you know and they did some funny shit with that report with crow it was called something else and their little fable or their little dust coin you know but um, uh but anyhow i guess my my point is like at some point they kept reissuing that visa card like but i still have the original card never used it it's kind of like a, like a showpiece. Like I put it on the wall someday. But, um, you know, just to show them, like, hey, look, I had, like, the first fucking crypto visa card, you know, or whatever. But they kept reissuing that and changing the rules. Like, if you had the blue card, you could get this. Well, that's how I got free Spotify. That was, and then, like, the next year, they took it away. Like, I still have Spotify, but I got to pay for it now. But... At the time, I got, you know, if I had the red card, I got, like, other perks. You know what I mean? More perks. I'd like, go with the travel or discounts. Like... Yeah, discounts on hotels.com or, like, yeah. shit like that, you know? But they kept changing it all. But, like I was saying, man, Visa and MasterCard ain't just going to sit around all day. I mean, it's, it's um, and, and was that, they like, a... charge you, they can get, they can get exchange rates and interest <laughs> on your ass dude and it was gonna do it was that a card where you could actually 
you know, you it, you had like the Bitcoin there. We could actually spend your Bitcoin by swiping your card. Is that how it went? Basically. Yeah, because they just like. I think, I think I had to like it transferred it to like their coin. Oh, and okay. then Used it, but yeah, basically. See, that's that's that'll be the solving thing. Is like when you can just like have a piece of Mastercard type thing, and then you, but like you, it, but it's like your Bitcoin. And I mean, you whatever just, you want to put on it, yeah. yeah. But like the merchant itself is like, well, I don't want to fucking get, the, I don't want the Bitcoin when they run a transaction. I do, I just want the, I want my, I want my, my stable, value, government issued fiat. And so like when they settle, so when they can solve like settling those transactions, the merchant gets the, the fiat, but you, you're spending your Bitcoin. You know they'll have that tech intermediary. Well, that's what's definitely... funny about that's what's funny about exchanges too, right? Is like they already bought, let's say, um, like who owns the most Bitcoin, Coinbase or something, right? Uh, I was surprised. Just, besides the government, just some that. themselves. Well. Because some know. some say the government created Bitcoin, so Man, you know. an exchange. I, I'm just talking exchanges. So oh, okay, yeah. Um, let's say Coinbase has the most, right? Well, they have all this Bitcoin sitting there, but on their app, they could just say, "Yeah, you have this much Bitcoin," right? But they it's... don't have to tell the feds how much Bitcoin they have, or how much you have. They don't have to give you the Bitcoin until you take it out, right? Like sure, you put everybody puts it in. The value goes up, and then you're selling it. You're paying tax on it. At least the government's going to have you, well, you know, file your that, capital but, gains on it. Yeah, not just that, but the fact that, like, like we just said earlier, like you, you could have had a low satoshi, and they give you a different one. But um, the point being, like. That was my point here. I guess I'm trying to say is like they kind of you know the crypto and they they just same with your bank, right? Like they have all your money, but it's not yours so you take it out, right? It's like well, what's what's interesting? What what is interesting is like because we were talking about rare satoshis, so what if you have like Bitcoin, you don't even know like, you don't even know like, what sort of satoshi you have. Um. You know you have a you have a bunch of Bitcoin, and say like, you know you're with a provider that you know you actually own your your Bitcoin in a wallet. Or, yeah, let's just say this like, you're not using Coinbase. You're not using an intermediary. You're using your own uh, cold wallet storage. But then, like the government, like looks at your wallet and goes, like, you know, um, hey, we saw you like, you know, sent this like Bitcoin to an exchange and like sold it or, or sent it through a provider yeah, and like, it through Monero. Yeah, whatever. yeah, or you or you changed it into like say a government fiat and like you know you you paid this much capital gains on it. But actually, you know, you had this rare Satoshi or <laughs> in your wallet and that rare Satoshi was worth this much. So you got to pay capital wow. gains on, you got to pay capital gains on the value of that Satoshi. That would be freaking crazy. That would be nuts. Be like the, you have like some Satoshi, like original Nakamoto mine Satoshi. And they're like, actually that Satoshi was worth a million dollars alone. And like, you're like, yeah, so we want capital gains on that Satoshi that you sold for like $200 or something. <laughs> it's like. You know, even though it's worth a million dollars, so you, we still expect you, you know, pay capital gains to a million dollars or some shit, even though you didn't get a million dollars. Yeah. I heard people were like, you know, that that hasn't happened specifically, but that'd be nuts. But I heard people were selling, were um, what was it? They were buying, uh, like yeah, like crypto, and then it would go up way in value, and they didn't sell it back in the fiat. When they were, oh, no, no, what was it? No, when they were buying it, um, so what the fuck was it? Like someone bought a bunch of crypto, and it went up in value, and they didn't sell it, and they were buying more at the at the high, 
and it like tanked back down and um but they're still expected to pay the capital gains tax or they or something like that to the value that they bought it at and like they <laughs> they had to like liquidate and like pay a bunch of like I don't know. I can't. Maybe I'm like I'm not saying it correctly completely, no, I but know like exactly what you're saying. Um, but people got screwed off, me, like yeah, having to like well, pay that's capital that's gains on like the money thing. they didn't even have anymore. That's the other thing because that the markets up. markets tanked or something. Like two years ago was right when they were pushing for the capital gains tax. It was like it'll pump in December, and then it'll crash right in January. So if you bought at the highs. <laughs> you got, or if it went up, you know, it went up the year prior, you got to pay all the capital gains tax. And now that it's January and it went way down, you still have to pay those capital gains from last year. Now that it's a new year, it'll go back up by next December again. <laughs> like, that's why this cycle runs like that. The last two years have been fucked up, you know, because of COVID, the bear, or whatever you want to call it. But, but you catch my drift, right? So, yeah. Like, yeah, it goes way up right before the new year. People were telling me to, like, go, go buy Basie with, like, they're, like, I knew some people that are buying Basie with, like, COVID money. And they're like, oh, want to come buy Basie? I was like, no, I don't want to buy. on me and trying to headshot me but yeah i mean there's all these like little things that suck you know and then you know you got people saying all right we'll put it into this and take it back out and that's why they were hating on stable coins right but th at the same time like now every exchange has to like moderate everything you do and turn it in right um and then there's also the the fact that you can like put in the artwork and art shouldn't count as money right because you bought a piece of artwork yeah capital 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 gains on art be a thing well or if you put on us are you talking about if you put the r on satoshi is that what you mean well like if you bought like rare pepe like a nakamoto let's say you made five hundred thousand dollars this year and you bought a nakamoto with it and then go and sell the nakamoto well i sold a piece of art i shouldn't have to pay gains on that right I think you still pay tax on art, right? You sell it if you make it sell it for profit. I don't. Not if you sell a piece of art. I don't think. I thought it was any. Wasn't any different. I think profit's profit. So, um, government still wants tax. I'm not sure. I'd have to. Have to I'd have to look it up on what it what art art. Um, you know, brokering a piece of art and selling it at a profit. If if the Government would still view like those profits as something that's taxable, a taxable event, um, well, like, as like as like an asset you own. Basically, if you sell like an asset, if there's, you know, tax, you know, if you sold a property, there's there's taxable event or whatever. Or maybe art's not I no mean, different. Everything's taxed. There's even a death tax, but yeah, I think there's a way around like some. Let's say, like art. Yeah, it's called um, um. Write offs. <laughs> like, I, I sold this piece of art for 500000 but I spent 500000 in gas driving around the country or something. I don't know. I think that's why, like, um, people like Crystal Hefner is like selling her Basie. It's weird, like, certain people like that, like, she follows me. Um, she was Hugh Hefner's wife or whatever, where he passed away. I think she inherited, like, the Hefner whole thing or whatever. Playboy thing or whatever, but yeah, she's selling her. She's selling her basie. 
think she's selling at a loss. Probably to, probably because something like a basie helps, you know, reduce taxes. Like how much she has to pay in taxes compared to like estates and stuff like that. Getting as many write-offs as possible as a loss. Which they have so much money anyways, it's like they gotta buy something just so it will be a loss. So they have to pay as much tax. Yeah. They're giving them this piece of shit fucking piece of art there is, thanks. <laughs> But I mean, there's also, you know, people that put it into Monero and then lose, you know, trying to lose it mm -hmm. and take it back out. But I don't know. I never, I don't know. Um, I saw like those Nakamoto cards like ported over to ETH chain and like they're being sold for like 500,000, half a million or something now. Yeah, on the Emblem Vault. That's what I was asking you when I came in. Yeah, I don't own any of that stuff. I'm up. Yeah, poor it's basically because people don't know how to buy a Pepe, you know, on Bitcoin. So they wrap it inside this emblem vault, and then you could sell it on OpenSea as ETH. So these people see that as, oh, I got ETH, I could buy a rare Pepe, even though they're paying way more for it. But you still have to pay, like, whoever put it in a vault had to pay at least 30 bucks, right? Plus, um, they probably make it more money because they had to do all this fucking work, all these fees to transfer it in there and lock it up. But people don't know how to go to WTF, Pepe, you know, and buy the fucking thing. So they just buy them on there. Talking about the card, the yeah. Pepe cards, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy, man. I think people like. I mean, I, that's why I was like, at first I was like, kind of like, oh, well, how does this, how's this or that? And like, you know, I scratched my head about it for about like three hours. And then after like, I kind of like looked into it. I was like, oh, this is how, this is how people are dispensing, you know, cards and stuff. Yeah. Just putting it in a dispenser. Yeah. So but, I just, I mean, there's, there's the same thing. There's other, and then the emblem vault. Emblem Vault just expanded their stuff, so you can do a bunch more stuff with it. But it just seems like right now, like like as Pepe's are starting to go back up, a lot of people are just doing this because other people are seeing like, oh, I could buy a rare Pepe on OpenSea. You know, they don't understand all that. They just know, oh, I can do that. <laughs> So like it almost makes me want to do it just to make more money off the card, you know. But oh, do you own the Nakamoto things or whatever? Nah, the Nakamoto is five hundred thousand dollars, man. I don't have none of those. Yeah, I don't. No one's really selling them. There's only like I'm like free for sale. I remember looking at crypto punks when they were point zero four ETH, and I was like, yeah. I was like, well, okay. <laughs> Um, that's just that's it. Like... Thing. That's what's funny about NFTs, right? Like, like most of your NFT, your JPEG sitting on someone's server somewhere. Like, it's, you know, that NFT is only worth like if that if that dude's server goes, if that company goes down, right? That server, like, what happens to your stuff? Oh, like OpenSea? No, OpenSea is just like a an exchange, right? It's just a, like an eBay, right? Yeah, what I'm talking about is like like a crypto punk that's not on Counterparty, right? It's on an Ethereum based. It's sitting in Yoga Labs somewhere, right? If Yoga Labs goes down, it's sitting on their server, like your JPEG sitting on someone's server. Oh, um. So if that company went down and they shut down the server, you just lose it. Not a crypto punk. Well, not, maybe not CryptoPunk, but these crypto, are crypto, crypt, crypto punks are actually on chain SVG, so they're actually encrypted to the Ethereum blockchain. So unless the Ethereum blockchain itself went down, like CryptoPunk will never disappear. That's what. That's well, what. I don't know much about CryptoPunks, but I know yeah. there's there's NFTs out there, right? That yeah, that are IPFS. That's why um, like uh, then 
like pinning method, like pinning to IPFS. Yeah, it can be like unpinned, be like pinata IPFS, like an IPFS provider it has to stay pinned. So you have like that digital um, distribution of IPFS, and if it becomes unpinned or it's not, you know, there's no computational like reason to like you know keep something pinned then yeah it'll disappear but there's another thing called r weave and actually that's i think i i think um i think uh that's what i'm gonna use to infuse my music to it yeah use uh, use r weave because i think i think actually counterparty utilizes r weave so whatever and and i and you can use isps or whatever within the json file too yeah so r weave think picked up instead of using pinata or i suppose yeah yeah, never say it right. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go the R weave. Yeah, go with the oh, almost seven. <laughs> um, not like that. That pinata is fun, like bad or anything, but you got you. And I'm like, right. And I'm just making a card, you know. So it's like, um, and I, yeah. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to put a huge file on there. But I definitely want music on mine. Yeah, I would think. Even like my streams, like it's not like. <laughs> I see this art. Um towards NFT collection. I don't know, I try to look these days I try to look how can I monetize? I'm gonna be here like doing something, like working towards something. And like during this time right now, like we're just talking, I'm de stressing. Um like how can like everything I do be like a way of monetization? All right, like this, this like, you know, I just thought like, I make like blockchain tech and finance like news videos. But I'll take like the stream and I'll just be like, all right, we've talked like this amount of time about all this stuff. And uh, I'll just upload this on YouTube, like download it from Twitch and upload it on YouTube. And it'll be like, you know, experience number two and experience number three. And I had a good conversation with experience number one with another person who's like, stuff or doing whatever they're doing so, i mean maybe someday you know these things will be like people will be like in some like museum being like oh and these people were talking about like blockchain tech like 300 years ago historical records of like what people were talking about and like blockchain technology um this has some sort of future to itself i think it, i think uh AI robots will like, like have something to do with like blockchain. I think it's a matter of time before they start rolling up like AI. I think they already are, but like, um, uh, yeah. I mean, that's the only people that are gonna watch all this shit. Yeah, just this robots. All this shit, but um. Yeah, I robots. I listened to the show last night, fell asleep to it with uh, music NFTs. <laughs> and uh, it was a bunch of freaking artists that were bitching at these other artists about charging $30 a song. And these other guys were coming, well, I'm giving you art too. Yeah, that's not. You know, and. But artists are struggling since the MP3 era, right? So, you know, they had value. You know, this side had valid arguments. The other side had valid arguments. Um, I fell asleep to it and uh, pretty boring stuff. But uh, hey, something I, I fell asleep to. <laughs> I wake I wake up to this this lady, this girl singing. Like I guess it was her song, and it wasn't that it was awesome. Like I could tell, like she just had like a beat dude in the background and she's she's a she's, she's a singer right but dude it was a really catchy song and i'm like oh 
If I followed her quick, I actually woke up. Like, I followed her quick. I mean, I want to hear this song again. And then she goes off about how she's selling this song for three ETH. And I'm like, three fucking ETH? What the fuck? Well, it comes with, like, 12 pages of art, JPEG, you know. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it comes with a fucking... Uh, 1994 Honda, like three. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, she's trying to sell it for that. She actually did sell it for that. No, she's she's like, I don't care if it. I, it probably won't sell, but I, I did. It took me a long time to make this and all the artwork, and it was a lot of work. And it was. She had a beautiful voice, dude. It was a pretty catchy song too. Hmm. She goes, I'm just putting it up for three E. You know, I doubt anyone will buy it. If no one does, I'll just hand it down to my daughter and blah, blah, blah. See, the way I talk with artists I like that. I just wanted to hear the song again. Like, yeah. Buy the song. <laughs> like, I'll buy it for a buck. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's what I try and tell artists when they, because I. Free fucking E. Yeah. Get out of here, you know? I, I would run spaces, like sell your art spaces, like NFT shill spaces for like the past three years. And when people come to my space and they and they just do that just that they're like i have this piece of artwork that's like you know and i'm selling it for two eth and like but it's not been selling for like a month like how do i do this i'm like for for one like stop trying to sell something for two eth and then two make like make your song deploy as a contract with maybe like you know a thousand songs at a dollar a piece so then someone can collect one of your songs and it's not just like one song for two ETH, but it's like a thousand songs for like a dollar a piece. And then you add up, you know, all those songs to two ETH. Right. And, and then they're, they're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I was going to. That's what I would have to say to her. I was going to start talking in the show and I just went to bed. But uh, I remember this app came out maybe a couple years ago where. It was kind of like a SoundCloud meets a Spotify, right? So you just put in what you want to listen to, and it, it, it tries to find stuff that's close to it, I guess, or whatever. It, whatever you think, you like, you start listening to it, you like some stuff, it tries to AI it, right? But at any point, if you like the song, you could buy it for like a buck, or two bucks, or whatever. Um, and it, it would get, because there's a lot of musicians out there. You know, everybody wants to make it, but you know, that's like impossible, right? So, but at least this way, people get to, people that wouldn't normally listen to your music are now listening to it. So you get your name out there, right? And then if someone does like it, oh, now they can buy it for a buck. Like it's a lot better in the SoundCloud where you have to go through all these traditional ways to like find people on SoundCloud. Like even Spotify, like, you know, it's like, oh, listen to new artists. And that's one way I find new artists, right? Um, you know, every 10 songs, I'll be like, oh, who's this? I like this. And I like it, and I remember who it is, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I thought it was great for, like, underground artists, this app, but I forget what it was. I was going to bring this up in the show, like, why don't you guys just do it this way? And just, uh, you know, sell it for, like, a, not a stable coin, but, you know, like, like a Cardano or something, right? You know, sell it for three Cardano. What's it, 42 cents? You know, sell it for a buck and a half, whatever. Well, oh, not everybody has Cardano. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, everything fucking eat. You know, everything. Um. Yeah, I don't know too much about Cardano. I had it as like one of the early crypto. Um, I had a. Lot, like piles of doge and then like i had in doge light wallet and then that wallet client just like stopped working so i lost all my doge and that was like back in 2018 yeah oh shooting well i mean I don't know, it could go up to two bucks, whatever, but I think there's a way, like, and there, dude, there's, you know, just like the video game and NFTs and crypto, you know, the music space, it, it, 
and the movie like this movie producer came in and he's like i'm just giving my movie away for free hoping someone likes it <laughs> you know and i thought that was pretty cool because if you think about it like movie producers and music and what goes with a video with art like we're all kind of a little bit connected you know especially with mp4s now and gifs and right jpegs and all this stuff so like in a way we're all kind of connected anyway you know it's getting closer to a, a medium than uh, separating them right like every time i mix a song i come up with a piece of art for it you know a name Picture, yeah right and like you know if i'm making a pepe and I, and I can make it an mp4 make it move right like a gif or whatever and put a fucking song to it i'm mad in value I'm, I'm, you know because i'm an artist in a lot of different ways like why not right so the bitcoin devs were spamming the their chain though it's like we're spamming the we're like spamming the chain wow. with fraud and scam and stuff as artists we're just to them we're like we're fraudsters and scammers because we're yeah, well, abusing I the mean, bitcoin blockchain i'm like just like, like wow okay <laughs> i like the or no idea but these guys are taking up a whole they're not even using the whole block for this little tiny ordinal you know like i would look more into that like, can we maximize our fucking space like why should it why should they take up a whole block of bitcoin for a stamp that's the size of fucking nothing you know if that makes any sense so. Yeah, so that's something I need to understand more about. It's like, yeah, when you're making stamps on Bitcoin, like, what does that exactly mean? You're spamming the chain or it doesn't take a whole block. Well, that's, that's why it's, it's the rates went up, like, on Counterparty and all that, because they're, they're making all these ordinals and stamps, right? But these people are like, I forget how many ordinals are up to now. I know it's probably over 400,000, 500,000. So every one of them fucking little tiny ordinals is taking like a whole block. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like, can't, you know, can't someone at Bitcoin like help work on this? Nah. You can only, I think only, um, I think the BRC20 is like, are kind of finite as well because you can only use, if someone uses like a, a four letter, it has to be like four letters. So if someone makes a BRC20, um, say like a Pepe, only one PEPE -E -E can inscribe as a BRC20, and then no one else can inscribe a PEPE, -E -E, uh, four-letter word, as a BRC20. Well, that's why they make, made Pepe Cash, right? So they're, you're actually burning Pepe for the Pepe Cash, and then using XRP, right? All right. Use them. Um, so I made I made a I made an inscription, a BRC20 inscription, as an ordinal BRC20 uh, called so you made a Pepe inscription or just a no i inscription or? I no I made a a, a BRC20 ordinal inscription inscription ordinal uh, okay yeah as a BRC20 like the basically like not a piece of artwork or a picture but actually like a token so I made a because there's 2.1 quadrillion satoshi. So like everyone started like going crazy, like making their ordinal BRC twenties, and I was like, ah, like whatever, They're, like doing this all for money. I was like, I'll do um, like what's a four letter word I can use? Like it's like it's like no one's used yet, cause like everyone's using all these four letter words. And I was like, oh, like winter solstice is called Yule, so I like I like inscribed Yule, Y U L E, um, like Yule tide, you know, like all that shit, um. So I just like now there's so I was like well I made like two point one quadrillion Yule <laughs> and like a wallet can like um inscribe up to like I think like two point one billion Yule and one TX. Um and uh I don't know, people can go go mint it and inscribe it for free. Uh minus like the Bitcoin, you know, network fee or whatever to do it. 
because I was just like, you know, people are just like trying to make this professional like BRC twenty and like shit. This. Yeah, anyone can go to Uniset and like go get some Yule and gift it to each other for like winter solstice. It's like I don't know like why people are doing this stuff. And then like they're making all sorts of crazy like money off of like a BRC twenty like Pepe or like some four letter word to sell on a BRC twenty trading marketplace. Yeah, I was gonna say if you picked a cool word I'd think about it. But like I don't I'm not really into Christmas stuff. Didn't make a uh, a meme for uh, for Keckness. Twelve days of Keckness. <laughs> no doubt. I just did a. I did, I'm in the Macho Man side. So I just made a Christmas Macho Man looking thing. But, it only took me like two minutes. And no one really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Some artists were happy. I just did something. But I just thought it start memeing a little more now but i need material to meme off of so i've been on these shows for three days and it's just like i'm not gonna just fucking make fun of everybody dude i'm not like that but if i can make a joke that you can laugh with at you you know it's different right but uh What's up, Digital Army? Oh, maybe I'll... Digital Army chilling there. What is Digital Army chilling there for? Invite him up to speak. Did you notice Digital Armies? Are they just drawn? I don't know. I'm looking at the monitor. Well, I'd like to talk to a music producer, that's for sure. Morning, morning fam. Hope you're well, bro. Yeah, good morning to the room. Hope you're all keeping well, bro. Yeah, we're doing well. Just chilling. Vibing. How long have we been talking now? Two, almost three hours. Going on three hours. Yeah. I just died in PUBG. <laughs> I just got killed. So I'm streaming this on Twitch and here on X or whatever. and Recording us just chilling, talking, and I just got shot in the back. No worries, bro. How's the, how's the plan, bro? Good, yeah. My daughter's my daughter's birthday was just the other day. She turned she turned six. Nice. Yep, that was fun. You enjoy them at the years, bro, because the thing is, since they grow horns and then their tails start to come out, their fucking back end of their trousers. That's when you need to show them where the front door is. Oh man, oh they're angels. They're good. They're really good. They actually, the, my, my son and my daughter, they fight with each other like an old married couple or something. It's kind of funny to watch. I just like quit. I didn't mean to quit PUBG. I meant to go back to the lobby. But yeah, man, how's things up in nature in the mountains? So, yeah, you're working good. on property and stuff. Really, really good, brother, man. I've, 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 had, I've had quite a few properties that I needed to finish before, before I before I break up for Christmas. So I've only got another two weeks. And uh yeah man, I've done I've done really well this year, man. You know what I mean? The cash register is fucking full. And uh I've been spending the money wisely, you know what I mean? Uh i.e. up on the property, getting all things tight up there, which is really important for me and the wife, do you know what I mean, as we're getting older. Um, you know, I've said to you before, we don't. I don't have to pay another electric bill until, you know, until I death, you know, till I die. Do you know what I mean? You know, we're very lucky that we've now managed to uh, solve that problem. You know, and, and heating as well. So they're two big things that uh, me and the partner don't have to pay out for now, uh, which is great. Which then gives gives us access to our other funds 
which we which we now can invest into doing other projects that we wish to do me and wife awesome well there you go man well what are you off the grid or what <laughs> yeah bro i live up on the side well, i am um, i live up on the side of a mountain i'm just driving it's, it's nine miles to the nearest um main town and uh it's about 21 houses up in the mountains where i live but uh they're all scattered um i've got 13 acres up here uh which is great and uh i'm just a keeper to look after it because it, if it was let go it'd be full of brambles and it, you know it took me three years to get rid of all the brambles from destroying the trees and the the orchard and uh, it's been been a lot of work, man, but um, the beautiful thing is is to be able to see now the plants, the trees, the woodlands, you know, now all flourishing without being uh, destroyed by the vines, uh, which is amazing. Yeah, nature will take over, man. Yeah. yeah. I've been working on this on a couple of disc golf courses now for the last couple of years and it's insane. Yeah. Picker is like a jungle, man. I mean some some of the vines that were strangling the trees, man, was like as thick as my forearm. You know what I mean? It was uh you know, someone the the people that had it before me uh, left it for ten years. Um, so you can imagine within a 10 year period, you know, how the vines and, you know, all, all of the, uh, all of the other plants that, that are more evasive just take over, you know what I mean? And there's, you know, there's no stopping it unless, unless you're on top of it, you know, yeah, every year yeah. you got to be on top of it. Yeah, I got a problem right? with this, uh, with this, uh, weed, it's called Japanese knotweed. Oh man, it's a fucking nightmare, bro. Somebody brought it to America, like from the UK, actually, um, back in the day, because he thought it would flourish wow. and like be good. And they didn't know it was that evasive. That shit, that shit's worse than bamboo, dude. It can regroup out of the ground. You, you well, can't get rid of this shit. Well, no, you can. There is a few. Well, you there's a few ways. Bad. Vice of fate, really or you can tarp expensive. it for seven years. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. It's hard work, brother. And the thing is, is here in the UK, I don't know whether they've changed the policy on it, but if you had um, Japanese knotweed on your land, you couldn't get a mortgage or you couldn't sell your home. It was just that evasive. It's dude, that, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's it, worse it, than fucking concrete, bamboo, man. dude. It's, yeah, it's, it's worse it's than, a bitch. it's worse than bamboo. Like, I'm surprised the Japanese, or the Chinese didn't use that for torture instead of bamboo growing through you. Did, yeah, but, so I was about to say, like, didn't they, like, used to, like, sharpen the tips of bamboo and, like, lay you on it it'll just grow through you? They would tie you up, cut the bamboo down, and let it grow right back through you. Just imagine, like, you're just sitting there and you're... You and everything. And you're just sitting there and you're like, this bamboo shoot like pokes through your, and you're just like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'd rather just have my head cut off real fast. No, I seen this shit like uproot. Like you uproot it, and I swear it walks and replants itself. Mm -hmm. Swear to God, man. Like I know a Juga does that sort of, but this stuff. Bad stuff. Yeah, when it's pollinating as well, you can pick it, pick the seed up as well, and on your on the bottoms of your boots, you can then transfer it somewhere else. It's yep. very evasive, mate. Well, I'm working like right on this creek, so when I started the course, uh, it wasn't there, so it obviously washed down in a flood from like somewhere else, and now it's just everywhere. I don't like COVID. <laughs> Gotta thank China for all the viral things. Come on, man. 
and we're not allowed to throw stones to glass houses, right? I like the nature in China. Um, I don't know about so much. I probably, I probably, would, I probably wouldn't want to go to like, I probably wouldn't want to live around somewhere like Hong Kong or something. I want to live in like the nature. I feel like fucking tigers and shit out there though too. Maybe I won't get shot in the back this time. What's over? I'm probably over in the US in in March, actually, Kirk. Oh, that's what's up. What are you doing over? What are you gonna do? Yeah, the wife's the wife's doing. She's doing the course at the health to do with health and healing. The wife is and. Um, for her to finish her course, and we've got to go to New York. Um, it's, it's, it's in the state of New York, but it's not actually in New York. Okay. And uh, she, dropped, she dropped the bombshell last night, and she said to me, right, can we go to New York in March next year? Mid-March it is. And uh, she said, but the only problem is you've got to stay there with me for two weeks. <laughs> I said to her, babe, there's, there's not a lot for me to do in New York City, believe me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, will you be in the city or like in like upstate New York, kind of like like the Berkshires or something? I like the Berkshires. I live, yeah, I live kind of close around the Berkshires. Yeah it's, up, yeah, it's upstate somewhere where she's got to go, do you know what I mean? So because, because she knows that I'm her guardian and I'd kill a man for her. Yeah, she's asking me to basically come with her and chaperone her. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Cool. Yeah, if you're in, um, like, I don't know, like, um, again, like I said, like, I live on the border of, like, New York State. So, of, like, the, yeah, like that kind of, I want to say, like, upstate New York, but, uh, I'll have to it check it out proper. I'll have to bounce it with you, bro. Whereabouts, whereabouts it is, you know what I mean? She was even saying to me to get an internal flight uh, while she's doing the course. <laughs> and then for me to go and shoot up and see some of the guys up there I know in Chicago. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's like that, man. You know what I mean? I want to put my boots up, man. I don't want to be like flying everywhere. Yeah. Wow. You could you could get a car and go see Niagara Falls. Yeah, I went to go see Niagara Falls, and when I finally got out there, like they closed it down because of the the uh, like something about like severe storms and stuff. And I never got to go see Niagara Falls. Went back out east. I was like, fuck. Maybe someday, but. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool if there's something going on that I can go, like a conference or something, you know what I mean, just to take, just to take the time up. Because I know that I ain't going to be seeing her too tough, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's uh, Austin. Austin. There's a lot to do, man. Um, yeah. More power to you. So what's this... Uh... This artwork you uploaded here is that a tree stump with like uh, with uh, what would you call that bedazzled? <laughs> you bedazzled a tree stump, Looking like a peacock or something. Is that is that for Digital Army? Yeah. Picture? I guess he uploaded it 15 minutes ago. Oh, like a NFT or something? Like a picture? This looks like a photo. <clears throat> when uh, Twitter got dismantled, 
I, uh, I built Hootium. Uh, Hootium.com. Ben wants to check that out. Here, posting all this stuff on there. I'm going to be integrating. Uh, I'm going to be. The plan is to integrate as part of like nature of like backers is uh, like VC firms and shit. But the plan is to like integrate Bitcoin Lightning tipping and uh, those spaces, call them uh, nests. I've already got the provider to, to do like live audio feed voice talks. To like ho host and co host and shit. And I'm going to call them nests, uh, network entertainment, um, social talks. So it's like hootium.com. Get like hoot and like re hoot someone else's hoot, like owls. You know, like hoot hoot, like an owl. Like Twitter was like tweet and you can retweet, but then that all got dismantled. So when it all got dismantled, I was like, oh, there's no more, like, platform that does, like, a retweet or, like, uh, something. So I was like, what's, well, like, a savvy animal to, like, bring back a classic, like, social experience platform? I was like, owls. So, yeah, people can post, like, pictures and shit up in there. I'm going to uh, eventually build it into, the plan of, like, skeleton, mobile, full mobile app, iOS and stuff. Yeah, a while back, I wanted to buy AOL.com and, like, rebuild it from the bottom up. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think, uh, who bought AOL? I think they're quite around anywhere. They just have, like, a news source now. Or something. I just thought that was funny. I think some guy bought like Nissan.com. It was like one of those one of the car brands, and uh, Nissan wanted to like buy it from them for like something millions of dollars, and the guy still wouldn't sell it. He thought it was funny. He thought it was funny like how they wanted it so much, but he wasn't gonna sell it. Well, that's like the guy that he uh, had to handle X on Twitter. When he changed the name to X, they just took it from him or something. I heard that bullshit. They he just was like he was like so in Elon because he wants his X back. Yeah, how do they just take that from him? That's crazy. I mean, that might just be bullshit, you know, fake. But I yeah. mean, obviously, someone had X, right? But you know. Yeah, handled brokering, domain brokering. It's a thing. Even uh, the dot ETH, like uh, handles, people are just buying, selling dot ETH, like handles. Well, even like, you know, the dot com era, like, I started buying dot co's. And yeah. Like, and now they're a thing. I should have fucking saved them, but I didn't want to keep paying every year. So I guess Google's new AI is going to be called Gemini. What is this? Google's new AI. Their AI system, they're going to be calling it Gemini. Huh. Well, they all, you know, they all have to have their AIs. Yeah, it's supposed to be more is it more of an interactive. Um, AI. I was uh, listening to a thing on it yesterday. What's up, pork chop? Invited you up. If you want to jump up the speaker, pork chop? Um, welcome to jump in. What is you? Are we gonna take a hot shot of heroin or something? Uh. Sounds like you're all kind of sleepy. I'm playing PUBG. It's like two thirty in the morning. Yeah, I'm like I'm like streaming on Twitch and here on X. Uh, it's like two thirty in the morning this way. I'm still awake. Okay, just checking. Yeah, no, nah, I don't stick needles in my arm. It was more of a figure of speech. My friend used to stick them in his feet, and he got his leg cut off. That'll happen. 
Yes. <laughs> no one will see it down here. Yeah, right. I'm not going to see it either anymore. Oh, man. You know you know how hard it is to have a band with a heroin addict who's the drummer, and he just sleeps all day? You have to have that. And, it, and, then he, and then he loses his he loses his foot, so he can't play the bass. Right yeah, he can't play the bass anymore. I think he got a prosthetic, but I haven't talked I don't talk to him anymore, but uh yeah. Uh, those were the days. We went to go play for Sony too. Sony record label or whatever. He was too much of a junkie. So I gave up Rockstar Life. Yeah, that's what happened when I was going to be a star football player and professional. And I blew out my knee and just had to hang up the cleats. I'm joking. So, yeah, we've been where talking you, about... Where you been all night, uh, Pork Chop? Yeah, you missed a pretty good conversation. I've been drawing. I've been helping Kane with his album art. Yeah, Kane was in here for like two seconds and left. That's when he started this space. There. So I do a smoke break. Let's see what you guys are doing. What you smoking, man? Tweeds. Uh, is that like a I'm smoking them tweeds? Is it? Is that like nicotine? Tobacco. The old southern people call weed. Oh. Uh, tweeds. Oh, tweeds. Uh, okay. Never heard it like that. Yeah, it's a white redneck thing. I stopped smoking a long time ago. I don't I don't do anything. Uh like I don't drink. I don't really. Actually maybe once in a while I'll drink a glass of wine or like a sip of mead. But no, I don't I don't do anything anymore. I used to eat a lot of acid and do DMT and eat mushrooms. Actually microdosing is probably something I'd do. But um, yeah, are good. yeah. but um, uh, I just stay sober these days. I think I wouldn't probably. I think if I were to like work with canvas, I'd walk up to the plant and just start eating the raw flour these days. It's definitely food. Yeah, it's a bit chewy. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to know. like send like a rover. To like the moon and like uh like the bright side of the moon and like tag it you know like have it like go in the scene like spell out a word right bitcoin or something like that like big enough you could see it <laughs> <laughs> like tag the moon dude like it um, tracks i mean they have the lasers nowadays it's true everything's getting lasered but in like part of hawaii just like get Oh, yeah. Burned down with lasers or something? Yeah. Fucking Oprah. Fucking Oprah and... The Rock? They, they got them, they got them to stop fucking... Because they're supposed to trim that shit back, like... Any of the forests, like, they're supposed to be, like, trimmed back so that forest fires aren't as bad. And then they're in Hawaii, they, they just let it go, man. For years, like that shit was just waiting to happen. The was it? They got burned down. Didn't have any forest. <laughs> well, right next. That was like a trees. The fucking concrete caught on fire. Yeah. I said they had the videos of like temperatures they couldn't. Yeah. Lasers literally like hitting the ground. I think that's how they started the Canadian fires because they were all like all these little fires started at the same time all over the place, but they weren't close enough together for like someone to drive and start them all like basically at the same time. So they, you know, conspiracy theorists. So oh, that was lazy. When when Elon builds his house there ten years from now, you'll know as Oprah and Elon got together and said, "Hey, here a little land in this area." He's in a. Have her have test two babies next. So, yeah. Sasha. Elon and Oprah. Well, that's yeah. what's fucked up, too, is, like, 
the money the money they got donated they're not even going to rebuild it they're just taking it it's like the governor or whoever it was or mayor or whoever is like oh we're going to use this money and build like a community center or something like like something stupid like a bingo hall like, like yeah you're not even going to rebuild the fucking people's houses what the fuck casinos and liquor stores yeah they want to make they want to make the uh indigenous hawaiians who lost their places now addicted to alcohol yeah big gambling yeah yeah the whole thing's effed up <clears throat> it's the American way. What, Sash? Yeah, I invited you up here, Sasha. Want to jump up? If she's drawing. I can guarantee it. I need to start drawing. Plugging the pad to the OBS. I'm doing a. Cool. I'm doing a 20k free to mint collection. A rollout. So I've just been drawing art to it before I fall asleep. That's cool. We're all drawing. That's what's up. Drawing, making music. Yeah. There you go. Right now, I'm chewing a toothpick. Making it happen. I'm drawing for a music album. I think I'm addicted to actually chewing tea tree toothpicks nowadays. I like. I think that's what I'm addicted to. Can I you ask you, them a series you ever get the mint ones? They have mint ones, and they have the cinnamon ones, and they have the tea tree. I uh, sure these tea tree ones. Go ahead, ask your question, bud. Um, uh, you know, I'm uh, poor for any of you. Um, I've got a virus in uh, one of my computers, and that computer has got uh, three of my wallets. Um, and I'm just wondering how to take it off of the computer that's got the virus and put it on a hard storage on a hard on a hard wallet hopefully without bringing the virus with me hmm. anyone yeah well do you have a seed phrase in these wallets just send yeah, it to yeah, the yeah, address yeah. okay that's... you see don't yeah. plug in your hardware wallet don't plug it in right don't plug that into that into the computer that's got the virus for okay yeah, can't you just send it to the address of the hardware wallet? Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't done that before, you see, Pete. But now, now, now you know what I mean? I didn't even Google it, you know what I mean? It's just something that's on my bucket list to sort out. Because uh, I've tried to clean the virus, but I just can't. Where, wherever it's embedded, I can't, I can't find it. Yeah. The future AI artistic. To the address. Were you... Did you happen to use MetaMask? Uh, yes, I did. Mm. Uh -huh. Were you using but, like uh, Chrome or something? Yes. Just shut the yeah, wallet yeah. down and open it up on another computer. Okay. And so all I then need to do is just shut it down there, put the C phrase in. In the new, is it is it the is it the same port for the for um, free wallet to do with Bitcoin? Yeah, your free wallet's safe. Right. Okay. Cool. Because that's the one there's I was no worried about. Contracts. Yeah. There's no smart contracts connected to that. Now, right, if someone's sorry. in your computer and they can actually like DPS that shit, uh, that's a little different. So right. just shut the wallets down. Okay. Yeah. I you mean, don't if you have your seed phrase saved on your desktop or anything, do you? No, no, no. Come and talk. You know, I'm bigger than that, bro. I'm just I got Yeah. The, the only thing I'm <laughs> the only thing I was the only thing I'm scared of is your keystrokes. So like, I would yeah. just open them up on a completely different computer, put your seed phrase like in, reactivate it, and like crash that other computer or something. Just Throw it out the, it. just eat it out the window. Yeah, no, I'm putting a brand new, brand, brand new hard drive in it. Is the, is the only option that I've actually seen that I need to take, take that um, SSD out, put a brand new SSD in, and just do a complete fresh start on that computer. Or you could just wipe it. Yeah. Wipe the hard drive a few times. 
do a little, yeah, yeah. you know, military grade wipe on it. That, Clear that it. and your MetaMask on the new computer, I would um, shut down any, uh, in the settings, you can shut down that anyone could send something to it. And then I would take everything out and maybe even start a new MetaMask or put something in your hard wallet and later on start a new MetaMask. Just in case there's something. Have a virus. Uh, because I've, is, I've got pop-ups and that um, that I can't get rid of, do you know what I mean? And when I'm trying to do other stuff, when I've tried to do some other stuff and um, book, it, it's there's definitely something in there. Um, I've done I've done a done a test on it. It's telling me telling me yeah, but I've I've got I've I've tried a few different ways to clean it and it won't clean. It and it's, it's still Windows there. computer. No Macintosh man. I don't play with PCs man. Oh well, you yeah. You got one of those uh, allow to edit uh, browser things going on yeah and you can and the thing is even when i'm saying to show it in finder yeah um you know report it, it it's just not doing anything it's just sitting there on the screen and then i've got another one that comes up as well and i just can't get fucking rid of them so i haven't because i've got that situation going uh for i haven't actually gone into any of my wallets because i know i just thought right fuck it I don't. I know what's in them. I don't need to play with them, you know. So all the main one was was now trying to get it off of there before I fucking wipe the hard drives. Yeah, so like, so like the. Have the seed phrases. So yeah, right. yeah, of course, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't then. matter. You can wipe them with them on there. It's nothing wrong right, okay. with that. Yeah, no, I was just a bit worried about the transferation of transferring it onto another computer yeah i'd so rather well. just just don't even fuck with it wipe the computer shut it down and then open up those other wallets on another another computer is fine and then just you know either if you're going to replace the hard drive replace it but yeah you know you can also wipe it <coughs> yeah yeah i'm with that thing. yeah then you're not interacting with the wallet till you yeah got a fresh build up exactly well, I appreciate you guys, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but do what do you have an older Mac that it won't update? Yeah, I don't need to. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I'm I'm running. I'm already running as high as I can uh, on the actual system. Yeah, I'm running like uh, 2011 and i7. Um, yeah, so you're window. You're running Catalina. Yeah. I think Catalina is the most recent, right? That's still it? No, it's the only one you can update to from OS uh, 10. Uh, I stopped using Mac back like maybe like two or three years. I still have a laptop, I just don't do anything with it. The only problem I ran into since I've been running it is I can't update my Photoshop to the latest version for the AI fill thing. I have the same thing. I usually buy 2012 Max, the highest, the, you know, the most powerful ones they had at the time, and then I'll break them open and, you know, double stack the hard drives with solid state and upgrade nice. all the videos and you know, all the chips and shit and put them back together and up the RAM maximum. And they run fucking great. Like they do everything you need to. And what's, what's the highest working system you're managing to get it up to? Like up to Big Sur? It's you Catalina. Are you getting it up to Catalina? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, because they, they, they did reckon that you could actually go right the way up to Ventura on it. Um, yeah, you, you can't pass. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to die to the zone again. Die to the zone last match.
Someone was in here. I don't know who left the. That was Sasha. So how often do y'all like spend time on Spaces per week? You think? Uh, I listen to it like AM radio. Yeah. And if I need, I'll interact with the AM radio and go on stage and cuss somebody out or. You know, what the? I'm an idiot. Well, you tell me I'm an idiot all day long. I don't mind. Cause I, nah. I, can, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we went to the moon. Did we land on it? We landed on the moon. Oh boy. It's because there's wind on China the moon. Did. China did. I heard China got some. China got there before us. Before the U.S. I don't know if that's true or not, but no, they're saying it's a joke because like China actually did go to the moon and we never did. Or was it Russia? I don't know. I, don't know. It's... I wasn't born in. I wasn't alive in the sixties. So I, would... I was terrible at history class, except for the uh, like Germanics and you know things that fucked up Rome. That was always interesting. The Vikings. Well, happy holidays to anyone who celebrates coming up. Yep. Beckmas. 12 days of Beckmas. God, don't remind me I have to do a card for that. I have not. <clears throat> hey, man, mine took two minutes. I knew I wasn't going to win. <laughs> I did the fucking Miami flyer for fake Basil, and now I'm working on Kane's thing, and I still got to do the Keckness and a Coco. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Sasha. Well, I'm, I'm Keck. Not, I'm not working very much. You can hire me. No. I've seen your skills. <laughs> My skills are actually pretty good when I actually put more than two minutes involved. This is like my downtime. I got like no de stress time. Actually, before I'll fall asleep, I'll draw. Work on what I'm drawing, but otherwise, I'm in this BTC startup lab program now. Uh oh, pork chops nemesis is in here now. Stop the Vesta. Two cane. What's good? Devesta.xcp. Do they create on? Nemesis. Do they create on uh, Counterparty as well? Yeah. I like Counterparty. Yeah, I put some, put some bullshit on there, just for fun. That's what it's for. Fun. Now, if they, if the Bitcoin devs really kind of want to, can they like do away with, because they can do away with script inscriptions, can they do away with uh, like the counterparty um, stamps as well? No. Or is that just kind of, do they view that as like, is that separate from like Bitcoin main chain? Is that more like, like L2? No. I think they'll just find another way around it if they try. No, they, they can't prune it. It's unprunable. Okay. Because it's done for the opportune through a multi cent. No doubt. The same way we do our tokens. So it's it's not a thing that can be scrubbed. And Counterparty built it. They don't want it to go away. They've done a bunch of stuff to incorporate wallet workings and all kinds of stuff. That we connect our ordinals to our tokens on Counterparty. We connect it through IPFS. We can connect it through our weed. We can Stamps, we can do it however we want. Our weave is the best. It's like, uh, unless someone has got a separate protocol to it. IPFS is also pretty good. Yeah. Candy. If it, I mean, I, I, I pay pinata to pin some stuff. But it's, it's, that's, that's like cheap, you know. I mean, pinata has actually 
raise their costs a little bit because they can because so many people are like oh yeah pinata to pin ipfs but doesn't pinata it you can only let you upload a certain amount uh, size file for free correct you i think you can still i think you can increase that though. but again like yeah, that's more of a cost a. yeah cost IPFS, cost fee IPFS is free. well you're right yeah i mean that as long as like the ledger is still being distributed yeah, and I don't, I don't. All you gotta do is have IPFS desktop on your computer. I do, I just, I don't, even like, I have it on a separate PC machine than my main work machine, because I don't, I don't completely trust opening my ports up to like, you know, uh, that sort of thing, but. So I do have something like that, but, no, I mean, I helped a women in Web3 project, and like, so I just like pinned it into Pinata, and, you know, they just, Small, like whatever the cost structure is, or something, just to keep it going. Do my do part in the space to be inclusive of uh, women Web3 artists. I just helped them with their contract and mint, and they actually their their collection was featured in the Rolling Stone next to Basie back when the uh, Bitcoin was like 70k. Uh, I minted out. They make like comic books and comic lore to this NFT collection narrative. Get out of this vehicle. I've been trying to, uh, you know, talk with Tezos creators and artists to bring their artwork from Tezos to um, Bitcoin and counterparty descriptions and stuff. But uh, they seem to be core to thing on Tezos. They're pretty partial. That exactly. To, to do what? Bring the art that's on there over to Bitcoin. Or you mean just artists do stuff over there? Yeah, instead of like deploying new artworks onto Tezos, just kind of, you know, put it on through Arweave on Bitcoin instead or through inscribing or something. But the Turkish and Middle Eastern, they, they love Tezos. So it's cool. I think Devesta is back. Dave, is it Dave? S, Dave? Dave Sta? Or am I yeah, saying Devesta? All, all of them is correct. Devesta. Vesta. Bite him up. Call him Davester. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't want to come up and talk. Bite you up. Oh, they're, yeah, they're requesting. The other device. See, I have to have like this two device thing to be able to talk on stream. PC, but like host the space on my mobile device because you can't actually like start the host space on Twitter desktop or whatever. Yo, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Uh, I can see the Northern Lights in a game. Oh, damn. That's in a video game. Damn, you're... Oh, I thought you were going to really flex. Which video game? What are you playing? Rust. Uh, if you if you look at the Keck host, you can see it streaming on there. I'm playing PUBG. Uh, Rust is cool. Oh really? Yeah. If anyone's playing PUBG, you want to jump in? Streaming on Twitch and next and just hosting the space so cross audio on it. Stream. Damn, he's out here gaming. Pepe gaming. 
Pepe gaming? I don't own any bags of Pepe. I got confused between the two different communities telling me each of each other were a scam, so I was sending like the 10 other Pepe tokens, so I couldn't like... Oh, no, I was talking about... It's just like a phrase, like like Pepe, Pepe fucking... Didn't put any word after it. Pepe uh, oh, okay. Pepe gaming. Yeah, right. yeah. That's what's up. Metavoxel. What's up, Metavoxels? The pork chop I was in this thing earlier with your buddies. I don't know if they're Sprotos or they're Sonic dudes or what, but I went off about video games, what? dude. They tore me a new asshole, man. Good. So pissed off. Good, man. So pissed off. Are they are the Sproto people? I'm never in there. What are you talking about, my friends? We were we were in a show last night, I think. And there was only like two or three of them. They they're not spreaders. Maybe they're like the Sonic, Obama. That's it. Know. Yeah, that's <laughs> where. Yeah, heard of that. In you, out of you. Chop, did you ever get your? Uh... Transaction, are we fucking the JSON figured out? Saw you were talking about it today with Bob. Sick, sick. I'm glad it worked out for a shot. Really, really nice to get an update. <laughs> did, they, did they like moji you or I didn't, I didn't hear him say anything? <laughs> oh shit, I just got shot in the face. Oh, I just got shot. Back. What oh, like. You, Benji? What's that? What'd they say to you? Well, I brought up my GTA coin idea and uh, started talking about Portal coin, and then they just went off like, fuck Portal coin. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's why I'm here. I asked about another token inside their room with their tokens. Can't do that. So, why do people hate well, Portal coin? Yeah, well, I just heard of it this morning, and, I, and that's why I was asking them. And, they, dude, they just went all fucking rugged me out of the show. And then, like, the next five minutes are in another show anyway. But anyhow, <laughs> I was like... I don't know. I'm still, like, kind of depressed about it. I came in here, talked to Peck about it for about two hours. <laughs> Um, legitimate reasons why this coin would work. Not Portal coin, but just the uh, GTA coin, the Rockstar coin. And uh, legitimate uh, reasons why why it could work or should work or it's even coming out, you know. I'm sure a lot of those AAA studios do have like some sort of like At least slideshow to show to like firms about like a token integration that's on chain or something, whether they do something with it or not. I mean, I I still don't really get like I I mean, just because I haven't researched it about what the portal coin is. Like I know there's a website. I think I briefly looked at the website and it just looked like like they're just supporting other games being built on Web three or are they trying to build? Game, I don't really know what the fuck, the fuck it is, other than just. No, it's not a game. I think it's just more like a like a ecosystem. Like, protocol. like a, yeah, an ecosystem where you could you can transfer NFTs and and cross chain and hmm. and yeah, talk to other uh, players. That doesn't. Sounds confusing for me. Yeah. Because integration of blockchain into video game assets. On a video game that exists under your television connected to it is a technology they don't have i mean even people trying to integrate web 2 into web 3 and having like wallet integration and tokenization of paywalls and stuff that shit's supposed to be simple and people can't figure that out for them to be able to integrate blockchain into real world data that takes like 
transformation of like SQL into a different language of blockchain and making them talk together. That's that's what Chainlink is, right? That's kind of what it's supposed to be doing is trying to integrate real world data and the blockchain language. So it's a it's a big deal. It's not small. That's what Portal Coin is doing, or did just is that is that no, what uh, that's is that what that's what trying to talk about GTA token and shit. Uh, use. And people are talking about it, but for blockchain games, yes. Yeah. But for real world games that are out today, no. <laughs> yeah, that's. Well, I just I just said it like a little while ago. I said it it would make sense to have like you know like rocks. We were talking about like a stable value. Like Rockstar has like RUSD, where then they can you can buy like GTA tokens with RUSD in their own ecosystem, and then you can buy like shit in the game with GTA. But as long as like that that GTA token is only pegged to like you know their own like stable currency maybe like their own even like chain of some sort then it would kind of make sense but like this game i'm playing right now on stream like they have g coin and like you can buy g coin with just usd fiat whatever country you're in and it's always going to remain that way um because you know they wouldn't want it outside of a game any any other way or something um other you can but you can add money to steam yeah, like the like I think a lot of games just would never be interested into it because why why uh try to change something that already works, you know, where really well for revenue that doesn't need a blockchain. And then I was to collect a crypto that other than twenty percent tomorrow. Yeah, other than like just a it's a niche kind of thing. Um I also said like earlier, like the failure in actually gaming itself on ETH chain is like like for parallel TCG, it's a great game. I love playing it. You can it's free to play, you know, that, which makes sense because then you can have Web two players and you can have the niche Web three players who are collecting the cards to build out a deck. But you can't get some of the cards unless you actually buy them on 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 chain on OpenSea. And so I'm like, all right, well, go. You know, I got some of these rare cards I got like two years ago when gas was really cheap. I'm like, well, what's this five dollar, or three dollar, or this twenty cent card worth? And it's like, oh, you can buy this. Oh yeah, it's forty dollars gas just to buy the fucking card. So, I mean that's like that's a failure and it's a failure because no mass adoption people are gonna be like, Mom, can I have your credit card to buy like forty dollars a ETH? It's like why that? So I can buy a twenty cent card to play in a game? I'm like, no. It's not gonna get, you know, hundreds of thousands of players to play your game. Sorry. They're gonna go oh, yeah. play Pokemon and with <laughs> something. Blockchain blockchain and like quote unquote or something. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blockchain and Web2 already was integrated for like a long time when Steam accepted Bitcoin for in and out transactions. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. Until huh. 2017. And oh, then the fees got really high and they stopped accepting it because. Uh, can Chop not hear me? Oh, uh, Chop, can you hear uh, Dave Sta? Oh, Dave's up here. No. I'll okay. take a lap. If you want to drop down, I'll bring you back up. Maybe you can fix it. So. Yeah, so you were saying to Vesta, are you going to wait for the top to come back? Yeah, I'd rather make fun of him. I, I, I invite him back up. He's a big bag of dicks, Dave. <laughs> I wasn't even mean to him at all. All I said was, get your JSON right. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm sorry. Did you figure out your it's JSON and your Arweave? It's just a link from Like, Arweave didn't give the actual proper M to the file name. Yeah, like, usually when you mint on I was looking at it today, but I was making breakfast when you were, like, going through it with Bob, but I was watching it, and I was, I didn't, I, I, I didn't want to, I needed my breakfast. I needed, that was more, it was priorities. But anyway, my point is, in your Arweave file, isn't there a .mp4 in there? You just referenced that .mp4 file instead of the... Are we blank, or have you always done just the are we blank? Well, it's not my JSON. It's not my images. It's for Kane. Yeah, I know it's for Kane, but like you could, but when you go to the are we blank, doesn't it have? I didn't click on it. But doesn't it have the dot it goes MP4? straight to the. It, no, it doesn't. That was the thing. I'm like, why the fuck? So I, I did it differently and went to. The, uh, I went and. Basically, I just did a forward slash video at the end, and it works. So I'm just, you know, I made the JSON. We'll see if he 
could access through his token eventually. Okay. Okay, interesting. Anyway, I was talking about blockchain gaming. Steam is the biggest marketplace in the world for many reasons. Um, other people rival it now, but uh, back in the day when Bitcoin was accepted for deposit and withdrawal on Steam, that was blockchain gaming. I mean, like connected to Web 2, right? Now I get what people want, et cetera, et cetera. You know, NFTs and game, I get it. I mean, that shit is basically, you know, spells of Genesis, Saratoga. No, I mean, but was it on like a fucking Nintendo or a PlayStation? No, no, no. Like yeah, I understand that, but the when you, to start on Steam to like get an idea, if if anything hits Steam and is actually usable, that means that almost every mod, game, skin that is actually valuable, like other than other some random games like Fortnite or some shit, fucking they, it, it's the biggest marketplace in the world. So I'm just saying like that, that hitting Steam on crypto would be, it, it's already been done too like uh, offhand like without laws like people have minted tokens that represent like csgo skins that are worth like tens of thousands of dollars so it's like you know you can put i don't know how to describe it i don't know people talk about i heard the well, they're the mods right they're just selling a mod no i mean skins are a real big deal there's limited skins that are worth millions benji on counter-strike fucking league there's accounts that are worth yeah, yeah 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 it's similar to nfts um already they're just they're not on chain too. right no they're not on chain at all yeah. and they're web too and they're worth a shit ton <laughs> i mean if you I'm, I'm playing PUBG right now and i got a bandana that was on my face that was being sold a few years ago for like 1500 dollars a bandana on steam yeah there you go they have their own little built-in marketplace for shop like you can put up your own orders there's a little order book there's um you can use satoshis uh at one point you could withdraw and submit in bitcoin but that stopped in 2017 when the blocks got filled up and not all debate happened before the split because um, it was too expensive for because it was too expensive and people were like bitching about their shit being in the meme pool for too long and not working and blah 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 and light night was a, a bitcoin lightning network battle royale game and they banned it off of steam it was on steam for a bit and it got rid of all games that had anything to do with crypto or or through your nft marketplace yeah there's well. it's just because there's a i know this sounds fucking strange but the the, the, the that said steam it, the problem with steam is like you, especially with the currency you're you're jumping through so many hoops of like governments and like regulations and shit and um at a certain point people use fucking wow gold to like you you know for money in certain countries they use fucking wow gold to do weird sketchy you know criminal stuff so i get why they don't want to touch that shit unless it's like regulated they can forward all the fucking oh this op was bought for this and they put it you know to the the taxes and all that shit that banks have to do i'm sure they have to do the same fucking thing so anyway get jumping through those hoops is like a fucking 15 billion step process but anyway, that's all my point was. At one point, you could use Bitcoin, put in, use fucking Steam for all these Web two things, and then withdraw on Bitcoin. That's cool. Well, really maybe cool. it'll come back someday. But... Yeah, it'll use a different token that's on a different chain that has lower gas that's faster. I could see Steam if it like integrates something like that. Like it would use like Steam token itself. Attic. Or something like that. that would yeah, I could see them using Matic. That's fine. With me you know, too. Bad Bitcoin's not for that shit. I remember it was trying to find a use case for it any way possible back in the day, but now it's it's good. We're we're good. I mean, now you can have the uh, inscriptions with metadata. It's recent, as of like four weeks ago or something. Inscript parent inscription with child uh, inscriptions, and then pairing the metadata, so it's acts like a seven twenty one and a. Yeah, like X like a seven twenty one contract on ETH. Oh yeah, they've had that for a long time. The those are BRC seven twenty ones. Uh there's a there's a thing called Botanix, which is a EVM compatible um EVM compatible like side chain but you can port your Bitcoin over to Botanix from Bitcoin chain and then launch smart contracts with uh Botanix BTC. And they're in testnet right now, and I've been, I'm, I, they added me to their ambassador thing, and they're rolling out main chain in Q1 2024. 
So I already tested some smart contracts and some testnet BTC. And their bridge is their bridge is like nice. It works really well to bridge Bitcoin and then uh do EV. So you can like do like Ethereum virtual machine smart contracts. Um and then bridge your Bitcoin back to Bitcoin main chain. So that could be like a precursor to use Bitcoin in a good way. I wrote that in that's a counterparty improvement proposal. I'm looking it up right now. Yep. From that was by um John Villar. John Villar. Oh, where is it? Blah blah blah. That was a long time ago. Fuck, was it even before that? Um it may have been. BVAM, blockchain BVAM, validated yeah. yeah. Blockchain and validated asset metadata seven years and three months ago. Oh, okay. I thought Rhode Armor was like just now talking about it, but someone I guess it just Oh, it hasn't it was just an idea. I mean it was actually yeah, Devin was Weller. Actually Devin done. Devin okay. Weller had an idea, but there was also an an EVM by John Villar. Yeah. Where is that? I saw that the other day. Yeah. Oh. I mean Jay oh, virtual... still been talking about that. Yeah, non six years and six months ago, this counterparty improvement proposal looks to develop a minimal pure Python virtual machine tailored specifically for counterparty. That's what's up. Oh, Bitcoin Frogs ordinal inscriptions has metadata um, to it now. So you, they have traits and everything. So you can like build the metadata traits to the parent inscription and then start inscribing to the child inscriptions and then yeah, with the metadata's the. Yeah. Yeah, um, traits and rarity structures like i guess magic eden is adopting like inscription collections now but then again you gotta like sync a full node and start inscribing with a node there's no real providers yet still but then again you could do that right Recursion style things with, uh, I think, uh, where is it? There's a project from Counterparty, Hoddle Pet. It was 2022, though, but they did that. Although it had been done before, but that one jumped out at me. I don't know where it was before. There was something that you could, like, upgrade your fucking character or whatever. Oh, okay. Reinscribe yeah. or something? Well, there's, nin there's Ninja Suit, and that's, like, the first NFT, like, the first gaming NFT. Like, the first fucking skin, you know, NFT skin. Um, so that was like an upgrade. Um, but it didn't necessarily connect to the token before. Maybe Hoddle Pet is the first. I don't know. Do you have anything in mind, Trop? Fuckheads, yeah, maybe? Right. Kind of sounds about right. It'll be in 2022. Um, I mean, there's always token. Yeah, I mean, it didn't necessarily... I can't really remember anything that signified something. Oh, I guess beep. Beep would be something where the token did that, but it's a different idea entirely. But it's I similar. Mean, Depot pet. Yeah. Depot, it changes the dynamic, though. Mm -hmm. The dynamic NFT. It changes with the price of Bitcoin. Interesting. Saratobi did the thing where any counterparty has it makes it monster. Like a very individual and unique one, but it didn't. They didn't really connect to each other and like or evolve in certain ways. Anyway, go ahead. You're about to say something. Oh, I just died and crashed into a tree. That sucked. Um. Well, counterparty can do a lot more stuff it seems like than just like stamps and gifts you can actually oh yeah there's a shit ton there's yeah. a i'm i'm all this information i'm pulling from a timeline that i accumulated in the past like well it took me about four months three and a half and it's in my bio as it's also my pin tweet and it's like all the kind of you know most well known some not well known but most most um coveted you know, projects, tokens, and um, all of the counterparty improve, improvement 
proposals for the protocol since 2014 um, to about 2021. And then some of the more recent stuff I included, um, but there's a lot more in 2020 and 21 that like I didn't necessarily include. I focused a lot on the older historical ones, but there's been a lot that's been done and experimented with. And there's a lot of cool developments that are still, a lot of the side developments that are in like they're in yellow or orange on the side or like some people just kind of started it on their own or forked forked the protocol a lot of things so for like like um dynamic like interchangeable like or upgradable counterparty type nfts is that done through like the json file itself through arweave or something or i'm gonna figure out how that Oh, it is when it's HTML, isn't it? Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Let me see how Hotopad does it. So it sounds interesting. How they do it. Yeah, it's HTML built in with the JSON. Counterparty basically does what it can tell it to with the JSON. If you write HTML in it, it gets a little warning clicker, though. I see. That lets people know if you want to click on this, you do it at your own risk just to protect people from people stuffing iframes in the you know, right. description field <laughs> also oh it looks like when certain things get changed in certain ways that it can automatically do like um um dividends is what hodl pet mm -hmm. does batches of 50 when 50 tokens get sold everyone gets the dividends that are under it yeah um, it does that with the dank yeah, you can out. you can set up a couple like things that automatically happen. Oh, actually, a lot of things can automatically happen on the chain. Like, and they're very robust. And there's no, that's just the Bitcoin transaction fee to do it. So that's it. It's nothing else. There's no, no one takes a chop of it. It's just you, Peter Peer, doing functions with other things or people or your token, or nice. your series of tokens, sub assets, a lot of things. Sounds about as DJ as you can get. Fuck yeah, it is. Yeah, the counterparty wave it really seems like a like a niche cult within itself, like separate from all the bullshit going on in the Ethereum. It seems like a better environment. Ethereum like so cutthroat. Well, a lot of things. Chop, so I wouldn't recommend hanging out here to be honest. <laughs> it's, a it's a joke. It's a joke. We're just brutal. Keep people over away there. from the gold mine. Yeah, it's like uh, Counterparty's like that episode of South Park where he buys the fucking entire, you know, like theme park and goes, and you can't come. And right. then they realize, oh, fuck, we got to pay our security guard. We'll let two people in. Oh, God, we got to pay the fucking gardener guy. We'll let three more people in. Oh, God. And then they eventually let the people in. That's it. <laughs> That's literally a Counterparty. But there's no way for there's no and i guess i may be asked a little bit before there's no way for the actual bitcoin devs because there's been there's been a lot of there's been a bitcoin dev as of today i'm sure maybe some someone's heard it here or not but he's just talking about like you know like full-fledged like how inscription stamps are just frauding the bitcoin chain and spamming it and it needs to it? Um, Junior. yeah that that was yeah that was it and like he he just yeah, it's Dash. Dash point. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Guy's such a schmo. If, if it's you... not like J Dog said, if it's not fucking Bitcoin transactions and fucking Bible verses. Yeah, so he's basically like on a war, uh, oh, yeah. for for this next for this next upgrade or this next I don't know, rewrite or things, and they he doesn't want any. <laughs> people on people on Counterparty have made fun of Luke Dash Junior. Um probably seven oh, years there's ago of there's it. there's memes about him inscribed in transactions long long ago and yes the bitcoin world is fucking crazy they've been arguing oh, okay in the, in the history of counterparty jdog explained it in like one of the uh last emblem vault um conversations and he explained that even in the back in the day when um actually he didn't explain it there but he was talking about this um they limited the op return function which counterparty uses through multi-sig as Porsche mentioned before and it was only 40 bytes 
and they wanted 80 bytes and they said so they just fucking went around it back in the day counterparty like built a whole protocol to go around it and they don't really give a fuck we they've always wanted which is what they've everybody in county part counterparties argue for is 400 bytes kilobytes actually for the function so you can do a lot more things but they never really gave it to us and we just weren't working fucking in the 80 like it, you can basically make 40 into 80 and the 80 bytes got integrated early on um like uh, in the foundation 80 bytes became a standard and they didn't necessarily have to go around it anymore and uh that's they've always been arguing with the bitcoin devs over whether or not like this shit should be you know prunable or not but the way stamps does it is they fucking use a function that can't be prunable and the way um, counterparty does it is the the data like the the data that's included the JavaScript data can't necessarily be pruned, but you interpreting it can be for maybe a small amount of time, but the data is still there to interpret. So they went around it in, in their own way as well. Um, yeah. This has been an ongoing discussion for like t- fucking eight years, man. That's what like, makes counterparty yeah. dank. That's what makes it dope. That's what gives counterparty. That's what gives Bitcoin its culture. Right, it's right. Counterparty. Otherwise, it's a bunch right. of boring old fucking stiffs talking uh, about holding Bitcoin forever. <laughs> right. That's it's like a yeah. It's just if anything, it's just like a yeah. That's what I was see. That's when I like back in like 2016 to 2017. I was like, well, what I don't know, like Bitcoin just sits there and like you know like but Ethereum you can actually build on Ethereum. And then I helped the Tron blockchain start because that made sense. Smart contracts. Um, but then I went back to Ethereum because the de- delegated proof of stake is just so so susceptible to bribery. So I crawled out of the dev pool of Tron and came back to ETH. And then, um, but then recently just started to learn about all of this um, counterculture on Bitcoin. And I think I found it just mainly because my name is Keck. So I so like when I was like, oh, like what's this like Keck? Why is it people like why is this all this stuff using my name? So I just found the the counterculture of Pepe and and uh these dank meme cards and and then now like you know immutability of you know to me bitcoin is true immutability or something like um you know housing mainly i just i go back to like metadata is like metadata is that can point to traits on on assets and when i think of like gaming i think of like okay well like you know if you're going to put a skin in a game a collectible in a game and then you know the traits and the rarity structure should be there in the metadata and so is i guess my question is like can these people like this guy like luke and, they, and these people who are like at war about like you know the bitcoin not being quote unquote spammed in their terms uh by stamps and, and by right that's yeah so they can't they can't control dick so they can't like drives them crazy yeah they, okay fucking is that it mystical maniacal Fucking yeah, it's because I didn't. Puns and noons. Okay. So, so it, you know what a puns and noon is? Because the, the news was like, oh, yeah, like. You know what a puns and noon is? Uh. It sounds like a terrible, like, dish at Christmas or Thanksgiving. Patty <laughs> Shack, too. It's a guy that sits in the bathtub, farts, and bites his bubbles. I feel like I want to throw up. That was oddly specific. Oddly specific, and your god, Kane's not here to fucking rip you a new one for that saying and saying that. It's Caddyshack, too. I Uh still, he would still rip you up for it. So, so yeah, because it seems like all this news, maybe it's like fear mongering news, or just like to get people to clickbait down their news articles, like, oh, like, or. Yeah, right. The the, the open space, the open source, and. Pools go where the money is. Well, no, like, kind of thing. There's two things. One, it's like, yes, the miners go where the money is, and they they have forked, and people have disagreed many thousands of times before this, and gone and done their own thing, or things. You know, the way the Bitcoin protocol gets updated, it is on their Bitcoin GitHub, and it's the Valley of the Shadow of Death. You go in there, and there's a thousand billion devs that want this or want that, and there's three thousand open issues and three hundred discussions, and there's like it'd be mm-hmm. impossible even if you were intelligent to read everything and really understand it. Like, like genius level intelligent would even be just difficult. Um, but at the end of the day, the way it's set up for the way that miners they will eat up these transactions all day, and one right. guy can't really change things. There's a group of devs that 
even if they even if certain devs you know said oh here's the new version of bitcoin the miners don't have to fucking use that version they can use a bunch of miners use like these like five versions ago they don't give a fuck they don't even mind fucking ordinals some people don't they prune it out anyway i mean it's like some people prune things out just for choice i mean certain functions or certain things or they fucking mine the version that's fucking three years ago and so there's a lot of the politics in there and the develop plus developers plus influencers plus viners is a crazy dynamic it's absolutely when you say decentralized i mean it's like wild west anarchy type shit it's like crazy yeah. to read about and like look at what well, I, I could see from like the the lashback this guy got because like people were like really nasty in their comments towards him today on socials and so um and I guess maybe is his flack is something like, you know, things are taking like over an hour to transact on Bitcoin network and network fees are going up because of stamps. Is is that was is that just his complaint is basically like actually because of or is he just twenties. It's not because of stamps. Huh. The BRC twenties take like five transactions per one to hmm. buy it and list it. I see. To inscribe it again, break it down, relist each right. individual one. So anyone that buys one does end up does five transactions, and that's for every single person or I every see. single BRC twenty that gets purchased. It's way too much transactionary shit. That stuff has to go to a side chain or a drive chain or some shit like that. So I think that's what Botanics Labs is currently working on. Like I guess I shared a little earlier that you can bridge your Bitcoin over to uh, EVM compatible Botanics Labs, and they're doing something called Spider Chain. Um, I guess you can look it up here on X, you know, just look up Botanic Labs, uh, Botanics, sorry. Um, and they have their test net out and they're launching mainnet in uh, Q1 2024. And I, they just threw me in their ambassador thing. But um, I deployed some smart contracts on there. I mean, and you can use it, you know, again, like bridge testnet B, uh, BTC over to their testnet and it's their virtual machine compatible. But I guess that's the other argument we were talking about recently is like, you know, it needs a bridge for BRC twenties now. So now that they'll launch it, um, they'll start building the bridge for bridging not only the Bitcoin, but um, which that that's done now. But yeah, like you're saying, like the BRC twenty over to an EVM compatible. Uh, basically, like I, I guess like a it's like a it's interesting to me because it's like an L two to Bitcoin, but it's also like an L two to Ethereum at the same time because it's again Ethereum virtual machine compatible with zero X uh, hashing yeah. addresses. Just want to make money, so if they can do yeah. the same thing they're doing here. And do yeah, it yeah, they'll go where the fuck they. Yeah, that'd be good. They'll go where it goes. Yeah, I was telling Benji earlier. I, I made a. I didn't. I didn't do it for money, but I just made like a. Because you can. I guess like when someone makes that like you know Pepe B or C twenty, like there can only be one Pepe B or C twenty, I guess. Um, because of the the four letter. Yeah, so I made I made Yule Y U L E. I just did it for, like, there's a funny like winter solstice thing, and it's been there for like I think like, yeah, a good long while now, and um, I made two point one quadrillion Yule because there's two point one quadrillion Satoshis, <laughs> and you can like you know inscribe or mint inscribe two point one billion at a time. And I, I, but it just sits there. I could care less if someone mints it or not. But I just made it for, because everyone was trying to do that namesake thing. I was like, uh, what's the, what's the four letter word? Oh, Yule for winter solstice. I'll just Yule tide, good tidings. I'll just do that. Here you go. Here you go. I, I built Kekin. Okay. You did. You did what? Kekin. Kekin. Okay. Yeah. I got a card. I'm connecting it to. But anyway, the. There you go. The thing about you know, if you look at the blocks. And you look at the fees, and then you look at how little of the data is used. Like, it's not even used half a block of data in space. It's just many, many tiny transactions. So, I know the mining is and that's great. It's slowing down the financial function of large Bitcoin transactions between exchanges and financial institutions. So, you know fucking enough and and the boards are people like that new platform that's fee fee list there's no fees they're using it to wash trade 
those people came from Ethereum from early, and they went to Solana, and they VC fucking pump and dunk that bitch too, and now they're over here doing it. They've been open for two months. The past month, it's been fucking going wild, and we see the space. They're just wash trading the fuck out of this and just washing money. There are a bunch of people from Singapore. There are a couple people. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, shit. This place is recorded. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm streaming this on Twitch and Excellent Chuck, live stream. This isn't Kill Tony. Okay. This isn't Austin, Texas. Right. Yeah. I think uh, this is like a grain of salt and like grain of dust in the entire cosmos. So this space really isn't like. Gonna wind up on national news anytime soon. But the Singaporeans. But yeah, that that's good insight because I didn't really. What's the what's this platform that like doing free trading? What's is that something? Oh, like I. Called the words are I think. I don't know. Hmm. I can't remember properly. Well, they'll always find a way to make their money. You know, people just aren't here for the technology, but are just here to, yeah. It's a mix, but yeah, mostly a lot of them are here for the bag. That's typically what they use the tech for. I don't even think, uh, maybe it is legal. I don't really know if it's legal in Singapore. Yeah, isn't there some big crypto place? With like sub Asia or something like that. I don't really know. I think Thailand, Indonesia, that area is pretty crypto friendly. No, Dad. A massive windstorm that passed me in PUBG. You know, I'm building any kind of game stuff. Who? Uh, I don't know anyone here. No. Uh, gaming. It's a. Uh... Uh, how long y'all. My, my, my Minecraft server is so beautiful. <laughs> Hey, my son would be, my, my son would probably want to know all about it. He loves Minecraft. He's a really good builder. It's cool to watch him build. Kind of crazy, because I never actually got into Minecraft. I wasn't like, eh, like Minecraft's like, okay. But like, my son just loves Minecraft. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Really, really fun. It's crazy the things he builds. Yeah, it's crazy the things he builds. He's like, He knows how to engineer things. He's eight years old, and he'll engineer like, redstone into like opening like you know portals and doors and like from a flip of a switch but like a mile away he'll like build some like redstone like engineered type like fusion that like opens a portal door like a mile away and, and from mm -hmm. some other structure from his like base kids a genius like with like, this minecraft stuff and like i don't know me i was like uh tetris like I can put I can like change this around and put it in the slot, you know, when I was eight. That's the that's like the, the kind of like I feel like where gaming is going or something. This made our kids really smart in eye coordination and stuff. But um not without blue light glasses, you know. Fucking screens these days. Super HD and everything looks real. 4K or whatever. Yeah, but <clears throat> Chop's not a gamer. Don't trust anything he ever says about games that are like pre, sorry, post like 1996. And um, I, no, I'd I put say post 1981. Okay. Maybe 89. Well, I was trying to give you a couple of years. You know, if you would let me, I'm going to try to be nice to you. You know, one of these days. Uh, 
Anyway, no, uh, I I've put got a uh, PlayStation 4 and I've got a uh, Nintendo Switch and I've got Call of Duty and I got all that shit. So, did you play the Warzone, man? I haven't played it a lot, I just have it. So, I'm really upset and this is like why I am or NFTs porting over between game version to game version because, yeah, the Warzone 2.0. None of our skins, none of our assets that we collected is porting over into Warzone 2. And so I go to like, oh, you know, like, I'll just go sit in Warzone 1 and, you know, match up, drop in. Like an hour later, I'm still trying to match because no one's fucking playing. So it's like everything spent on there is like not portable. I think that upset a lot of people because then they're like, oh, yeah, Call of Duty is a cash grab. They just want you to spend more money on Warzone 2.0. Don't want to let you bring your skins over. And that's why it's like, you know, we were talking about this a little earlier, like, it does make sense that AAA studios, AAA builders who are putting the games together, um, you know, they can release these titles, and they can release them with, like, skins that, you know, have a marketplace share that gives them the royalties, and that's how they can make their money. Um, rather than leaving us stuck, not able to, you know, bring anything over from one version to the next. That's how I do believe in like NFTs, at least in that regards. I think, I think in the next few years, these companies are going to now be infiltrated with people like you and me and other people that will look at the way of rarity of these things and not just like blindly buy a Fortnite skin that'll be dropped. That's like super old, might be worth thousands and they just drop it yet again. You know, it's the same skin and they just drop it and just increase the, you know, inflate it, blah, blah, blah. And I think it might be become a lot more important to the customer that this thing is valuable or traded. And I, I like a place where I saw this and I was really sad was like Rust would invite these artists for like their biggest streamers that would stream the game. Like, yo, if you like send have someone do art for one of the skins in the game, it could be like a, a knife or it could be a gun or it could even be like a, a chair or, or a door or like a skin, a lot of different skins in Rust. And they nice. would invite these they would invite these artists to do it and then they would give it for free if they watched their Twitch, you know what I'm saying? And like integrated their, you know, whatever account, like, you know, just like signing a message with a wallet. Right. And they would get this drop for free, but they made it. So those artists drop cards are not sellable. And it pissed me off so much. Cause I was like, no, that art, you're right. That artist, if they're going to be that big of a company, if they're going to invite people to do it, use a curated process and looking at it, making sure it's correct, putting that shit on a 3D model, you know, going through the process of integrating into the game's code on the next update, et cetera, et cetera, right? That should be something that's like paid back in some way to the yeah. people that contributed to that process when a customer wants to buy one. And it should be scarce because like after the, you know, the time that like the, you know, the drops go away, like then boom, it's scarce. It, it, you can never have it. Now you can, it goes from $0 for the individual to, you know, I don't know, 50 cents a dollar, but it doesn't matter what the price is. You you might get, you know, some, every transaction might give you something, you know? So anyway, that's, it should be pretty like that, but it makes me mad that the distribution of these like digital assets, um, whether they're on web two or, or web or, or, and, and, you know, fucking crypto. I don't really, honestly, I don't think the customer cares yet. And until the customer does care, then they'll start doing it, right? But at the moment, they're milking this time where the customer doesn't give a fuck. And they're buying Beanie Babies, and it doesn't matter if it's Web 2 or, or on crypto, right? So. Yeah. Well, what I've, what I've seen in, like, parallel TCG um, as, like, a part of their beta thing is that, you know, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get an avatar and, like, earn Prime. Prime is their crypto, and, like, you know, I went up in this value, and people made less money Prime. And, um... So their avatars were like, I think like three hundred dollars to like play the the TCG parallel, and so I was like, oh okay, I'll like you know I've been sitting on a couple of NFTs over here. They're just like picture based. I'll just let a couple go and then grab an avatar. So I go to like go do this and like the whales like came in literally like a two days prior, just like freaking lawyers or whatever the fuck, just collecting shit because they know they're gonna sell it to other people for a higher cost. So they went and swept the floors up to like 0.7 ETH. And I'm like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to buy this avatar to put it in a game. And that's where I, that's where I say like, you know, 
Web3 gaming um, is a failure because you cannot mass a, you, you, one, it's like the TCG players, they're like paying TCG players on Twitch who are like playing, you know, Magic the Gathering. They're like paying them like to come play parallel. But that's just it. When they're done paying them, like they're just gonna go back to playing Magic. They don't wanna they don't want to play on their own fucking parallel. Um, because it has the word NFT cards in it alone. Even though like they're trying to bridge like you can't tell the difference of playing the game, you know, to uh you know, a web two type take, you know, by playing the game and earning cards, you know, that are not on chain. But that um you know, they just they don't care. And the and the aspect is a big part is uh, that there's still you know web two gamers are shitting on you know a web three tcg um is because just that like you can go buy it whales can come buy the cards they can have big numbers big wallets buy a ton of cards and then like build a crazy good deck and um not have to fucking play the game or earn it or anything and yeah. so that's Sounds like, like that's yeah, it's like a failure to Web3 Gaming. And then the avatars themselves going up to 0. 0.6 just to, to play the game. And every time you win, you earn some prime. And then um, then the prime itself is, you know. Um, I got a buddy who plays spider tanks. Gala game. Oh, I, oh, my son plays spider tanks. And, like, we bought some. But, like, you know, we didn't really. It wasn't something so. Like it works. Play to earn yeah you can earn like the gala crypto but then it, like they're just selling it off and the gala keeps going down and down yeah I was I, I bought some gala just for us to use and um use like that but uh yeah it didn't i think um it just kept going down in value but i mean i think you can still get like the same i mean it's a decentralized marketplace so you know whatever someone lists their you know spider tank assets for gala is what you're gonna pay because it's decentralized so i guess there's that take of freedom in it it's it's free marketplace and it can go any which way but yeah, that's just it. It leaves it, it leaves the ability of whales um, to come in and sweep it up, and then so you gotta pay like sixteen hundred dollars <laughs> buying it to buy an NFT to like you know have an avatar in the game, um, where like who cares about differentiating things at that point other than just Web two gamers are gonna call you your studio, your whole entity like a cash grab itself just because they're gonna see that, they're gonna hear about it's it. Also- the it's news tabloids like, all the time. Yeah, it's also like a, you know, there's a system that I kind of like, and it's Counter Strike. They know that, and they keep a lot of skins really high. They don't print anymore, but they keep them really high issuance. So you might have like a lot like of them, ten or fifty. You have like you know, yeah, twenty twenty thousand, and that's right. like battle scarred version. And twenty thousand, they're like field tested. And twenty thousand, they're perfect mint condition, right? No scratches on the gun, or and like. In Counter Strike, you can also put your own stickers on them, right? So you can personalize the gun. You can add things like stat tracker for how many kills you've got, which like shows the number of kills on the gun. Like really yeah. cool inter- integrations of like additions to make your very specific digital asset more unique to you. These and are on chain, I thought. Yeah, no, right? These are web too. This is just. But my point oh, okay. is, is like the. Um, I don't know. I saw what White Rabbit post this. He's, a, he's like an NFT historian. Looked at like people are asking about gaming tokens and stuff, and he goes, "You're never gonna like bring gamers into crypto. You have to bring crypto to gamers. They're not gonna stop playing the games they love. They're not gonna stop not playing games from studios they love. They're not gonna stop playing Grand Theft Auto. They're not gonna stop playing League of Legends. They're not gonna stop playing Counter Strike. The best thing you can do is try to." integrate these systems with what you like trying to solve problems with them with what you have what you can do in, in crypto and if some things can't be solved like pork chop with data and the idea you can't put every action of a video game and every single fucking patch in crypto it would there's not enough there's not enough space you know what i'm saying you have to do very specific things for specific reasons using that and um right now it's just what we can do i mean you might like 
you know, a lot of, you might say, use side chains or other things to interpret the data or are we to save things or, yeah, do run it, you know? But it's like, it's going to be messy at first. You're not going to be able to do it all in Bitcoin. You're not going to be able to put it all on top of an inscription. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just something that, it doesn't make sense though. You know, there's, yeah. there's, it, there's, there's limited, it's also the customer to, is, as long as it's point and click and they can use their credit card or whatever fucking they use, then yeah, it's going to be fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are going to do it. It's just the customer doesn't care about that scarcity shit until they kind of experiment with it. My my looking forward and being optimistic, I think eventually people will care about it, and they'll care about how rare it is. Nice kill. They'll care whenever they have something. They stop playing the game for a few years so they had a kid, and they come back to it and realize that, that skin they held was fucking, holy shit, what happened? You know, value. Yeah. Anyway, nice kill. Nice oh yeah, I don't know if that was. I don't think that was a bot. I don't know. I think it was just sitting around like a noob with a handgun trying to fire at me from like a mile away. Um, I should have hit him earlier, but I'm, I'm terrible at PUBG. But I love the game. I'm I'm like a PUBG mobile gamer. I was a beta tester for Tencent for PUBG Mobile. It's an esport caster for them, but uh, like four years ago like different like esport leagues or something like that so i would like play four claw on mobile pads and stuff but i switched over to uh you know playing warzone on xbox with like a one of those like back pedal controllers and then i just was like you know i just really gotta move to pc like keyboard mouse because i started on P oh my god there's a cliff just like drove the fuck off this Tuning into Keck here, newcomer into the scene here, has been playing since 2018, started on PUBG Mobile, moved on to PC, now here playing with the top pros in the world. Porkchop, I have not seen a mess up of driving off a cliff almost like that in a very long time. You'd think pros could figure it out, but at this point, <laughs> this player is complete dog water. Imagine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine. Now, me and my friends have a lot of fun, and we, we commentate. We'll commentate. Uh, we've actually used to like make videos about it and shit. Um, we'll like load into games and then commentate people that are left. And Let's just, go. Like, and just go really ham at it and like make up facts about their life of like this person actually trained in the Himalayan mountains ah, for two good. months. I just hit that rock and there's a guy right there. I'm gonna fucking find all this. Wasted like all my resources. Can he use some of his resources here? Oh, I was hiding in the smoke. One of the final circles here not gonna have all the health he needs in this situation full mag to his name though and probably a positive mindset as this player has been playing this game for so long i've been playing so long i gotta turn my back to the enemy so i could shot in the back oh my god i knew there was gonna be a sniper over the fucking cliff it's gonna be third party Where is this fucking girl? It's a bot. No, it's not a bot. It wasn't a bot. I don't even think that guy killed me. I think it was someone. Killed me. Maybe it was them. 
unfortunately gonna go down here to what looks like a bot. Strange to see here in this high caliber of pro game. No, I wasn't that guy. I, don't I think. know, I'm kidding. I know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, I, nice to meet you. Nice to chill. Yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate you all chilling out. I'm just vibing. What is it? Like, about three, eight, four. Yeah, he killed me right from behind. <laughs> Shot me in the back of the head. Um. Yeah, it's about four a.m. Yeah, man. Good room. Dave, Kek, Danji. Yeah, okay. as always. As always. You going to Bay? You going to uh, Miami? Did you go to the event? No. Oh, you just made the poster. Yeah. You're boring. You didn't go to Paris too. I went to New York two years ago. Oh yeah, so did I. But you didn't go to Paris. And I'm gonna no. shove it. I'm gonna shove it in your face for the rest of your life. Hey, today, right? I had a free trip there. I could have taken it. I got kids and a wife and shit to do. You yeah, didn't Damien offer you if you wanted to go? Yeah. Yeah, he took. He fucking sent Subterranean out there. I said, I met Subterranean. I got offered to go to Miami from Tommy. Really? Hey, Tommy. When are you gonna offer fucking a trip to, for me to go to Miami? What the hell, fucking? Well, it's because I helped him with keg bonds. Oh. I see. What are these? What are keg bonds? Oh, I keep. Kane's here now. Oh God, oh, we can't close the room now. So Kane may He's definitely <laughs> working. He's got some shit to say about fucking, uh, fucking Stargate. I bet. Well, if you can't appreciate a quality program, you don't deserve to watch it. <laughs> some people just like the bad in life, man. Just wanna. Can afford better cheese, but you like the free kind, you know. Some people I mean, like to suffer. Their Jesus wants them to suffer. Uh, what's keg bonds? Uh, it was uh, uh, Tommy's like war bonds is what they were actually. Bitcoin war bonds. What do you What do you do with them? It's a whole gameplay. Huh. Um, I'm a hodler, so I hodl the war bonds. And you can trade them in for artwork that he does. And uh, there's some other stuff on the side. It's kind of a pretty cool gameplay. So, help me understand this because I only say this because my name's Keck. Um, where did, like, Keck, where, what, what, like, <laughs> I just don't get, like, like when I, I've been here for, like, you know, again, like I was shared, like, I've been here since, like, 2016, 2017 when I jumped into, like, things, but I was like, I never sh like. I was like, oh yeah, like my name's like this, and like I don't know how long like that term "keck" has been being used, but it's like weird to like Steve hear like. Right, it's not... Yeah, Devesta can probably break it down because he's he's quite the historian. Oh my god, I was waiting for Porkshop to do it, so I didn't have to. Nope, keck, I keck, to. Is, keck yep. is fucking really fucking old. Sumerian texts are like some of the oldest fucking texts in the fucking world. Predates. A lot of Egyptian texts that we know as hieroglyphic type shit, and frogs are a huge. Um, there's there's like literally a deity called Kek in those texts. There it was used in reference in Egyptian times. It's people think the frog and the the idea of it is even biblical. You know, like the plagues in Egypt. So that I know of, but like, how did it? How did how did it? Uh... How did people start? <laughs> how did people start being like Korean using that on on like a uh, Bitcoin and stuff? Wasn't it the Korean 4chan or something like that? The best thing. Um. Oh, the there was there was a whole like okay. Pepe like like the meme was around before it was on Bitcoin and people were into this like weird. I heard about it, but I never really like actually read about it. But some weird like they thought it was had powers and like weird magic, some cult cult type shit. I don't know. Sounds like cult shit. Yeah. yeah. They yeah, used and... it as a way of saying LOL. Yes. Well, oh, that, that's that, right. that's that, right. you are referencing that. That I, that I knew of because, like, the, the SHA-256 uh, translation of uh, LOL is K-E-K -E in South Korean. So I understand, like, the hashing. But I just, I just thought it was, like, weird. Like, why? Because I, I didn't really, like, I was, like, so I, I got, like, a bag of Pepe. And I was, like, I got to confuse all these different Pepe things. So I was, like, you know what? I'm just going to go back to, like, working on smart contract stru code structures. And then, so I was like, so now, but I kept hearing people like say like my name. I was like, why is everybody saying my fucking name? 
<laughs> oh, well, Rare Pepe, like, which is like a project on Bitcoin, which invited like any artist to make a Pepe that would be considered rare because you have tokenized it, right? And there's this curated collection that existed from 2017 to like 2018. Um, and there was a bunch of submissions from people all around the world. And a lot of people pulled since it was a frog and it was Pepe from this like Keck thing. And it was like, Keck, there's Lord Keck, and there's a lot of Keck culture in the cards, or the, the Egyptian references, or Sumerian references, or biblical references, or, you know, there's a lot of, Kane Mayfield calls it uh, Bitcoin church art, as he might call it, might describe it. Oh, like a renaissance. I think. Maybe, maybe, no, no, it's just it's just something he says no, about that's like, what a, the like a, thing is. a tech yeah, renaissance. The or, whole Red yeah. Pepe thing is a renaissance. Blockchain crypto art is a new renaissance of art. It's like a, a movement. So, you know, in a sense, yeah, you're right. It's a renaissance. I just love, I just love uh, Solidity Code. So, I mean, like, what I can do to improve, like, Solidity Code and how, um, Stanford Bitcoin Startup Labs has me in their cohort program uh, to, to asking me, like, what can I bring that would improve Bitcoin or something? So I'm, like, doing these winter cohort with them. And actually, part of the winter cohort... Yeah, so, so, part of this, so part of the cohort on the Bitcoin side is, is a team of people that are doing CK rollups and ETH and how they're doing... CK rolls for Bitcoin. And so there's like about 15, 20 of us in the cohort or something like that. And uh, yeah, two of them are, two or three of them are doing CK rollups. So, so CK rollups are coming to Bitcoin for an added layer of privacy. Just how they're going to implement it. Um, I'll have to learn throughout the time of the next seven weeks, basically. So it's an interesting time for for Bitcoin, and that's why I love like to uh, Bit three hundred and Bit three hundred one, because that's oh. where they're going to be used for. I think. Oh, okay. It's a pretty big situation. It's been up since I think twenty seventeen. Cool. With Bitcoin improvements. Uh, it's basically about drive chains. It's like a two way peg of Bitcoin, where they. It sounds horrible, I know, but it's where they. Uh, they hold a certain amount of Bitcoin to run the drive chain, and the token they have on there is the same price as Bitcoin, no matter where it's at. So there's no shit coin or secondary coin or merge mined coin or any of that shit. And it basically in Bitcoin, out Bitcoin, you know, but everything, all the, all the data, whole data change, all the, the movement of information happens there. And the only thing Bitcoin's used for is the sometimes the final transaction every layer. That makes sense. Yeah, because the like you were even saying with like um, the transactional rate of like BRC twenties is just absolutely uh, silliness to put it in a nice way. It's unnecessary. Yeah. It doesn't solve a problem. It creates one. Yeah, it's not really it's not solving anything. It's just money grabbers. What are you looking at there? It's a fucking inscription of like a 30 character JSON. Right. Like, give me a fucking break. What is that? It represents nothing. <laughs> I am bullish on ZK rollups uh, for yeah, Bitcoin. And I'm bullish on, uh, you know, okay, so, so for me, um, if I want to become a Bitcoin maxi, the, the problem right now is that um, industry players, if they're going to do gaming, they're not coming to Bitcoin to build. They're coming to Ethereum to build, and they need to go to Bitcoin to build. Um, but they, they need to understand, like, to, 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 like, like Optimism, Arbitrum, and, and, and like things like that can be, like, rolling up all smart contract transactions as, like, an entire smart contract-based game. But when you look at like Fortnite and like things like that, like their servers are just porting your skins and shit over. Like we were talking about CS:GO skins and like you know my bandana on my face and PUBG, you know, being sold for fifteen hundred bucks on Steam, which is like where I got my Steam, you know, gear, clothing I'm wearing and shit like that. Um, but 
So just to keep it really dumb and simple um, for industry players to come in here, they just need to, if they're going to utilize a blockchain, so like someone like myself can bring my gear into another game and then bring it into another game and bring it into another game. And these industry players are big players. Um, they can earn their money not having to sell the titles and new titles and like titles that we can't bring our freaking assets over to um, upsetting us gamers but they can like just earn the royalties from secondary market, um, which will actually bring them big numbers because we're trading like that. And, um, and, and then maybe something like Steam will like reintegrate like Bitcoin and Bitcoin like assets at, at the right time, which isn't right now. But right now, like Ethereum is crushing it. And so um, it's not, it's just industry players need to come build on Bitcoin, not Ethereum, but that needs to be, a, a you know, they need to see like, someone doing it they need to see someone building and doing it and like um so i think things like zk rollups and, and someone building like a game in the right way not necessarily like um on lightning network or liquid network but actually like you know just keeping it dumb and simple simple metadata to a trait of a skin to gear and shit on bitcoin and i don't i don't know like how that's gonna piss people off like that guy luke and stuff be like oh well now like you know Fucking gaming people are spamming fuck Bitcoin Luke. blockchain. Okay, first off, fuck Luke. All right. Second off, it already's been done, and it was called Saratobi, Saratobi's Island. Um, oh, okay. Fucking, and it was done very, very fucking beautifully, and it's in the, the timeline I mentioned, but it's also in the hearts of many on Counterparty. It comes from a guy Mandel Duck, aka Christian Moss, um, Australian coder that basically made an app in the app store that you could earn bitcoin by doing shit on the video game oh yes uh that's the way you like launch the little is that little is that it dude. and little ninja it's called ninja suit yeah oh, ninja suit. Other, other tokens saratobi right you just said it yeah that's correct that's correct yeah, yeah I, I played i played that like maybe two or three years ago and then there's that um uh jack thunder who was building like some Bitcoin Lightning type things or something. I don't know if anyone heard of his games. Or did he I do? Heard of his, I heard uh, of yeah, he was. Um, he did something like I like to like, similar to like the Saratobi thing. But um, no, those things are fun. Yeah, that's what that's what I was just. Yeah, so those. Yeah, that's 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 success. That's success right there. Um, again, that's success in in a really good way. But like, I I still think it's like you know a tcg where i have to spend on like ethereum i go to buy like all right i'll buy this card you know i bought these cards like i bought these like high class you know uh rare cards to build a deck like three years ago when no one gave a shit about parallel tcg and now all the whales come in and all the rich people come in and they're like oh i'm gonna buy all the fucking cars and like sweep the floor and like and shit like that to where like myself can't afford it and now like what transactions are like oh yeah what's a five dollar card gonna be worth right now like you know i'll go i'll go scoop up like another card put it in the deck but the gas fees the gas fees forty dollars to buy a fucking 20 cent yeah, card or a five dollar yeah, card that's a failure yeah you were you were you were mentioning that earlier that yeah just like going around like that that's why rare pepe like closed in 2017 and sorry to just talk over you i just i just wanted to like hit the, that point specifically um and there's also the idea like that's, it was 2018 yeah sorry my bad but I fucking got out like late 2017. Well, I guess not not out. I was in. I think I looked at my transactions the other day. It's like early 2018 because it was it was impossible. Like these rare pe some of these rare Pepe cards were like five ten cents, and it was like, oh, are you gonna do a forty five dollars for a transaction? It's like no, of course not. That is a failure, and it was a it slowed a lot of the fucking production at the time of any artist submitting at all or to minting tokens on Counterparty at all. Um, during those uh, during those days um fuck i had another point um yeah i'll come back fuck that's it i guess well, i guess magic eden you know the other day i was taking people like it was taking like the the bitcoin was so congested uh the bitcoin network was so congested that it was taking like an hour to uh you know mint some of these nft collection launches they're doing their inscriptions with metadata um got them through in 10 minutes they paid more yeah and that's just it like what was the cost to, to pay more at that time um i remember now what i was gonna say it was the structure of the bit the game it's like 
There was an idea in the early days to do something called Rare Pepe Party, where you take a very specific set of assets, not the whole collection, but like, you know, 300, and make a game out of it, like trading card game, like Magic. But then, like, people were already, you know, buying the cards and doing exactly what you said. And they said, well, what if we made, like, the ranked or competitive mode always just do a random draw of certain cards, you know, that are in the game? And it's like, you can connect your wallet and play 1v1 with stuff you actually have, but the way that you're, like, ranked in the system, get rewards and stuff, is like, you don't need to have cards at all. You know, it's like, that's also a structure thing, you know, like, for, like, the system that you envision and, like are people in it for the game are they in it for the assets are like you want people to come in and sweep the floor but you also want the game to be functional and you want to keep releasing cards hopefully you know want to keep updating the meta of the game etc cetera, etc cetera, you know yeah i mean i guess i guess um you know to like harp on it too much really but i envision like you know gaming to be successful uh universally is it really just needs to a web two gamer doesn't has to be playing the game with one without the fucking game being like it's all about the nft and about web three if anything the game the game creators and the game corporate people should not even talk about their damn nfts uh, i think csgo does a pretty good job at that we were talking about that a little bit um csgo does a pretty good job at just being like it's not all about the nfts it's not you know they just like their core because they came from like not being about the nfts well it's also they came from scarcity right in an understanding of certain things right there there are sticker packs that were only given to pros on one very gnarly tournament in one year of like history of counter-strike so it's like those stickers there's only like 300 of them or whatever for like the tours in the finals right on the teams there's a skin that was only given to like three people on the winning team of like the majors in like 2019 it's a one out of three op skin sells for like 2.5 million estimated because it hasn't even been sold in so many years yeah. so like the idea of scarcity and art attached to digital assets yes they do it really well and these people like covet some of these things and they play with them on their streams and shit right. you know what I'm saying? it's like having a it's like people watch you go like the peyton manning go fucking practice you know with some weird big picture on the football or whatever and they're stoked on that and the football itself sells for whatever it's it's weird to even it's that's normal for that that's very normal in that scene to have people pull out like literally i played a game today where somebody pulled out a knife and i looked it up i'm like that's a fucking 2500 hundred dollar knife that he's just casually playing this game with in this lobby you know he's fucking flexing like i don't know that's just it's common there already it's been common for years this shit started in like team fortress um that was like in like runescape before that but Team Fortress 2 was like one of the earliest skins you could buy from the Steam marketplace. That's why I love Steam so much. I think their UI, everything, I don't even give a fuck, like you said, I don't even give a fuck that it's not crypto. It's just, yeah. it, it works. Really getting down yeah. hard like a stripper on a pole. Like, I think. Shut the fuck up, Horton Child. What the hacking. fuck? People were hacking auto with fucking Supreme sweaters in there. Like, you could, for a couple, not hundreds, but 50, 60, 80, like, it, it stayed in around the $100 range to, like, buy packed shit in Grand Theft Auto. Like, if you want a fucking a Supreme sweatshirt or, like, a fucking a Gucci bag or a Gucci sweater, like, they would, they would hack all that shit. And you would see people running with clothes that are not in the game, but they're in the game. Every now and again, Rockstar catch them and ban them, but like they didn't give a fuck. So, this is the this is what I mean by like. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, it's not, you're, you're saying you have more. No, nah, they just got out of the way, but they don't. Here's the thing: video game devs never learn how to share. Never, and they've got a culture where fucking the the gamers have like almost a Stockholm loyalty thing, where they don't. They don't feel they deserve nice things. It's, it's fucking crazy, but whatever. And uh, we like to stay poor. I like to go out to my chickens and cow. I don't like money. Well, it's not so much. <laughs> they just the culture is anti-crypto. Yeah. Like when when I first heard like when I understood NFTs, I was like, oh yeah, this makes perfect sense. And they're like, well, you mean like for music? And I was like, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna do that. But I'll tell you this: video games are gonna fucking sweep up. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I played Population One, and this is before they launched their fucking their like their throwback market. 
I started right at the end of the Christmas shit being taken away in 21. So there was a skin roid to the world, and I couldn't fucking get it. I just wasn't around. You just had to be playing. You had to be playing the game then, and do whatever the fuck you fuck challenge was, you know, to win the skin. You can't get it. Can't swap unless someone gives me their fucking like Oculus login. I can't have the fucking the 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 Royal of the World skin. I'd buy it. I'd pay. I'd pay money for it. Let me pay, let me buy it. Now they're letting you fucking buy it and shit, but that cheapens it because that means anybody with money can buy it. If I can only buy it from someone who has it, that makes it even better. So, like, letting people trade with each other or having an open marketplace, even if it's not NFT-based, I mean, it, it, it should be because that's cleaner. But even if it's not NFT-based, something like that would be good. But video game developers don't seem to be very keen on you being able to make money and they don't get a piece of it. So hey, 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 hey. Going back to Steam. First off, pork shop, shut the fuck up. Jesus fuck Christ. you. All right. Man, Jake Gallen already did this and it's beautiful. Pull the lip gloss out. Okay. Oh my God. For who? Dude. Wait, wait, hold on. Who did what for who now? Jake Gallen, one of the lead devs fucking, of a company called Ooh. Valve, who developed some of the most epic video games, probably rated some of the best of all time, created a. One of the first to create basically a place where you could. Like okay, I, I, okay. I wait, hold on. Okay, you know what Steam is. Sorry, that just that yeah. that already exists is my point. And I'm just yeah, you know, I know, but hammer. maybe if we can get some folks down to him, we can get his resume polished up and get him a job at Rockstar, so you can do that for Grand Theft Auto. There's it doesn't exist. Yeah, well, that's another thing for Rockstar. Like, com just in comparison for Grand Theft Auto versus like uh, Counter Strike and the way that they kind of the competitiveness difference versus like like um grand theft auto kind of meta um and the, the amount of money that goes into like regulating and adding and modding and doing all this shit for counter-strike too is like in the competitive real games it doesn't allow you to do those mods people that cheat get banned what much much faster because it's seen as more competitive there's also other side fucking programs like something called face it where you can actually get into real competitions that are not necessarily a part of like it just basically it's like a mod on top of the game but it's like registered and approved by counter-strike and so there's so many additions to the side of that too that can run things to make like in great grand theft auto hackers are like all prevalent in almost every lobby whereas in counter-strike it's especially with those you know like competitive additions added to it are very little and those skins are more coveted in those situations and because you couldn't do anything because you would be taken off the roster and like for competitive, you know, entry and, you know, leagues and all that shit. So anyway, that's just another side of like how there's just a difference there in those two games is my point. Yeah, I've played um, CSGO people before. Every now and again, one of them wanders into uh, Operation 1. What was it, ZBD or Hangar 6? I was playing... Uh... One of those two leagues for a bit and like you you could um uh you know team deathmatch with uh you know one one v one or two v two or something but then if you uh you could stake each other's uh bitcoin lightning so they had their own custom csgo um you know server and then if you jump in there and you you know you take the you take a uh you get taken out you take someone out like it drops some of their bitcoin lightning and by the end of the match you either kind of like have like earned more by like taking them out more in the game which means like you kind of wagered your lightning and you and they wagered their lightning and you got their lightning um that was a really cool savvy thing and i don't think that's being done anymore you ever heard the word crypto thrower on twitch uh um i don't know this is okay, you know like that the term like throwing the game like oh my teammate like went out and died did something stupid killed me whatever it is right and through it's called throwing these people there's websites out there that people bet on live pro games that are not even in competition and bet bitcoin on it then load into the game because one of the people one of their homies they know it could get on their pros team throw the game and they bet against the team and win bitcoin all right <laughs> crypto throwers it's because they're already drawing audiences of 35 40 000 people like just turning on their fucking stream playing let alone what they might get in that stream whatever they're doing it's fucking insane so people bet on that shit and it's just like all decentralized like 
fucking feels like I'm going to the depths of the internet. Like, anyway, fucking anyway, just reminded me of that because you now you're betting on one because that shit exists too. You can go to websites where you like one on one Madden or one on one fucking you know Fortnite or whatever, and they set up systems and the way to do it and you know one v one for ten bucks or whatever with these rules. That's fucking hey, interesting. Saying to me, oh. you express all Makes this sense. Life, our love for video games, yet you do not pop one. You know, I've looked at my, I have the, the, the I have it to my left, and many, many times I've considered I'm going to go learn pop one. My other, my other homie that I game with all the time t asked me the other day, "Oh, I want to go learn that because he has it too." So it's in the future. I will do it, but I'm I'm not going to play with you until I'm like pretty good and I can talk shit. If I play with you in the early days, I might. There's I'm nothing like, that can go do. Go take a shot, you know. Change. I might take a shot or two. <laughs> not gonna change anything. I'm about to knock over everything in my it's small space. <laughs> just rage, knocking everything over. Yeah, why don't you just instead of putting all that useless energy trying to be better than me, why don't you just learn some zen, get a little garden, break some sand, you know, try that. Work on your anger man. That's gonna actually. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Set a rock. That's true. The, the, okay, the future answer though is when can I ever convince you to play mouse and keyboard? I know it's a big step, I know it's difficult. I just hit another rock. Fucking dust storm. And then, you know, you can, you can mouse yourself off, <laughs> you know, after. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> relax, bro. We're just fucking getting mouse off. <laughs> hey, get your, get your mouse out, you know? Fucking swing your cord around as soon as I leave. Hang it on your desk like a, like a drumstick. Yeah, like a tom tom drum, yeah, beat it around. You know, I, I feel like there's a little bit of truth in the fact that you play through Steam, have a mild competitive advantage. Tomorrow, I'm gonna hook up fucking Steam. See how that works out. What you gonna play, man? Someone's shooting at me, and I'm just really trying to fuck with it. It's an amazing game. It's the best video game I think I've ever played. Oh, uh, what was it? Population One. Oh, okay. I like Age of Empires. Some fucking really nerdy shit, and what got me back into Steam after many years of not downloading it, knowing about it. Any of that shit. Off. Sweaty. What? Mouse it off, getting sweaty. Oh yeah, my you god. said dirty. What are you gonna say? What did I say? I don't, I, don't remember, I don't remember saying that. I'm scared. By the way, you can tell how bad my workflow is going because this is what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, late. It's, it's, it's late. It's not. It's not. This piece is not creating itself. And everything that I'm making sucks. It's four in the morning here. You're just on break right now. Don't worry. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm, I'm craving a distraction. Not a mousy kind, but just a regular normal American distraction. <laughs> distraction. Nothing extra sexual. Oh my god. Okay, so the first game that basically got me to download Steam again was a game called Crusader Kings. And it's a fucking very historical game that starts you off sometime. Well, you can. It starts you off in a time period, basically pre Crusades in Europe, North Africa, and and kind of similar closer areas in the East. And it's fucking. It starts you off like mostly historically accurate, and you can pick any king, bishop, court, any type of person in this area and play it from a certain time period started and try to change the way history like went but of course certain countries around you or things will try to influence in the same way history did it's really fucking fun all right uh -huh. oh. uh, when, you, when you first started what you were saying i was getting really prepared to just shake my etch sketch as soon as you were done talking and just erase all of it however that turned midway and it got good. So, what what is this game called? Crusader Although Kings. It was Crusader Kings. Kings. Yeah. There's a couple different versions of it, but yeah, there's a. It, it's Crusader Kings. Like, yeah. There's 
I, when I got it in, I was playing two. I have three as well, and that's what. But yeah, it's a dirty mouse and keyboard game. You might not want to play it though. <laughs> like some cool history shit. I didn't know this was uh, this for you guys to mouse off. This is this is a this is actually pretty. This is a lot. This is like a porn over the full plot. I don't want to. I don't want to do all that. Let's get right to the action. Close the laptop. I'm downloading. I play uh, Mech Warrior, so I'm gonna download Steam again. Well, why don't people sell their fucking? You said people sell their shit on Steam now. They sell like their skins or whatever. Oh fuck yeah! So when you do when you play Counter Strike, they drop you these cases, like which are if like they cost two dollars and fifty cents to open, you have a chance to get something really really rare, lower chance, like kind of like a lottery ticket. And you mostly get something that's of, you know, lower rarity that could be anywhere from five cents to four dollars worth, right? So you might make your money back, you might not. So like a lottery ticket. But if you don't open the case, you don't spend the two dollars and fifty cents, you can just sell the cases that you get for free for like anywhere from a dollar to two dollars. It's fucking crazy. And you just have a whole marketplace and it's like it, they have that for all so many games in there it's for all like half 99 percent of the games i play at least half have crazy skins or collectibles or whatever that are sold through the steam marketplace hmm. he works for steam hmm. I, I would love to you know what i'm looking up to see if they're hiring fuck it Someone headshots me on this quad, I'm gonna be like, WTF. Yeah, this place is crawling. Yeah, I'm right next to that fucking crate. That's the terrible worst spot in the fucking world. Going down. Nah, air mech. My bad. That's the fucking game. Air mech. I've been playing that game since fucking odd. It was a it was a Google Chrome. Fucking, like, plug in. Someone with the VSS just... <laughs> Sounds like you need some water. You need to go get a good glass of milk. Uh, most kind of mucusy. Sounding upset. Go out to the cow and... What are you gonna do to a cow? Go out to the cow and get some milk. <laughs> My chickens haven't laid eggs in a while. It's really cold. He just headshot me with the VSS. Bing, bing, bing. Done. Watch the death cam. I'm about ready to just squat up. So dying. So much. Keck, are you ever played uh, DayZ? I love DayZ. I stopped playing because some guy murdered me in a train cart because he was like making friends with me for like days on end. And it was like, oh yeah, like, you know, get in this train cart. Well, like he like killed me for my backpack and all my stuff. Did he tie it? He... the name of his cow. I made a custom server too. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, I put like custom shit in it and had like pot plants and um and I had like the Daisy app map thing. I put my game server on their map. And shit. I don't know. It was cool for a bit. Yeah. I love Daisy. I just, I like the concept. Yeah. That's cool you had your own server, though, so probably good ping, good fights. It was saturated to stream at that time. I think, um, I found it from this, I found it from this streamer named Smoke, and he was streaming Daisy day in, day out, and I was like, oh, and I was like, and then I found, like, 
you can build your own servers with like and adjust the code and stuff and put it inject it into your nitrato um your own server so that's why i did it just for the building out just for fun and yeah it was cool to meet people and survive terry sorry i don't think i can see your whole name terry yeah just hey terry that works on i should invite invite people up metavox so what's good Yeah. Oh, they got some on-chain you monkeys. Played, you haven't played a video game since Y2K. On-chain monkeys are dope. You don't know what I do. Yeah, I do. You might. Hey, what's up? Hojo's with all the blinds closed. Hey, you leave Hojo out of your motherfucking mouth. As in what? Hojo. Blinds closed. Cracked out shit coining. That's, that's, that's the fuck you do. You might serve yourself well playing some video games. I do Safe. play video games. It's PvP. I dump on heads, typically. Yeah, Sometimes I get stuck. Man, I bet, I, this man plays yeah. Roblox. Yeah. Yeah, I play Roblox. My son was building something in Roblox Studio the other day. It's funny. Becoming like a parent that allows my child to become a squeaker. squeaker. I, I have a baby, and I look at him now, and I'm like, "You're gonna play video games." At what point do I go? All right, you're ready. Hit the big people lobby. Go fucking do it. Go show them. Bring them death. I'm gonna have to train him up like a little padawan. I think my son was. I think my son was four. When he picked up his first controller, and he's and he couldn't he couldn't look he couldn't like navigate anywhere. He's like all over the place, like trying to try trying to go. It was like a kids game. It was like a Y seven or youth game, and like he couldn't coordinate. He and I coordinate the thing, but and then we started playing uh, Minecraft on Xbox, and because he loves Jurassic Park, so we were playing Minecraft Jurassic Park version. And um, man, we just had like fun little adventures and uh. And uh, Minecrafted Jurassic Park and learning about dinosaurs and I don't know. It's it's nostalgic now looking at the old server he doesn't ever play on when we put Jurassic Park on there and just see like some like tunnel we made or something <laughs> from like years ago. So it's it's nostalgic. Steph Curry's a frag grenade through the window of a hut to force you out. <laughs> Machine guns you down on the steps like a dog in the street. Oh man, I don't let my son play games like that. Really, I like PUBG and shit. Well, I'll tell you this, King. Coming from a kid that grew up with a dad that did play video games, fucking sat me down and said, "This is Halo. Try to fucking one <laughs> no scope me." And fucking, oh. when I was a kid, I was really bad, but then I got really good when I played online. Like really, really good, and I came and wiped fucking. I eventually like joined, did played a couple contests like live, like it was solo contests, like not team ones, but and I sh probably should have tried team ones, but I did enter the solo ones because it's all they had at the time because it wasn't big like it is now, and mm -hmm. uh, and I fucking really enjoyed that shit. It teaches you like very similar things that you know joining a team or a baseball team might, but it's all mental and it's like you know it's it's not physical. You know, there's it's it's you just you know go ahead though yeah it's hard focus and get wrecked <laughs> you understand the kind of shit talk i'm gonna i'm gonna bestow upon that child that's how we get better by getting wrecked fucking right yo pork pork chop and and uh meta voxels was in the uh were you guys there when we did the fucking live stream in the no, discord i've never seen population one yeah that population one yeah, when we did a live stream in Discord, the yeah. marijuana man quit. You don't want to play oh, no more? Oh, yeah. I heard I about did. it. <laughs> he, got, he got really mad. He was yeah. really... Like, was it like 10 times or 11 times that you just killed him? No, nah, it was like 20-something. But what happened was he fucking... He did the, the Dave thing where he went off and tried to, like, sit in the woods and eat nothing but fig leaves and practice his <laughs> <laughs> 
it was, you know what it was? It was an episode, it was like Shaolin execution that played out. You know, he was, ah, ah, and he's like, I'm ready to take on Hong Si Kwan. And he came through and he wasn't ready. And my Tiger Kung Fu was better than his. And, but it was childish. He was like making common mistakes. I'm like, what are you doing? Come on, man. Stop. He said, I'm not, I'm gonna fucking get you, bro. And I'm like, oh, you're really trying to murder me, bro. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to kill me. That's that. Unless I make a mistake, you're not gonna kill me. And he's like, well, I don't, I don't understand. And I was like, right. You go off and you train. And you think about how to kill me. But meanwhile, I'm playing, getting better. So it's not like I stand still or get worse. You're driving 60 miles an hour. I'm driving 60 miles an hour. Okay, maybe you're driving 80 miles an hour and I'm driving 70 miles an hour. But I'm fucking 200 miles ahead of you. You're not going to just catch up and smoke me. And even if you do get really good, I play in lobbies with motherfuckers who's really good. So... The best it gets is kind of even. And I have no honor. So, like, you can get good. I'm still going to cheese you every now and again because I'm a piece of shit. I'll fucking head peek you and shoot you in the face with a 1911 that does way more damage than you think it should. Be one of those guys, you're fucking hacking. No, I'm not. (laughs) You just got the good headshot. When it comes to the future of like raising children in games fucking minecraft I mean, my old boss like he had a kid that was young and loved minecraft and at a certain point the kid was like yo i want to do like online i want to fucking you know like play but he was like kind of like i don't know you like this is this would be risky especially for a young kid it was risky for me i remember playing halo lobbies i would get fucking squeaker right you get you get mm-hmm. it's, ter- it's it's a terrible place you don't you don't want anybody there when you're an idiot right and uh but if you play with like with them and teach them like yo that person's terrible because of these reasons and like explain certain things and don't do this or don't do that then 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 they'll learn they'll understand much quicker than me having to figure it out myself being an idiot you know oh yeah well i mean bro fucking like i would play a lot of games with myself or with like a, a child right like my like my child I would not play Grand Theft Auto because I'm a I'm a fucking I'm a griefer. I know what's in the lobby. Me. Hey, we're dying now. We're dying. I'm like, my god, fucking ugh, ugh. Ah, oh, get laryngitis. <laughs> like what? Then he's in there. He's trying to play like he's like playing the Sims. You want to come to my come my mansion? <laughs> yeah, I do. Where's your mansion? Kid, don't let him come over. Shut up, motherfucker. You don't know that. I'm coming over. Where's your mansion? And by the powers vested in me by the city of San Andreas, I hereby revoke your driving permit. What? Yeah, you can't drive no more. License is revoked. So if you want to go somewhere, take a cab, or get one of these nice people in the lobby to come get you. Or walk. But you can't, you can't drive. Every time you touch a car, a pressure was bow, blow it up. It seems funny until like the 30th time I do it. It's... Leave me alone! Stop griefing me! <laughs> no. But in Grand Theft Auto, like, Riot is on my side. You're literally selling dope. Like, you're literally selling dope and ar- arguing with prostitutes and sex workers as you traffic meth and coke and weed. And you shoot indiscriminate people while listening to rap music and spending too much on clothes and rims. Like, it's really, it's all the bad shit in life. But I think that's the difference between, like, the younger generation and us. Like, we played fighting versus, you know, competitive games. They play a lot more building games. Like, it's the digital version of an erector set. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I definitely see what you're saying there. And there's a lot more sportsmanship in the younger people. Because, like, if you fucking teabag them or shoot their corpse, and it's like, hey, come on, man, don't be toxic. (laughs) I was like, what? Because the kid was just being, he wasn't doing nothing wrong. It was just loud. 
it was pop one. I had a long night and you know, a couple of loser lobbies back to back, and the kids were just. Yeah, I just really like to tell y'all ice cream sandwich is going through this fucking just reading this dream journal out loud. I don't fucking care. Stop telling me about your little <laughs> sandwiches. Whatever stupid shit. I'm having a rough night. Like, there's a lot going on in my life. This game is like my therapy. And I don't want to hear your, your fucking opinion. It's like, I don't know why everyone's being Jeez. so mean to me. And it's like, because you're not good and you're loud. That's the fucking first reason. You're not good, you're quiet. Fucking son of a bitch. Fucking shut up. And he's like, fucking, yeah, you're not, you're dog water. I'm what, motherfucker? P90. Put a little fucking ground. I shot the ground where he died at. He said, like, you're being really toxic. I'm just out of here. Pew. The guy was like, Kane, did you bully that kid till he quit? I was like, no. No, he's fucking call me dog water. You heard him. We all heard him. <laughs> Is like my, my friends are pretty like ubiquitous. Like they, they're all the same no matter where I am. Whether it's like Web three people, like Pop one people, Sir David be like, yeah, Kane's having a rough night. Uh, I don't think it was for. I don't think the kid had much to do with it. I think it's just the fact that I've been murdering them for the last hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. kills you again, Kane. <laughs> Kane's dead. Fuck you, Sir Dave, son of a bitch. He's like, all right, Kane. Oh, God, God, son of a bitch, you got me. That's what I do good. I go on mute. Fuck I think. Pop one in like a week. I think gaming for me ultimately is like a trauma response to the fact that <clears throat> my parents like ran a company and they just put me in a room. <laughs> With, like, with, like, with different games. I think uh, it was a... Uh, Angie and I were talking about um, uh, having a mental block. Good lord. Um, and the Oregon Trail. <laughs> that's oh, like... That's a beast-ass game, bro. I love the game, but it's like a trauma response for how, about a, how many hours I sat there playing Oregon Trail. Getting Oregon gout. Trail so fucking difficult. Yeah, getting gout and like... Dying <laughs> and like Having to playing the game over and over again, learning the Midwest for like probably was good in social studies. But yeah, we played like, games. The funny thing I remember now because I was we were talking about it the other day and I looked it up. All of those floppy disk games, like I forgot all about them. I forgot how many of the floppy disk games there were. And like now, video games are so fucking crazy, like so insanely crazy comparative to what we grew up playing. That it's like I'm, I'm funny. I'm watching the the Steam kind of like preview for Air Mech. I remember when this shit was a Google Chrome extension, bro. Like fucking Air Mech was not. It was cool. It was really fun, but this like fucking blowing shit up and they got the fucking vanishing tanks and all. Didn't have none of this shit. Fucking amazing. I remember when it was like, yo, the graphics are so fucking amazing, and it's like Nintendo 64, and it's like, it's breakthrough technology. <laughs> and I'm saying, look at the 3D Ninja model. Remember Ninja Turtles? Like the Ninja Turtles, because you could see the muscles on the turtles. That was like, yo, this is, this is Avatar. This is fucking incredible. Oh, the guy who, uh, guy who made Ninja Turtles is, uh, lives like 30 minutes from me. I'm in the middle of a bombing. Anyone ever play Super Mario Brothers crossover? Nah. Somebody called Exploding Rabbit. Dave, I sent it to you on Telegram. It, I found this game mad years ago. What's up, Helen Elizabeth? How's it going? But they put like Metroid and Zelda and Mega Man and Contra in the Super Mario Brothers. They made a mashup crossover game. And I don't think or originally they had permission. Oh. oh my god, it was on Newgrounds. You remember that website? Yeah. 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 That was the best. That and E Bombs World in those days. And that's 
Yeah, so it's it's different now. Um, yeah, 2010. It's different now. I, I'm trying to think of where I, I said it to you for a couple of reasons. Can I still play this? Because it's like a fucking click to the thing, and it's telling me to download a fucking extension, and I'm not downloading shit. I will look into it. Let me see. Super Mario Brothers crossover. Um, it's probably just in like. You don't need an extension. Um, should be able to just play in Java, right? And then you can run. Mm. Ah, the answer is I don't know. I'm, I'm too tired to, to look into it. If there probably is, I'm not sure where. And I probably wouldn't download anything that you shouldn't. I wonder if there's just a page or web page that you can play and it's in the HTML or something, or just like just an older web page you can play it on. Oh, yeah, I could hit fucking uh, the old way back machine. See, that's smart, and I didn't think about that. That is, that would be possible. I just got raked over the coals. Um, does anyone play Fortnite? Unfortunately, but I don't play it much anymore. I used to build a lot in 1v1, do a lot of fucking... I do ranked, did a couple of the contests, but we didn't really got anywhere. Oh, nice. Yeah, every... Every Friday I play Fortnite. Fortnite Fridays. Um, Nana, I'm playing like ranked, no build mode these days. But yeah, um, I, I can't. Ever since I switched off of like controller with back pedals, I can't build. Can't build at all. I can. So if you ever want to play and build, man. You say back but, uh, pedals. You have like because like I can I can do it with because I just use a PS like three controller. Yeah, I would I would use a. Use all the buttons. Yeah, I would use the um, Xbox Elite Series 2 controller with back pedals, so I'd have to take my hands off the joysticks. So I would build with the back uh, back pedals on the back of the controller, like little paddles. Um, but then, like, switching over to Fortnite keyboard and mouse, like, I can't build. Oh, yeah. Like, these kids are building with, uh, building with freaking, like, um, what is it, the Wii pads and stuff or whatever it is. I don't know. Well, if it, I, I don't play too much Fortnite, but I will play uh, Counter Strike or a game called Dark and Darker, which is a game I love right now. It's fucking great. Um, it's kind of like a dungeon crawler Tarkov. It's great. PvP too. Tarkov looks extremely hard. Yeah, Tarkov is fucked up. It's a very fucked up game. They had like something about Bitcoin and Tarkov, like you had Bitcoin miners or something, <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah, it's a, it's or something. Game. Yeah, you like build up your Bitcoin miner to like, in like, in, yeah, it's like all in your. There's a, a bunch of things about it. Anyway, much love, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eat a little midnight snack and then call it. But oh, good talking, good meeting you. Cheers. It's midnight, man. It's like almost five a.m. this way. Uh, oh, I just it's the expression. Oh, I see. It. Yeah. Nighty night. Bye, Chop. Chop, did you finally get that transaction done with the token and all that? No. No. I'm, I'm still proud. hung. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm sorry. That went, that felt mean in that circumstance. <laughs> it's no, you know, whatever. It's for a party. It'll get. Well, you know, the token will be done probably two weeks after the party's over. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. You can always do it under a new name. New like, and, token. And, yeah, well, fuck that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, I've already spent that. two fucking XCP trying to push it. I'm sorry. Alright. Hey, man. Okay. Stay safe. Cheers. Yeah, I'll be uh, back hosting. I don't know what I'm doing now, but just kind of staying alive. <laughs> Have fun.
between games. Start drawing. Come, yeah, cut my stream. Start drawing. Get some rest. Almost dead. Yeah, come out. Yeah. I heard some like Nintendo starting up there. I'm gonna go. I hear some Nintendo. I'm playing Nintendo. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm on fired up with Nintendo. That's only me and you unmuted. Let's save this. Um, he's back down to listener. It's been really cool listening to it. It's probably, I should probably cut stream. Get ready to stream again. I gotta do, I homeschool my son, so like I do social studies and math with math with him and science during the day. And, Kind of be like, get some sleep. So, uh, fall asleep on him. There it is. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, camp out. Weird. Good time. All right, I'm going to get to drawing. I'm almost done here, so. I am going to cut my space. I'm going to cut my space. Keep streaming for a bit. All righty. Do some stretching. Yeah, man. Well, have a good night. It's always good talking to you. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Hey, Ken, nice meeting you, man. Like or not. It was funny to listen to, bro. Maybe we can meet up in some games. Um, yeah, I'll be streaming back, posting space and stuff. So stay safe. Cheers. Okay, right bye. On, man. Later. Some games, but um, yeah, I'll be streaming back, posting space and stuff. So stay safe. Cheers. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, right on, man. Later.
safe. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. Knew someone was like gonna roll up. I was like, uh, just keep watching behind me. Oh, okay, now it's coming. Okay, yes, someone rolled up.
All right, I'm going to cut my stream. Oh, five and a half hours. I will be back. Yeah, possibly during the day. Uh, for a bit. And we're making art, drawing art. PUBG or all like stuff. Cheers, ciao. Peace be with you. Stay safe. Onamashi, guys.